Oh, there he is. Look at our golden boy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Seth Everman retirement situation. I say situation. Hello, business partner. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. We have here our golden goose, the man who's been laying many eggs for us over the years. We've been forcing him to make YouTube videos. And today we're going to force him to stream and make us as much money as possible. I, I think force is a tough word. I mean... I don't know if you know this, Seth's not the best businessman. He'll sign anything. Um, mm. So we he's he's in an agency. We've not kidnapped him. Exactly. Yeah, he's joined an agency. Yeah. We found out he was retiring. Um, ignore gonna... ignore what he's doing mm -hmm. over there. He, and, um, and he's fine. Look at how happy he looks. He looks ready to make more content. More content. We need more content out of you, Seth. Yeah. And... There's a lot of money to be made, mm -hmm. is what we figured out. Exactly. So this is a legit agency. We're really happy you've come to say goodbye to Seth. Mm -hmm. And like, look, it do what you want. It's amazing. You know, uh, Seth, uh, play something that kind of explains your mood for us. You know, put us in the yeah. Tell us, us in the mood. How happy are you right now, Seth? Not his best. Not, no, no, it's not his best. <laughs> but, you know, it, that was a very, I would say, a very cheerful and soulful song. And uh, you can tell I, I, they're I, in a great mood. I felt happiness in there, actually. Exactly. When you think about it. Yeah, when you really think about it. Yeah. It's, it was such a soulful, you know, just, I, I feel the joy in the room. And I, I see the joy on his face as he's playing it. Yeah, and of course, you know, the things that make us happy here as uh, Seth's new legit agents is... Content. Content, baby. That's what we want. And that's what he's going to deliver to us. Also, though, uh, we now have the rights to Bold.Store. Yep. We've that, taken over that Bold.Store. That uh, was also signed. Exactly. Signed over to us um, as he, you know, signed up for our agency. And he's very happy to be here. So make sure that you check out bald.store. Mm -hmm. Grab yourself some legit Seth Everman merch. Of course. And we're really happy you joined. As uh, you guys know, this is going to be Seth's laugh stream. Um, and he's retired. Don't worry. It's not terminal. That's just a choice of haircut. Mm. Um, <laughs> he will be. We're going we're gonna to have him doing lots of stuff for us afterwards. But obviously off camera. Uh, he, we're flying him straight to Romania. We've got a boot camp and a mattress set up over there. Mm -hmm. And he's uh, gonna be it's really going to be a good next stage of his career. How are you feeling yeah. about Romania, Seth? No. <laughs> oh, and don't. But we should have gotten business flights. Man, yeah. That's the problem. It's all about legroom. Exactly. Oh, no, no extra legroom for you, by the way. That that would have cost us too much money. You're gonna have to sit middle seat, uh, back of the plane, last boarding group. Uh, it's just gonna be terrible. But you know, we we had to save money on the flight. You know, you understand, of course. You understand it exactly. But if you guys also have some questions, uh, Seth does not have complete access to you. In fact, he doesn't really have access to clean water, bathroom breaks, or food. Um, but if you do have some questions, we will take them. We're, we're going to send them over. And then we're going to go, I think, uh, you know, Seth very willingly made a bunch of videos. Um, just so willingly. Of his own accord. Of his own accord. Definitely not threatened at all. And uh, we are also, also on YouTube and Twitch. And Twitch, yep, yep. You know, we've got to capitalize on both. Seth has typically done YouTube, but we were like, you know what? Now that he's our little cash cow, we're going to have to hit both markets. So I figured let's put him on both. Hello, Twitch. Hello, YouTube. Mm. Don't worry. Uh, Seth is not in danger. He is simply just trying out a new fashion trend, which is, you know, wearing some duct tape over your mouth. He, he, and he's loving it, right? Seth, you're, you're really comfortable right now. Just very comfortable. Oh, I love it. I lo you know, mm -hmm. I love, yeah. I love complicit. Mm. You know, uh, star stars. This is like real. You know, this yeah. is this, he's gonna go far with this. I think this trend I might mean, catch on. Take off. I think it is. I think it's gonna be. Big. I think we're gonna be seeing it in fashion shows all over the world soon. All right. So we do. Yeah. As as we mentioned, Seth did do some uh, willing videos. 
and we are going to go through a little bit of the journey and uh, get you all emotional and ready for bold dot store mm-hmm. so uh seth let's uh let's show him uh what you can do dance monkey here's dance. some more content hello viewers I am today gonna do something that I definitely want to do and was not forced to do, which is watch my old cringy videos. Because who doesn't love seeing themselves and hearing themselves on camera? My first video, posted to YouTube, is called How to Make a Zelda Necklace. This is that video. How to make a Zelda necklace Take your original Nintendo 64 Japanese Zelda game in mint condition Unless you have explosives at hand, the only way to open a Nintendo 64 game is with this special screwdriver Opening a Nintendo... Why do I look like that? I never looked like this in real life, that is fake I don't... that... this is not a real person And why do I sound like that? screwdriver. Opening a Nintendo 64 game is just like performing brain surgery on your firstborn child. That's an incredible measure where you want. <laughs> this, <laughs> this 3D text, it's not like made in the video editing software. I like 3D crafted it in Cinema 4D. So uh, way, way too much effort for something not very good. Measure where you want your necklace to go. Mine is going terrible. Find the drill or any other device. I found a knife. That's nice. Stab away your childhood memories until your necklace fits. Nintastic. Put your Zelda game back together and enjoy the exquisite craftsmanship. You're now done and it's time to show off your you can tell that this was back in my Tumblr era. Uh, it was a different time, a different world, a different me. New accessory to all your friends and family. This necklace is perfect for funerals, fine dining restaurants and weddings. The game will most likely still work. You may or may not get electrocuted from wearing this necklace. I'm not reliable for anyone's deaths or injuries. I meant to say liable, but I said reliable, and it's haunted me ever since. Also, I feel like I'm even more stoic and depressed in this video than I am currently, which is somehow, I I didn't think that was possible, but it is. I hope you enjoy this necklace as much as I do. So that was my first video on YouTube and uh, I thought I looked really cool when I made that video and I did so what did you think I thought it was great thanks for watching Yay. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. He said stoic and depressed because as you can see Seth is the you changed so much Seth epitome of joy right now, you know He's just so happy to be here celebrating with all of you at home on, you know, twitch.tv slash Seth Everman and youtube.com slash Seth Everman. Everyone watching, you know, Seth is just so happy to be here with you and celebrating his final ever live stream. So, you know. He loved it. Seth, how old were you in that video? Ah. Oh, oh, you were 21. 21 years young. And like, on, honestly, I, I mean, I'm going through, it's, it's quite fun to, um, you know, be a, a, a legit kidnapper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there were vibes. Mm-hmm. That was very Tumblr, that was very Tumblr back then, though, you know. So, you were huge on Tumblr, though. Okay. You made zero bucks on all of your Tumblr posts. Well, that's not good enough for us. We need you making more money, Okay. Yeah, but you're you're good now, right, Seth? You are making money now. Yeah. Uh, Your new contract is very, very fair. It's hard to make money, though, when, you know, we only allow you to do, like, one YouTube video every couple of months. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, we had a lot of dishes that needed washing, gardening, 
Um, this is what Seth's really been up to. That's an absolutely horrendous way to talk That's about our very horrible. luxurious flat yeah. that we have here. We've been keeping you in the loveliest place that we could, uh, you know, afford to keep you. Uh, well, some people would say no windows. We would say a very cozy, uh, cozy, cozy, cozy yeah. warm room. Yeah. And also, yeah. you know, in Sweden, mm. the summers, a lot of light comes yeah. through windows. Exactly. And we want you to get the best sleep possible. Um, which is why we allowed you mm -hmm. a whole three hours after making uh, videos last night. Yeah. Um, yes, but you know you got to pay your share. You're feeling very well yeah. rested, aren't you, yeah. Seth? You're and feeling very great. Uh, our other captive kind of passed away, so you you ended yeah. up paying double. It mm. was, originally, it was one thousand two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. You had to take over his rent. It was yeah. only fair. Yeah. But mm -hmm. then, uh, well, you know, some people would say he was just sleeping. I would say. Yeah. Why not a pillow? Exactly. If anything, you could have snuggled for warmth. Yeah. That smelt bad. Well, you know, it, it it's a thing that people defecate when they die. So it's you know a very unfortunate thing. But um, you know, yeah. Uh, and then also on your first video, um, why why did you do it? Like, did you want to be a YouTube star? You did right. not. Did not have friends. <laughs> That's. Uh, I think a lot of people on Tumblr didn't either. <laughs> especially the biggest person on tumblr exactly exactly <laughs> you actually did make it to like almost were you the biggest on tumblr at some point was it the biggest user as in someone that just kept checking out tumblr to the point where they started sending you messages like you're on our site way too much M most visited tumblr blog oh wow i mean that's that's really impressive you know you were Good destined job. for greatness mm -hmm. there was a cursed week during the summer of 2018, when I was the picture of the Tumblr homepage, you just your bald head was, you were, and people would click on you to go back to the homepage. How long after you were the bald head on the front of Tumblr until they oh, went wow. out of business? They were always out of business. <laughs> Well, they took all the porn off of there, so it was okay. destined to happen. <laughs> all right. Um, and then, obviously, you did Zelda. Do you still have the, like, Nintendos, like the 64s and stuff? Do you actually play them? Or is it to impress people that come around your house? I mean, your basement. I have them. Aww. Did you try to play it after you made the necklace to see if it was functioning? Oh, you don't have oh. depression. You so. don't have depression. You, you don't have with depression. Joy. You're happy. Mm. You're very happy. Play us a happy song. Mm -hmm. Just something that you know is going to lift the spirits of everyone around us. <laughs> is that is that, is that your happy jingle? That was very. Have you got anything kind of video gamey though as well? Since you uh, since we're on the Zelda. Give the audience what they want, which is primarily me. Yeah, I hear that. That's definitely, that song was definitely from The Legend of Zelda, if I've ever heard it. That is the epitome, right? That is, <laughs> that's Minecraft. the one. Minecraft. I don't yeah, know what you're talking we're way about. Too old. Yeah, no, I know <clears throat> that's Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, and for those who don't know, um, uh, you know, we're, we're quite clever kidnappers, so we don't mind mm. being exposed. But I yeah. am sat here with Jonathan mm -hmm. and your Minecraft. My main, uh, my, you're, uh, you're with me and my Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. No, you're Minecraft. Oh, I'm Minecraft. Yeah, it's, you could be Minecraft as your like uh, alias as a kidnapper because it's oh, like Minecraft. Yeah. It's like a really cool hacker name. Mm. Mm, exactly. Yeah, I need a name. I got to well. protect my identity online. Yeah. Okay, I'm Minecraft, and I you can, can be too bad. Too bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> too bad. I love that. Too bad in Minecraft. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah. But have you got any questions for Seth? 
Yeah, anything you want to ask. We're gonna, uh, we've both got chat on Twitch and we got on YouTube. Um, and he's here until we want to we wanna let him go. Whenever we so feel... if we can kind of catch your questions, because it is a little bit... Uh, you are fast. Uh, someone just says, Seth, you're hot. Uh, and, it's, and the name is Boobiana. <laughs> mm, Boobiana. <laughs> Thank you, Boobiana. Seth uh, appreciates, appreciates uh, being hot. Uh, someone says, how is Ronald? Who's Ronald? Thanks, Boobiana. Who's Ron- how is Ronald doing? Oh. Your cat. oh oh shit did well, we leave him in we your can't... previous apartment okay so i kind of messed up here oh, too fuck. bad i left the door open when oh, we no. were coming in to take seth away so i think that the ronald might be running the streets right was now. ronald originally an indoor cat seth because right now it's oh no Do so you think it's really Ronald's bad ready for outdoors <laughs> oh no if someone in stockholm can find ronald no, 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 no. Even the cameraman knows <laughs> mm. that Ronald lives. Ronald is fine. He's just wandering the streets. We'll find him somehow. You know what? Maybe if you guys go to bald.store, then, you know, we can use some of that money some instead of, of buying a yacht to maybe hire some, maybe hire someone to have a look around for Ronald. Yeah, no, but the funds yeah. from bald.store will be either to going to find Ronald mm. or building a little memory. Yeah, a little in memoriam. Yeah. Very... I think he would like us to have a Lamborghini. Yeah. That's, I think... that's what Ronald really wanted. Mm. How many hoodies do we have to get to? If cats could speak, you know, that's, that's what, what he'd he be saying. That'd be saying, he'd be, get some Lambos for the boys. Yeah. Um, someone says that now you're quitting, are you going to grow your hair out? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. You're gonna get. You're gonna spend any money you make on drugs or British items such as fish and chips. Okay, that's a very fair thing to spend money on. I would say, as two British people, I, you know, I'm I'm, I'm pretty pleased that we've we've uh, what was it called? Stockholm syndrome. He's warming up to us. I would say. Stockholm syndrome is great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we could elevate his captive though and take him to Romania. That is true. Yeah, that's true. How, get some uh, good tips over there. You don't want to go to Romania. Ah, come on. The, the rent was really cheap there for the studio. There's a nice mattress. Exactly. It's only been slept in and pissed in by at least like seven other content creators that we've kidnapped in their, their, their previous retirement streams. So like, honestly, it'll be kind of comfy. It'll be pretty cozy. If you're lucky, you might get the room with the window. <laughs> He's yeah. in. He's in. The promise of the window. Oh there's there's, not, there's not a window. There's not a, oh, there's oh, not don't a tell him that now. No, no, he can't hear us. Like okay. we're whispering. This is like all ten voices. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very, very good. Um, all right. So yeah, we're gonna. Seth's done uh, as we say very willingly, and we love the questions coming mm-hmm. in. We're gonna try and catch him as we go. And Seth uh, really is looking a bit this. restrained. I saw you say. I don't know what you're talking about. He he's very happily there, you know, typing away and playing some. BDSM is in my flesh. I believe that stands for bald dude. Uh, uh, bald dude. <laughs> Super Mario. Super Mario. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so, I do apologize if you just tuned in and you're very confused. And also this may have unlocked a kink for you. Um, mm-hmm. But um, Seth is willingly uh, wearing the tape. This is how he believes that he best entertains. And, he, and also he's just not into making any money for himself anymore. Um, he wants to make money for us. The, the, the new agency that he's really happy with. And uh, prior to this, he's also been making lots of videos, not until 6 a.m. last night. He was definitely, he got lots of sleep and we took very good care of him. And I think we could, uh, if we saw Seth's first video, let's go check out what he did after. Hello. The third video I ever posted to my YouTube channel might actually be a video you've seen. Uh, hopefully, because it went very viral, um, but it didn't go viral on YouTube to begin with. It actually went viral on Facebook and Tumblr the most. And then actually a year after I posted the video, it started going super viral and it gave me probably a hundred thousand subscribers. But when I posted this video, uh, in the spring of 2016, it didn't generate anything at all. It got like a thousand views. Um, but now it's at 30 million. 
and it's called When You're a Classical Pianist But You Listened to Hip Hop Once. Let's go. This first part, no one remembers. Uh, this is not the really cool mashup of a classical to hip hop song that people cared about. They like the second, the second version. I think I actually cut this out from like when I reposted it everywhere. At least other people did. They said this was garbage, but the second half was good. This one. Guess who's back? I cut it off so abruptly because I was super scared of getting like copyright uh, strikes and stuff. Which I always did. I mean, I didn't get strikes, but it got copyright claimed and stuff, so I never made any money. But I was too afraid to post the Drake Hotline Bling video that I made before this that went viral on, like, Facebook and Tumblr or whatever. So I never posted that on YouTube. And also, I feel like in this video, since it went so viral on, like, every platform, people were, like, starting to look behind me and stuff, and they, like, read the little moving boxes. So you can see here, like, the moving boxes uh, say flyt och something something låda, which is Swedish. So people are like, are you Swedish? And then they saw the view uh, that I posted in my apartment tour, and they figured out where I lived. Also, you can see my, uh, like, physics book, because this is back when I actually had goals and dreams. <sighs> and I loved going to school and I loved making YouTube videos for fun and I really wanted to become a YouTuber and I did and it it wasn't great but it was kind of cool sometimes thanks for watching yay yay th th that that's funny you said that one went so viral that's actually how we discovered Seth I know that one day that we wanted to work with him uh, you know, we saw that video and went, one day... One day we'll figure out where he lives mm -hmm. from those boxes. Exactly. Yeah. All right. And hopefully we got rid of the uh, double audio. Test your mic, John. Yep. Tap, tap, tap. Hello. I'm here. Yeah. I'm Mr. Minecraft himself. So, uh, physics, midlife crisis or parents or actually something you're interested in, Seth? Oh. oh, were you? Were, did you have potential? <laughs> it was easy. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, then, um, can you explain to us the Schrodinger, uh, Schrodinger uh, paradox or Schrodinger equation? Not yes. I think the answer is nine. They've been looking for that for a long time. I think that is the one. It. Yep. Get this. Get this out on uh, Twitter, boys. We're um, We've nailed it. Seth, say something. I it says someone in chat. Well, I have you know that Seth is actually just trying out a new a new fashion trend and and know, form of entertainment. Exactly, and you know he's also taken a vow of silence, um, just f uh, with his own will for Ronald for Ronald <laughs> exactly, uh, out of respect. <laughs> Give him my cat back. You can get him back <laughs> after the stream. Uh, from the dead. Uh, yeah. Do you think they enjoy hanging out with the other corpse in the basement? I'm not. Mm. They might get on. Yeah, they might. You know, it'll be cozy down there. I, I think we've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald's fine. Okay. Yeah, Jack, Ronald, don't yeah, you we, don't you worry, Ronald. The cat is fine. We're low level criminals. No, we're not into. Mm -hmm. the we're only exploiting. Yeah, we just exploit, uh, bald people. Yeah. Not. We we exploit yeah. YouTube stars, mm -hmm. and uh, apparently the government's completely fine with that. Mm -hmm. They're not. They, they are not actually protected at all. There's no um, mm -hmm. you know, sanctions for them. Um, you know, it's a little bit of uh, Britney versus Spears. It's a uh, yeah. 
yeah, you know, he didn't read the fine print, and that's when we got him. That's when we got him, ladies and gentlemen. And now he's our little puppet. This is the worst day of my entire career so far, and there's been so many. Well, I can imagine so, because you seem so chipper and cheerful in all of your videos, and, you know... But uh, also, in that video, when you... Sorry, I just want to... When you did the, um, uh, you know, went into the Dre thing, was that the first kind of person that put that out on the net? Because I've seen a lot of videos post... You were the first! Oh, wow. Because I've seen kids... I, I've, I've used the YouTubes. Mm -hmm. I have, Jonathan. And I've seen kids kind of do that at their uh, school kind of performance thing, and I, they got laid. That's all I'm saying, Seth. So you have helped <laughs> many Has... uh, teenagers. In my later videos, uh, you were forced to watch and... React to them. React to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel? Dig deep, Seth. Oh, you talk about this very situation. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Ooh. Snoop Dogg reposted someone else's. And not your uh, one. Did that did that hurt? It's all right. We've got connections. We can get him whacked. Mm hmm Maybe we can take it him for some you. content next when we're done. All right. Yeah. Well, here we are. Your career has fallen. Free Seth, Seth and Ronald, they're totally fine. They're Don't you fine. worry about it. They're fine. Yeah, and you've got any questions in chat? This is why uh, we're here. What we're do they feed the you, Seth? They're asking what you're being fed. Is, uh, would you like to share with the kind people how generous we've been? I barely have air. Well, yeah. some air. No, we don't want to waste it. There's not a lot going exactly. around. Exactly. I'll be fair. Uh, the uh, ventilation's not wonderful here. Someone asked if may is mayonnaise an instrument? Asking for a friend. It is. Yeah. Let's see. Why doesn't he simply take the tape off? He can't. You f it's not actually stuck on. It's glued. We needed his hands kind yeah, of available. Exactly. So he needs us, to be uh, able to play and communicate. Some pretty good songs. This will do. And we'll also do bad and evil stuff for you, uh, uh, to you <laughs> later <laughs> off camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. this, <laughs> by, by well, this is... If you don't play something hip hop. Yeah, we're going to need some more hip hop from you yeah. right now, Seth. And a new, a new track. You're going to have to come up with something as good as Moonlight Sonata into Still Dre. We're going to need something. You You're only gonna know one hip hop song. Cook us something up right now. Guess who's back. Seth's back. Don't you think it's quite ironic to be playing a, that song, Guess Who's Back, on your retirement stream? <laughs> Still Dre? Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, but that's the... That's the you, I can't, can't, yeah. you can't bully us, right? A, you're in tape. And mm -hmm. B, you only know one hip-hop song. Know your music, you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, how, <laughs> Ravs, do you, are you, do you know a lot of, uh, um, are you actually like musically, I would, how do you even say it? Because you went to music school, right? I know we sound like idiots over here, Seth, because uh -huh. we are. Go back to the UK. Music makes sound for ear. Yeah. Mm. Do you like music makes sound for ear? I really love music. Music makes sound for ear is great. I feel like, you know, Seth is going to walk absolute circles around us. Um, there, there's just not a chance in the world that we know more about music than him. He's the bald guy, after all. And he, if he cooked that up, and that, as you aforementioned, it helped many people get laid. You know, he's talented. Oh, check this shit out. Okay. Music. Oh, my God. Well, he's you want revolting, us, isn't he? You want us to check out music. No, Just, no, no, oh. no. That was his music. Oh. That was his masterpiece. Hmm. <laughs> Very beautiful. Um, all right. Why also the keyboard? Like, why did you end up kind of leaning into that for your videos? Because as far as I remember, Seth, because we've been out drunk a few times, you also in an orchestra. And what did you, you play drums? All percussion stuff. 
Okay, I don't. Know I don't know what a tempani is. is. Yeah, it sounds delicious. I've heard of a mar- the mar- marimba, a triangle. You played the triangle. Yeah, but he only did progressive trance on it. So oh, he just right. started slow. Yeah. <laughs> went faster and faster. <laughs> Catch up, couch. But it's hard. This is probably one of the first times, Seth, that you're going to get to look at your keys when you play. That's true. Does that make you a better player? That's all player? you've got. Play the Nintendo Labo. Can you play the, the Labo song? I don't even know how that goes, but... You're you're you yourself are a self proclaimed musical genius. You made a labo video. Oh, you guys will watch it. We'll be watching that in a little bit, so that'll be coming up for you. Have uh, you guys got any other favorite cram sim? Oh, favorite symbols. <laughs> favorite symbols. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite symbols? That's a question from the boy. That's a brand that looks like a very, I'm guessing, Swedish word. Nope, the very... Question to Oh, the... Turkish brand? Question mark. Maybe, maybe. Could be. Question to the kidnappers. Do you like Rocket League? I have played a bit of Rocket League in my time. It's quite an enjoyable game. How about yourself? I played it once. And I, you know, I'm glad you guys have finally started to talk to mm-hmm. us. I did feel the show was a little bit self- yep. uh, centric uh, exactly. earlier. And uh, now you're kind of beginning to realize, you know, our star power. Exactly. You know, they're, they're realizing that, you know, after Seth's gone, it's just going to be us. We're taking his channel from him. Yeah. But don't worry. We won't mm-hmm. be deleting it, but we'll be, <laughs> we'll yeah. be uploading our own content. Exactly. Yeah. It's just going to be us. You better get used to our voices. Pre-recorded? No. Seth proved to the people that this is not pre-recorded. See, he wrote that song just now. It's called pre-recorded. Oh, um, do you still watch anime, Seth? I have never in my life seen or heard, heard about anime. About anime. Okay. Uh, what do you think the internet did to Garfield, Seth? He does eat lasagna. There's a new Garfield movie coming out. Mm-hmm. And we're trying to if get you're really Seth good, to Seth, score it. Because I know you're going to be missing Ronald. We'll take you to see the new Garfield movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's, he's also a ginger cat. If, you, if you're good, if you do a good stream. Seth, if you think, if you could make lasagna a song, what would it sound like? Ronald may be starring in the new Garfield movie. Maybe. If we can get him out of the basement in yeah. time. We're also his agent. Mm-hmm. I don't know when you signed, but we got we got Ronald's uh, paw on it as well. But yeah, Seth, if you could make lasagna into a song, what do you think that song would sound like? That really captured the meaty, cheesy essence, I think. The, yeah. the Belchamel Reminds cheese. Reminds me of 2018 when we all ate lasagna on acid. Mm. Yeah, that was, was a great yeah. trip, that. Mm. Mm. Really melting, like just like the cheese. All right. So, uh, Seth, uh, are you ready to jump into uh, another um, Willing React video? Because uh, we've gone from the Zelda necklace. Mm-hmm. And then this was your third video that blew up. And then uh, had got, got other teenagers laid and also kind of uh, critically acclaimed, um, you know, kind of creativity. And they got reacted to by Snoop Dogg or at least reposted. And you were so happy about it because you just you're just a giving person, just giving your time. Just oh, such a nice, such a nice uh, content creator. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then you willingly did another video. So should we check it out? And hopefully this time, we don't have double audio. Here we go. Hello. Now we're going to watch the fourth ever video I posted to my YouTube channel, which uh, was a video I made just for fun, for still for my Tumblr uh, page, because I wasn't big on YouTube at all when I posted this. Uh, and I just made it when I was bored, and I had a lot of fun, and I was playing around on my synth. And this is one of the songs I played. And it's... The video is called When You Try All The Sounds and Beats On Your Synth, 
while only playing Coldplay Viva La Vida. And that's what it's called because that's actually what I did. Uh, so let's listen to it and watch it. Yeah, this still holds up. Like, I can sit and listen to some of these videos and actually, like, enjoy it. 90% uh, of my videos I can't stand. This, uh, it's good. At parts. Wow, very dramatic ending. Uh, oh, another video is playing on YouTube right now. But that's a video I really enjoyed making, and I still enjoy watching. It's like quick to the point, um, and it just sounds good. I think I posted it because I just liked the way it sounded more than like the comedic a aspect or whatever. Um. And it started a whole like series of videos, as you know, because I made those like when you only use the sounds and beats on your synth, I made that into like a series. Uh, and it's all from just playing around on my keyboard. So maybe you should do the same if you like music, just play around. And if you have something that you think is fun to do, maybe you can post it online and other people will also enjoy it and think it's fun to watch. So that's my advice for some reason. I don't know why I'm giving you advice. Uh, thanks for watching. There we go, back in the room. Thank mm -hmm. you, Seth, for reacting. And look at him now, look, he's reacting to his reaction. Very knowledgeable at genres we saw in that video. And, you know, it was good seeing, I especially love the I'm scared genre. I don't know about you, it was a, it was a very good one. I've got someone in chat here by the name of Pi who says, I wonder if he can still play the dog to this day. No. <laughs> I wonder if he can try and play. Yeah, try play from memory, say. For, you know, for the sake of, you know, not getting bruised. Sorry, that was a bit sinister. <laughs> I got into my kidnapper role quite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a horse, Seth. That's not a dog. <laughs> Keep trying. That's a lion. That's a, maybe a snake. Nope, nope. You're doing so good, Seth. You know, maybe if you can play the dog, you'll get a little treat when we take you to Romania. Okay. No yeah. dog in stock sold out. Ah. At Bald Dot Store, all the dogs are gone. But if you're quick, you can maybe get some chicken or... A hoodie. A hoodie. And you know. that comes packaged with happiness. Mm -hmm. You, uh, when you open it, you just, it will just kind of, you know, like horse is just big dog. Yeah. It will come over you. The joy of very opening up fan merchandise. Very fantastic packaging as well. Uh, as we know, is it we every package comes with look, Seth's lovely face on admittedly, it. Admittedly, a lot of them are made in China. That's and, true. And, uh, from some very, uh, where well, actually, I don't even know where they're made. Maybe they're not. I'm... <laughs> I shouldn't actually. Well, Seth, I shouldn't ruin Seth's uh, merch store. But also, just want to say thank you, everybody, for coming out for Seth's uh, last uh, kind of farewell goodbye stream. If he's a really good boy and we get through all the uh, videos, we might allow him to talk to you. 
but Maybe. we do really appreciate it because uh, it's been a, a long career and uh, we're just happy to be here at the end to sell you Anfrax and hoodies. Anfrax, yeah. yep. And it's a perfect gift for Christmas. Send them to your friends. Get it for your send nan. them to your enemies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at Bold Dot Store. So, yes, you, you're in chat on the, over there. You're on the YouTube. I've got the YouTubes yeah. open. Um, someone asked you to play Pizza Tower, Seth. Can you play Pizza Tower? You don't even know what that is. Well, there you go. He tried. What okay. do you think Pizza Tower sounds like, blindly? Pizza on Tower. What type of pizza do you picture in your head? Big. Big that, pizza. Quite correct, actually. Mm. But then also, uh, to kind of reference your video, you were giving out advice. How do you feel about giving out advice? Because you, I, I've been there, so you're like, you should do what's fun. And then also post it online. It's not always good. Okay. Uh, if so you I've could... got a video of me bullying uh, Jonathan here. Mm. And I was going to post that because it was really fun. It was really silly. It was a great time. It was the same night as the lasagna acid trip. <laughs> it, was the, yeah. it was the infamous night of lasagna acid trip. And then, um, so in that video... What kind of happened post video? Oh, sorry, I'm gonna really. People who play music and have fun should upload it online because it can entertain others. So you're telling people oh. that they should become YouTubers, Seth, in a way. Become Seth Everman too. <clears throat> Seth, Seth Everyman. Everyman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, when you were doing these uh, YouTube videos, I noticed that that video prior and the video, you still had boxes in your room, Seth. How long between those two videos and why weren't you unpacking? I'm going to guess it was probably because people kept finding his apartment. <laughs> I know. All right, they were there for two years. Was it a case of just you being lazy or was it... Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. You're honest. Uh, I have a question here that I feel is going to be a very pressing question from Luke L. It says, are you quitting because you're bald? Okay. Bald equal good. There you go. That's not the reason. <laughs> you're quitting because you've seen some hairs on your head. Well, if we use enough duct tape on you, we can take that right out. You get LASIK for that. No worries, Seth. We'll look after you. You're in good hands over here. Um, first three videos, you've posted them. You've got community, you know, obviously kind of turning up. But what about parents? I'm not saying parents are turning up, but like, did you, ex did you show it to your parents? And you're like, look what I've done with all this, you know, because they sent you to school. They sent you to a really nice music school. And you're like, look, were I've they done this. Were they as supportive as we have been to you today? Ah, I'm pretty sure my mum always uh, followed me on every platform and I can't escape. How do you feel about your mum seeing some of your, is your mom, tweets? Is your mum in chat somewhere? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is. Hi, Seth's mother. Hi, Seth's mom. Uh, a question here in chat uh, for someone that I've lost their name. Is your mum also bold? Your mum has hair. <laughs> okay. There, you must have got the genes from somewhere. Hi, like, where Seth's did the bald... mom with hair. Yeah. Where did the bald gene come from? Egg. Okay. <laughs> That's very fair. Very Seth, understandable. Seth, Seth, your father's not a chicken. <laughs> or your mum. No, wait, your father can't be a chicken. That's a... Okay, ignore what I just said there. <clears throat> I'm Seth's mother, says MDCD. No, they're not your mother. That's very fair. Do not believe. Press F for doubt. Your mum is too low. Eh, but it's just tune in. That's a shame. That's a shame because someone could have gifted her a sub. But, oh well. But like. Were you, on that video, were you already kind of big or were you kind of rising in terms of, you had a thousand subs? How did that feel to you at the time? Was that, was that like blowing your mind or did you have like higher aspirations already? How many like YouTube subs to Tumblr followers matter? 
if one YouTube sub equals, okay, but yeah, 500K. Okay. And how did you manage to um, convince them all to go over to YouTube, Seth? They never went over. New are, people joined. Are you, are you kind of happy the Tumblr crowd didn't follow? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Tumblr is great. An excellent answer. Uh, someone has asked, um, Seth, please elaborate on the internal politics of bald. Bald equal power. That's a very strong stance. Very strong stance indeed. I can't believe he said it. They hated him because he spoke the truth. Oh, here's another good one. What is your favorite music genre and favorite song? That's a very changeable thing, I think. You know, mine's is the entire Minecraft soundtrack, obviously. Uh, how about yours? I, I love hip hop, but just the one song. Just the one song. Still Dre. It's still Dre. You heard it in Seth's video. I, and I've that, heard it now. That was it. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is our first time hearing music. Pop, hip hop, rock, metal, classical. I noticed you didn't uh, put down K-pop there or anime intro music. Do you care to speak on that? Yeah, what have you got against KDA? Yeah. Are you not a big KDA fan? Yeah. <laughs> I can just feel the joy yeah. and excitement. They're so good. We love BTS. Stan. Stan Stan. Some people are asking for an early killing. No, we do that after the show, guys. Exactly. Okay. We need to yeah. squeeze every last bit of content out of him before yeah. we before we take him offline. Yeah. Live torture understand. once we hit uh, 2,000 <laughs> subs. Um, K-pop <laughs> K-pop fans. The torture are, is Seth just playing I mean, some... K-pop pop, K -pop fans probably have a, a lot of spare money because I can't imagine many of them go out on dates. Um, <laughs> so please stop. <laughs> we're going to I'm only joking I'm sorry I know this is the internet you don't, you and don't I can want get in to. a lot of trouble you don't want to actually, anger I don't really care I'll be fair yep uh, you could buy merch from bald.store that's what everyone should do mm -hmm. very good if you do it Seth might get a little treat oh little Zelda is it no. Talk for God's sake. Okay, we got you. All right. Oh, this is background music. Yeah, oh, this is like some background in a music. Hotel lobby. Mm -hmm. How about you play us some like uh, some music that maybe if you were visiting Bald Dot Store, some like shopping type of yeah. music, kind of like a Poke Mart or a Wii Shop, kind of a play us something the that you song. think might be the theme song for Bald Dot Store, where people can go and buy some very lovely hoodies. <laughs> it's like one of those um, uh, websites from the '90s that has these like animated gifts, and someone's Ooh. put in some. Um, what was the what format were they in back then oh i'm not even sure honestly i, I couldn't comment i'm older than you yeah go to bald dot store and buy some t-shirts and maybe a hoodie do 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 <laughs> if you do we might save ronald but steph's still <laughs> Very good, Seth. You've done so good that maybe you've even earned a little treat. Maybe, maybe we'll a little drink or something. You know, maybe a little sip. You want? He's he wants hydration because we've not fed or. Do you want you a know. little bit of? Do you want that was beautiful, Seth? Do you want a little bit of food and mm -hmm. maybe a, a bit a bit of water? Yeah, maybe water. we'll turn the heating on for you as well. Do you know? Because yeah. we've been keeping you in the cold, dark basement. It's very cold here in Sweden. Well, I, I don't want to, you know, be too nice too early, but That's maybe true. if the next video mm. is good, yeah. If you think this next video is good, then we will give you a nice treat. Oh, the shaking hat! You're not even confident. Well, we're gonna have to watch it and see 
and see if you've earned it, Seth. Hello. The sixth video I ever posted to my YouTube channel is what I'd personally consider a banger. Um, it's one of my videos that went viral uh, on like Facebook and stuff. So, you know, like someone's grandma saw it, which is a good viral indicator. And it's called How to Create Drake's One Dance. Let's have a little look. Pretty sure that's not vodka. I many okay. Many people thought I lived in Russia because uh, I look angry and stuff, but also because vodka in a big like two liter plastic bottle. Uh, apparently, that's a Russian thing. So we I don't think we have that here. <laughs> Also, all the sounds in this video were actually from those items. So I did blow in a bottle with liquid in it and play coin and a Zelda video game. And door. I need a one dance, got a Hennessy in my hand. One more time I go. Another solid video, I'd say. I just, I remember why I made that video is because I heard the Drake song and I genuinely, like, I enjoy Drake's music. Um, and I did back then too, so uh, when I heard this song, I think he just dropped it and I was like, these sounds uh, are very simple. It's like a very simple beat. How can I turn this into something? And I was like, yeah, I can like recreate the sounds because they're like so elemental. Uh, like they're like I could like grab items and make sounds from them, which I did. And it somehow actually ended up sounding a lot like the real song. So much so that just like some other future videos, it immediately got copyright claimed because they were just like, oh, you uploaded the original song. Um, but yeah, a good video. What do you think? Uh, goodbye. I would say that was a pretty good video. I'm, I'm personally a big fan of when people play door. It's one of my favorite instruments. Also a big fan of coins, you know. We love coins, we do. Money, cold hard cash. It's great. Yeah, send them over. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Maybe we'll make Seth play store. more coins. No, no. no He's retired coins. from playing coins. Okay. Very understandable. Very understandable. All right. But if you guys have any questions about the video, mm -hmm. and people thought you were in, did they only think you were in Russia because of the bottle? Or was it also because your apartment looked very depressing, Seth? They thought it was a two liter vodka bottle, which is a Russian thing. Okay. Uh, so they thought you were Russian, but you also said in another video, some people thought you were Swedish. None, nobody, at this point, nobody knew where you were from yet, did they, or had they figured it out? Swedish people knew. Swedish people knew. They, they knew. But did you have some people just assume where you were from because of how you look? And I say, oh, it's not just like how you look. It's, it's like how stoic you were. No one really knows where you're from. That's good. No one should know where you're going to be either. Um, someone is asking how many meatballs per month we're paying him in, and uh, I believe the answer is four, right? That's the budget that we have uh, allotted yeah. him. Yeah, there's they're, they're hard to though. get more out of a cat, though. Exactly, yeah. There's only, there's only so much meat there, you know? We've really been rationing them. Someone says he's totally Brazilian. Are they Ikea meatballs? Yeah, they are Ikea meatballs. We, we've taken the trip there. Also, someone says, uh, Sugar Cult, the second says, if those videos were immediately striked, you are too good for this. Was that why they get striked? Just because of how close they sound? 
Yeah, you did such a good job that you must have. Mm. They must have done it. Do you think Dre, you know, when he came up with that song, do you think he like accidentally walked into a door and was like, "Oh, that sounds great," and then exactly that was Drake. Yeah, and that video was Drake. I said Drake. He, yeah, he said Drake. Okay, it's yeah, just, it's my just a pronunciation. Maybe I okay, Drake. I see why you, I see why you wouldn't understand. Um, you know. So how was the response, Seth, when you did a... Because um, that was one of the first videos where you were using various instruments, so to speak. What was the kind of response? Oh. Okay, so it really popped off over there. But did you find it quite interesting how some of your videos would pop off and say tiktok but maybe not do well on the youtube i mean tiktok probably wasn't a thing at that point i don't know um did you find it interesting how they all did better on different platforms all right i've ordered food because that was such a good video so one second i'm gonna stand up and get it okay well i'll i'll keep you i'll keep you going oh no it's okay we're good we're good um so what was that um some videos would get like 1k views on Tumblr and then like millions on Facebook. That's wild. And it just, you could put the same video on another platform and it just wouldn't do well. That's, that, that must have been very interesting. Um, what was I going to say? I had... Also, I don't know, uh, Seth, if you, you could probably see into the room. Maybe we can get this on camera. Okay. But if you lean over there with, mm -hmm. uh, and pick it up, we're just going to um yeah let's yeah, um just, make sure seth i mean if you want to see i mean <laughs> we, we can expose ourselves a little bit but oh god look at yep. all this lovely food me and Jonathan oh hold on let up. me hit the button mm. oh there here we are <laughs> seth's captors here oh, running the stream for you this hello seth's favorite shape mm. yeah seth i wonder how are you feeling about tastes. that hold on let's get a little swap to seth how do you how are you feeling about that seth mm. do you want some no, mm. Mm. that's going to be, that's a bit of a shame. You're not going to get any for a little while. Yeah, well, you know. We're actually wearing skin face masks, so these aren't our real faces. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're very prepared. And actually, we did order food. And we didn't ask <laughs> Seth if he wanted food. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we did kind of forget when we were ordering food to ask Seth if we wanted anything. But, you know, we're, we're getting in the role of kidnappers here, and I think uh, it's really catching on. Exactly. You know, um, feed him you monsters. Uh, I don't know what do you mean. Uh, he, he's totally fine. He can't eat with that mouth covering on. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just having a, a nice So sip. how do you feel about the YouTube copyright system as a whole? How's that? It must have been very hard being a very like, musically inclined uh, content creator to create these covers and stuff doing anything must have been an absolute nightmare for you did you run into a ton of issues with that uh hold on i'm going to swap the camera for really at the camera here just so we can get a little better visuals uh congrats to the record labels for all my ad revenue oh yep no. <laughs> i don't want I'm, yeah <laughs> don't expose us yeah um yeah well that's a shame so you actually lost there, there, there can't be a lot of like mm -hmm. ad rev like why do they care about the ad revenue is it just protecting the i mean it's is it the money they probably took like 90 percent yeah holy 90 percent so you just and that was a viral video that was mm -hmm. the one that went on facebook but it's facebook ads which is illegal oh uh, parody is um protected yeah okay they've been exposed spicy stuff here on the retirement stream. Seth, have you ever heard of Clone Hero? And some people have made, have put your stuff on Clone Hero. If you're unaware of what Clone Hero is, I believe it's sort of like a Guitar Hero thing for the PC. To have me, it's probably very alarming to have you on any game or form of media. Yeah, but, but what you do is media. Yeah. Do the demons still live in your closet, Seth? That's another question. Seeing you outside of social media platforms is cursed. Hmm. Hmm. 
Someone asked if you're going to the uh, a Fortnite live event. I don't know. Are we letting Seth out? We might let him show up to Would a few you? events yeah. after he's. I mean, during in your retirement phase, are you going to travel, Seth? Are you gonna is the is your wish to go to the Fortnite live event? <laughs> your dying wish. Oh my God! Your dying wish is to meet Ninja Fortnite. Well, that's we've actually a... his name. His name yeah, is Ninja, Ninja Fortnite. Fortnite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's a big fan of sandwiches. That guy. Are you gonna ask him like how Ellen is? I mean, she's real nice. <laughs> gonna ask him for a kiss. You want to kiss Ninja Fortnite? Are you more attracted to his Fortnite skills or his uh, blue hair? Or is it the yeah, head, it's just the, the blue? Head, you yeah. already answered. Do you Instant. think he would look better bald? <clears throat> That's very fair. That That's is, very fair. That is true. These are words of wisdom here. Feed Ronald. Well, he can have the scraps of whatever we finish eating here, you know. Fortnite skin when? Seth Everman Fortnite skin? Is that something we'll ever see? They can have your skin. Okay. <laughs> Well, we'll ship it off to yeah, Epic Games after this. I haven't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to come up with something on the similar thread. I don't know how good my knife skills are, though. How's yours, John? Not great, not great, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. I'm sure we'll figure it out. You're doing great with questions, by the way. <laughs> I, I, you've got a dyslexic English guy here trying to read chat, and I'm going to butcher everybody's names. But, like... We know you're into gaming because you do uh, some gaming covers or you make some music with gaming backgrounds. Is there like a favorite degenerate game that you spend way too much time playing? RuneScape. (laughs) You're a RuneScape gamer. I would not have expected that. 10k plus hours in RuneScape. Well, there you go. What do you do for 10k plus hours? Surely you've scammed everybody in RuneScape. Are you level 99 woodcutting oh. and mining and all of the other cool RuneScape skills? I say cool, we're very loosely there. Chop tree, mine ore. Mm. Um, you do not have a maxed account. That's a shame. Who's your favorite RuneScape YouTuber? Ninja, Ninja RuneScape. You actually, well, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Someone also wants to know if you were voting, what was your game of the year this year? Excellent. Fair. (laughs) Very fair. So you've had the same game of the year every year well you play a lot of runescape so you must know how to play sea shanty quite well you can't play sea shanty could you try and play sea shanty dance for us seth dance (laughs) i don't that one i will not play it You're getting a lot of love, Seth. People are pleading. Yeah. They want it. They're saying you're lying that you can't play as well. They're confused. They don't know what to believe. It needs, it needs to be performed on all. Uh, old bad root tape sounds. Okay. Very fair. Very fair. Does your bald head crack like an egg? People are asking. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Is that a threat? Well, you're not playing sea shanty, Seth. You're not playing sea shanty. Yeah. The people will get upset. Yeah, the, the mob will turn. Exactly. They're they're coming around to our side, James. I think so. Yeah. Slowly winning them over. So that was the one that, uh, yeah, as you mentioned, went uh, viral a lot on Facebook. You you lost ninety percent of your income because of a DMCA. Many people's mums probably saw it because it was on Facebook. What was after, Seth? Because I know we've skipped a couple of videos, but where did you go from there? We want to find out. Hello. Let's go back to another video I posted to my YouTube channel from October twenty sixteen, and it's one of the first videos where I like answer questions. I think it's my first ever Q&A 
and it's called Why Do I Shave My Head Q&A. And as you're gonna be able to tell, it's still from my Tumblr era. So uh, questions I think are from Tumblr only, and the comedy is also of that period. And I haven't watched it since I posted it, I think. And that's maybe for a reason. But we'll see if the video holds up and maybe it's really, really good. Let's go. I'm very awkward, so I need to make myself some background music. Can this question be in your video? Kind of solid beat. I remember myself being not like from today's standards. I remember myself being really bad at making music back then, but this sounded okay. It doesn't sound as bad as I remember. Oh. 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 It just won't play. Your video? Okay. No. <laughs> For your Q&A video. Wait, where did I get this sound from? Because I remember I it was like a laugh track or I like pulled it from somewhere and then I like went into the audio and like uh, increased the volume of this one cough because I found it so hilarious like in the laugh track or I added the Can cough this from question somewhere be else in your video? and no. it kills me. <laughs> For your Q&A video, how long have you been playing piano? Do you read music or play by ear? And how much stuff about music theory do you know? I've been playing piano for like 20 years, almost always by ear. I do. Kn that looks like a question I sent to myself to brag, uh, but I feel like I didn't. I feel like someone actually sent me that because I, I don't think I was that pretentious. Maybe I was actually, but I don't think I was. I know how to read music and I do know lots about music theory stuff. Does so Fuling live with you? No, he actually lives. Rest in peace. With my parents. Do you like your follower? I have a new cat and he is called Ronald and he's also a orange short hair exotic. But Fuling died I think three years ago. So rest in peace. He had a long fun life. Uh, this is not funny at all. <laughs> Let's move on. Followers. No. Yes. Can your Q&A have a 1980s theme? Yes. <clears throat> What's the absolute... I went through so much effort to like make this. I remember now because I made the music, uh, which was kind of easy. But this is like I went through like 19 YouTube tutorials to get this background working. I also painted my wall green, by the way, to have a green screen, as you can tell from my other videos. Uh, also a big mistake, because I like barely ever use it. Is this the only video where I ever used my green screen? Ooh. Ooh. The worst idea for a video you've ever had. Click my name here somewhere and you will be redirected to all of them. They're all mistakes. Terrible. I'm dead on the inside. Are we That's human or are we dancer? Human. Hello, I just wanted to let you know that your blog helped me a lot. I just recently went through a tough breakup and your posts made me laugh out loud for the first time in days. Thank you. That makes me very happy. What is your favorite? So they're referring to my blog. This is <laughs> like, the, it was a different time. Blog, it sounds like this is from like 2003. It's Tumblr. It was just a, I was a Tumblr user, okay? Type of cat. This is my cat. He's uh, an exotic, which is a short-haired Persian. I when just are you said marrying all this. The booty no. Do you play Pokemon Go? Okay, so hold on, hold on. Uh, the booty diaries. When are you marrying is, the booty? Uh, was a really, really big Tumblr user who also posted memes, and she's really funny still. Uh, go follow her on. X? No. Do you play Pokemon Go? Nope. Favorite Pokemon. Oh, this is like, is this the year Pokemon Go came out? I think it is. 
Because I have you seen? There's like a big viral clip from Sweden when there's like a bunch of kids running after some Pokemon in like a park. I was there. Okay, I was. I think I, I might be in that video. Uh, I was not running for the Pokemon though, because I'm really cool. It is, of course, Blastoise and Gengar. What would you say is your view on the meaning of life? To live. What drives your creative process? My suffering. Does your mom still follow your account? You know when you open your web browser, she has my blog, my Tumblr blog, as her most visited web page. What are your favorite classic video games? Super Mario 64, Pokemon Blue. Live without internet or without chocolate. Where do you see yourself in the next 5 to 20 years? Why do you shave your head? You shave your head. I did. I put a lot of effort into this. Like, good job. I added like sounds and stuff. I feel like I added, like, I made a lot of the music myself. Not clearly, not that, but I made like. Also, when they're like, there's an X Files theme that shows up somewhere. I like edited it and made my own X Files theme. Is it here? Yeah. Or are we dancer? I added like weird piano to avoid copyright claims. I don't think it worked. Um, but I tried. What page? What are your favorite classic video game? Chocolate. Self in the next five to 20 years. Why do you shave your head? You shave your Good head. Good joke. Well, why do you have a certain hairstyle? Is it because maybe you like the way it looks or is that a strange concept to you? Please make memes of this video and post them on Tumblr and tag me so I can... Uh, there are like two people ever that made memes from this video. Uh, because I didn't have many viewers. So that was a stupid thing to say. And see them and suffer. I just really wanted Thanks to go viral watching. again. And have a nice evening. Also, this soundtrack, this song, my background song, I feel like people have been requesting to hear it or like have a full downloadable version uh, ever <laughs> since I made this video. Uh, and it's never gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, Steve. I'm not gonna upload the video soundtrack just for you, and I'm not gonna create an extended version. Thanks for watching. But contrary to that, Steve, if you buy 10 hoodies from Bold Dot Store, actually, we will get we that will, soundtrack. Over we will to you. make yes. Seth do yeah. it. Don't yeah. worry about mm -hmm. what Seth says, he's not in the best kind of state of mind right exactly. now. Exactly. As you can see, tell. he very much cares about his fans. fans um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. This so, is so painful. That, that um, video that you put in a lot of effort into that one, Seth. You did editing. Did you? Do you regret it? <laughs> <laughs> you did way too much. Editing. I did notice something there. Um, maybe a bit of a theory. It said, "When you know, where do you see yourself in five to ten years?" And then it said yeah. Seth Everman, but then it said bottom underneath it. Is that is that an official statement? No. Is that is that is this confirmed? Seth Everman is a bottom. It said bottom text. Mmm. I don't know. I don't know. I I maybe have to watch that one back again. So mm -hmm. back back on the video. <laughs> well, which, that's also relevant to the video, I guess. Um, you were solo, no editor at all, just you. No editors. What money would I pay them with? That's that's true, especially at this point, right? Because, you know, you'd, <laughs> you'd went, you've done a few videos that have went viral, but, you know, like you said, Tumblr wasn't paying anything. Were you, where whereabouts were you taken off at this point? Like, at this point, where is your channel? Where is your content? How How many numbers do you think you're doing? Okay, you had about 3,000 subs at that point. Hell yeah. But you're a YouTuber, Rav, right? It's the Rav, sorry. I, a very small one, but uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. nowhere near Seth. But seeing these big numbers mm -hmm. are getting you angry. Yeah, exactly. If you need, that, a, if you need some time alone. That's why I've him. pivoted into this company with you, James, because I want to <laughs> squeeze this a big YouTuber for all he's worth. Up. Exactly. YouTube was your smallest platform. That's crazy. Wow. Okay, so when, when you were like, um, for that video, because you put a lot of effort into it, 
how long does it do you reckon it took you and why did you do it all night because I'm, I'm imagining when you start working you just don't stop until either it's done or you have exhaustion I did this I asked people to send me questions okay this much is like pro- you can, this, is the, this is the creative process much like you can do in the chat right now we we may ask Seth some of your questions if you write a few Oh, really? Okay. And I filmed and edited in one day, one night. Yeah. And like music as well with it or? This was years ago. Yeah, okay. You know, if I'm getting the whole, the Seth Everman story here, as many people are as well. You know, if anyone's just tuned in, uh, this is uh, Seth's... Um, uh, last kind of retirement. Yeah, uh, it's his big send off. A his bit of big a celebration. Finale. Mm-hmm. Everyone's happy, and then if you guys have questions in chat, because I, I I've had a couple now. Exactly. And then uh, we'll read them out and see uh, where we what we can get yeah. Seth to. Uh, no, um, there was a mention to Pokemon in that. We very kindly knew that Seth loved Pokemon and Pokemon Blue being one of his favorite games. So there is a little Pikachu mascot there to keep him. Keep him in good spirits. You know, he can't say that we're not kind to him. We gave him a little Pikachu to keep him happy. You know, keep him happy. What is your favorite Pokemon, Seth? I'm sure some people are going to ask that. It was literally in the video. You think Blast- I paid he's attention like, I think to that? It's Blastoids, I think. Yeah, Blastoise and Gengar. Okay, well, you know, things have changed since that video came out. There's been multiple other Pokemon. You don't acknowledge the other Pokemon games. No things have changed. No. Pokemon has Gen 1. There are 151 Pokemon based. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing you didn't you didn't play uh, Pokemon Go then, or did you? <laughs> <laughs> we were busy eating. I'll be honest exactly. with you, Seth. We were having a real nice chow down over exactly. here. Exactly, Seth. How come was your on. sandwich? It was very pleasant. Very mm. pleasant. Mm. Sandwiches, mm-hmm. food, so delicious, delicious pink drink. Mm. Yeah, sorry, we we weren't subscribers. Yeah. yeah, we don't waste money. Exactly. We had to keep <laughs> you down. All Kip- right, but if you if you have any uh, more questions, uh, if you guys watch the video, let us know. That would be good, and then you can fill us in. Someone has asked, "What is your favorite Swedish phrase?" And also, are you a furry? I think you added that on yourself. <laughs> that that question may slightly have come from me and maybe also come from chat. I am not a furry. Okay. Seth, what is your TF2 main? Really? You're not an FPSer? Okay. How did that go? It was fun. I was playing on PC. It had like 40 active players at its peak. What? Modern War? Oh, okay. Modern Warfare 3. That's the one that just came out, right? This yeah. Apps. Is that the one? That, no, the old one. Well, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Advanced oh. Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. Point five is out now, yeah. yeah. Someone someone concurs and says, yes, Modern Warfare 3 does not count as a modern game. Favourite X-Files episode? The pilot. Fair. Very fair. Do you have Roblox? Best pilot ever made. It was amazing. Because there was a... That was when... Um, we're talking X-Files. So Mulder, Scully, Scully, uh, the, no, Mulder saw an alien at the end. Mm. Yeah, and that yep. freaked me out as a kid. I yeah. was young when that came out. You must have been really young. I was quite young. I only really watched the the one when they came back. <laughs> James uh, was 20. I probably might be actually 28 when it came out. Although no. David, David Duchovny, he had a music uh, musical career and I went to see him. It was uh, very interesting seeing him up there shredding. Yeah, old Mulder. Mulder on the, on the keys. 
Uh, Seth uh, Data Collaborate says, do you still play any uh, TCG games? Is that trading card games? Yeah, I believe so. Like your your Hearthstones or Magic the Gathering or whatever. You play lots of Hearthstone. Or Hearthstone mm. Battlegrounds. Man of Culture, I see. Um, let's see. Have you ever played Dota 2? You played the original Dota, but not Dota 2. How does that make you feel, James, that he's never played one game? I think that's game? cooler if you played the oh, OG okay. Dota. Yeah, Dota All-Stars. I remember being at DreamHack and it was just lines of um, uh, youths playing Dota. You, uh, have you ever actually been to DreamHack, Seth? Because you are Swedish. You have never been to DreamHack. It's on now. All your friends are there. We, we've sent them pictures to tell them you're mm -hmm. okay, though. Yeah. And you couldn't come to your farewell party. Who are all real are indeed at, at DreamHack. Dreamhack. Mm -hmm. And why are you not at DreamHack, Seth? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's very understandable. Very understandable. What are your hobbies uh, besides music and games? Asks Banana Reno. Any hobbies outside of music and games, Seth? Sleeping. Crying. No, I said boring as hell. <laughs> you don't have it. You can't think of any. So what are you going to do now that, you know, you are finally being freed from the pet that is YouTube? You, If you have no hobbies, you're going to have to find one, right? You will escape. You'll escape the problems of the internet once and for all. Okay. What happens if you find out that your own kind of mind is worse? Okay. <laughs> what has that popped up in the center of the screen? Does it say autoplay? Oh, no, wait. Is your TV trying to turn off? Uh, What's going on? Quick. We're in disastrous technical issues. We better go to another video. Hello. It's time to watch one of the videos I'm the most proud of uh, because I made everything in it myself. It's like an organic idea and it's building upon my own interests and I'm sounding way too pretentious. And the video is called Music Genre Video Game. Let's play it. remember hold on hold on back up i remember getting so many comments about one of these themes i think might have been one of the ones we heard uh being like this is copied from uh, like chrono trigger which is a, an old game um i had never played chrono trigger and i had never heard the soundtrack so it was actually not copied it just came from my brain and i'm so sorry it sounded like chrono trigger it was not Pause. Let's let's read this together because no one ever had time to read this. I, Kenneth the Very Evil and Strong, have come to tell you about my plans, which in the end could not possibly be the reason that you, a simple child, would have the knowledge to defeat me. My plans are 1. Take over world. 2. Be the strongest. Trademark. 3. Have a great time. 4. Find myself. Sad face. 5. Destroy them all. 6. Milk. 7. Bread. 8. Mustard. Banger.
added myself playing bass. Um, I did not play bass. I played it on my synth in post-production. I did play the drums though. Also, all of these were just like literally played on the spot. I had not written this music <laughs> beforehand. Literally, that boss music is like, oh, I, th I would think about some boss music that sounds like Legend of Zelda esque or whatever. And this is probably what it sounds like. Do 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 do. And it did. That did the final boss of the game. Wow, what a good video. Uh, thanks PewDiePie. Uh, 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 no. So that was a really good video that I made. Uh, and now I'm distracted by PewDiePie. Thanks for watching. It was a good video. And we're gonna watch the second one later which is also a good video. I wanted to make a third one. More on that later. Later. There we go, back in the room of uh, Joy here. And, uh, you know, Seth, big, big star. Of course, PewDiePie making a cameo. That was wonderful. We set that up earlier, didn't we, Jonathan? Yeah, we did. We, we hooked them up just for the stream. Yeah, thanks, PewDiePie. Yep. Thank you very much, Pewds. <clears throat> so, game music, easy, hard to come up with on the spot? Can we find out? Game music easy. Okay, can you can you try? Yeah, come on, Seth. We need some boss music. You need to get deep on it. Deeper. We duct taped you for a reason. That that sounds like. Uh, Jonathan opening the door to my hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need to feed him more. That's what I, I think we need to do. And then uh, maybe. But no. Um, so that was your, was that your first kind of like focused game uh, music video? Like before that was everything. Yes. Okay. And you were very much pandering to the <clears throat> gaming community, I feel. And it worked miraculously. I just wanted to be funny and creative and an epic gamer. Did you ever have dreams of being a pro gamer, Seth? You did not. Uh, so we had someone in the chat just ask, yep, is John. PewDiePie still banned from Sweden? There you go. I am very yeah. confused and not up to date on this. Yes, please. Context. Well, yeah, well, PewDiePie, uh, he left. Uh, he left Sweden, betraying Sweden, and therefore Seth, you know, as the official Sweden government Twitter account, decided to ban PewDiePie from Sweden. Oof. Oh, he got to run it, yeah, at Sweden, because they give it out to people. I've seen that myself. I've seen it a few times. And then, you know, I think uh, that holds up. He still asks you about unbanning him. That's very fair. I would want to be unbanned from my home country as well, but... What can you do? You can go to Ikea. Yeah, they've got Ikea and other places, right? It's kind of like a hub. Hub for Sweden. What do they call it? Uh, it's uh, not consulates when you have um, uh, in another country. If kind of like Swe it. The embassy. Yeah, an embassy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And Ikea, Ikea is a be, Swedish embassy, yeah. right? Absolutely. <clears throat> see you in Ikea. You can go in there, get a passport. No problem. And we'll see you soon. Um, if you were to write music for video games... What genre of game would you most like to write music for? A lore-heavy game. Okay. 
what makes it easy in your eyes as a as a creator sad piano is that it you just want to play a lot of sad piano i understand i can i can i can get behind that did you watch the five nights at freddy's movie where you're being asked in chat you did not watch that yet hmm hmm ikea soundtrack does ikea have like a, a famous song no would you write one for them if they ever asked you as the official swedish musician you could write ikea a little jingle well we heard your bald dot store jingle and that was fantastic uh, a place that everyone should go and check out some fantastic Seth ever merch so that he lives on past his retirement because you're never going to see him again is very true mm -hmm. and somewhat sinister i have a question here um but it's quite long from uh oh, sugar coat again uh there's not many people on twitch apparently we keep getting uh, repeat questions um to have guideline in the future da, 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 but it's more about ai music how do you feel about AI, ai music and do you think ai music will be copyrighted you are afraid of just ai in general or ai music Ah. Okay. How do you feel about musicians who, let's use Grimes as an example, who is using AI to with their own stuff? They can do whatever they want. That's very fair. It needs to be stopped. Your favorite Italian foods, change of pace. <laughs> Afraid of the saturation. Pasta. Do you own a Blahaj, which I believe is the Ikea shark? And I probably said that incorrectly. <laughs> it's probably some Swedish pronunciation. Uh, not even remote. Blahaj, bla, Blahaj. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm Scottish, man. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a question for you. Can one of the kidnappers say purple burglar alarm? <sighs> I think that's aimed to you, and that's uh, from Pal. Uh, okay, Pal so I have actually learned how to say this word, but purple burglar alarm, which is uh, improper, but I can go... Purple burglar alarm. Purple burglar alarm. Because so many people would ask. Good. Yeah. Well done to Jonathan. Mm -hmm. 10 points to Gryffindor on that one. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, <laughs> this is our show now. <laughs> you're bald, by the way. That's, that's, uh, that's not even a question. Someone said, you're bald. <laughs> um, hmm. Will you meet Seth MacFarlane? Oh, more like, oh, you were going to write me, but you didn't write me, and you put the winky space thing in there to imply that you actually meant Seth MacFarlane's meat. Ah, okay. Ah. No? Ah. Okay, oh, he's blushing behind there. You can't quite there see, but... Uh, we've got a question here uh, from Jetsu. He says, if you had the opportunity to redo your life... <laughs> it's quite a big question, this one. If you had the opportunity to redo your life, Seth, would you try YouTube once more? <laughs> <laughs> oh no there you go i hope that was the uh, answer you were looking for no but yeah you probably still would okay uh will you ever come to brazil yes okay there you go brazilians Seth Everman is coming to On Brazil yeah. after we take him to Romania first. Uh, after Romania, and also mm -hmm. it's going to be a sellout stadium, so tickets will be on sale soon at Bold. Bold. Store. Store. Eighty thousand tickets, and then he's there. Exactly. So, uh, buy a hoodie or a t-shirt to get early pre-sale access for uh, yeah. the year twenty fifty-four. Yeah. When 2054. Seth will definitely be alive yeah. and definitely be in Brazil. Yep. Send us a picture of you in the hoodie. And void, then, void. Uh, do, not, do not sue. For legal reasons, Seth is not currently appearing in Brazil for any uh, concert yet as we could not secure the funding to book a venue. No, yeah. Well done. Good save. Good yep. save, Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, company yeah. lives mm -hmm. on with our one client. <laughs> Someone asked, how far can you throw it back, Seth Everman? 
And his name is Fago Sororus Rex. Wouldn't they want wouldn't, to know? <laughs> wouldn't to know. Uh, speaking of things that they might want to know, someone also asked, where's the strangest place you have beaten your meat? I think it's time for another video. So. <laughs> God is watching us. Hello. Remember when I made a video called Music Drawner Video Game where I like invent my own video game music and make a little video game story? Well, this is that. But the Christmas version, which I also released an entire Christmas video game music album to, uh, that no longer exists online. Let's have a look. Video game Christmas music. There I go again with that bass playing. I'm not playing the bass. It's a. I literally do not play the bass. This is fake. I look cool. I don't sound cool. Because I don't sound at all. I don't think my bass is plugged into anything. These are actually so good. I'm kind of sad now that I deleted the album and stuff. I don't think I have the files. Um, they're probably somewhere online. I don't know. Of course, that's like the one that everyone talked about as well. <laughs> the one that was like zero effort, but like funny meme. Uh, and I agree with the talking aboutness because it's funny. Oh, it doesn't end. I had so many... Okay, so first. Uh, this stuff, I did so many takes for all my videos where I'm like, I come in like this on the keyboard because I need to like hit the right keys and it's actually really hard when you're not looking. And so, no, I know like I'm not going to brag or anything, but like I'm kind of good at playing the piano uh, and doing that stuff is really hard, especially when you're not looking. So many takes. I wasn't that good. I just had very many takes. This stuff. Hard.
if someone has that Christmas album somewhere, uh, you're free to upload it wherever you want and just share it. Uh, I literally do not care. Thanks for watching and see you next Christmas. That, of course, being a lie because you will not be here next Christmas, um, nor even this Christmas, as you are leaving YouTube and the internet forever. So that brings back memories, though. Beautiful, mm, I remember. You exactly. Know, many families mm. have, you know, kind of come together to Christmas '64. Yep. And uh, a, a jolly holiday. Are you uh, a Christmas man, Seth? That's beautiful. Okay. What was your best ever Swedish Christmas? Okay. Oh, it's December twenty fourth. Yeah, you guys are cheating. As uh, Spectre Col uh, Cooler here asks, as a person with a classically trained background, have you ever arranged a full-length non-meme classical song? I have arranged and composed many, many song, blurry screen pieces and symphonies. It's beautiful. I can read it. I can read it. And then also, just to kind of reference back, uh, if people don't know, um, uh, Seth wrote Donald Duck at 3 p.m. So there's actually a Swedish tradition where they all, uh, the family, will watch the same episode of Donald Duck on Christmas Day. Really? Is that a, it's a actually, Swedish thing? Yeah, it's actually a, a wow, real okay. Swedish thing. I, um, I had no idea. I did, I did hear Donald Duck is way more popular than Mickey Mouse here. That's that's a thing. <clears throat> Donald Duck forever. Yeah. Um, since it was a bit Christmassy themed, I do want to ask, what was the best present you ever got for Christmas? And then on the flip side, what's the best present you think you ever gave? Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> you got a drunk. <laughs> like a... <laughs> I got a not drunk. <laughs> Oh, you got a drum set. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. That's a brave present to give to a free any old. anyone. Ah. Oh. How many instruments can you actually play? You keep talking about, you know, pretending to play the bass and it's actually a a thing. You can play all percussion instruments. Well, that's just tech stuff, obviously. And piano. Many different types of things, exactly. Some some you hit with a stick with your hands, whole bunch. Triangle, marimba. And also, uh, Sinobu on Twitch mentions, he says, At Seth Everman, the Christmas 64 album and the original Ocarina of Time album are both available on archive.org. There you go. So, if you're interested in uh, saving a beautiful piece of art, uh, for the ages and time and share with the family over Christmas if you've run out of Christmas ideas Christmas 64 is available you just I have to go to archive.org and speaking of presents you can buy your family or yourself some nice cozy things at bald.store to keep you warm during the winter and also to make sure that Seth never has to go cold again ever either yeah. definitely not to they're heat amazing. Our Lambos. Yeah. He's only actually just wearing yeah. one. He doesn't even mm -hmm. need a t-shirt with that because they're just so comfy and warm mm -hmm. and um, ready for Christmas. And if enough of them sell it, we will be taking Seth's from him to give to one of you. Though that's not legally happening, but um, we could do that. Uh, it's in his contract, and we may steal his hoodie from him. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, some people are asking. Someone <clears> says <throat> uh, on YouTube, uh, Zybo says, "I don't understand why he's." taping himself lol well this is fashion it's also a new angle it's edgy and exactly. he did no that's not true he signed to a new agency here um and mm -hmm. we are now representing seth everman exactly um, and we figured for the last few hours of his career we're gonna we get would run much... his company properly exactly get as much content yeah. out of the man as we can before he runs away i mean how many videos was he doing before we came along exactly right like a video every couple of months we got to get more nothing. out of this guy nothing we made this him... kind of talent that's 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 mm -hmm. murder we made him react to all of his videos yes yeah. so that probably that's like 30 40 Seth Everman videos nearly yeah. 
That's more videos than you've ever done in your entire yeah. life. Yeah. And to mm -hmm. prove it, here's another reaction. Here we go. Hello. Here's another video uh, that I posted to my YouTube channel back in 2017. And up until this point, I had actually taken a half a year break. So remember those video game music videos uh, I posted? I made one in like October of 2016 and then the Christmas one in December of 2016. But after the Christmas one, I took a really long break, like half a year, literally, until the summer of 2017. And during that time, I went from having 30,000 subscribers on YouTube uh, to having 400,000 subscribers after this video dropped. Um, and I think having long breaks uh, that were originally caused by having depression also generated some sort of hype, which was nice to have. Um, and it also made me like able to just think about what videos to make instead of just like posting a bunch of garbage all the time. But so this is after suddenly gaining like going from 30,000 subscribers to like several hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, and then I set myself an end date to post a video uh, because I was going for a little vacation to London. And in London, I went to Hyde Park to a music festival. And you, like, no one could possibly guess the lineup, like the headliners for that music festival, like the combination of people. Uh, so the first day was Blondie followed by Phil Collins. The second day uh, was Green Day. And then the day after that was Justin Bieber. Uh, so that was fun. Interesting. I had my first ever fan selfie at that music festival. Uh, someone who recognized me and took a selfie. So that was cool. But I posted this video called When you try all the sounds and beats on your synth while only playing Toto Africa. Uh, and it's one of the videos... I sometimes actually go back to because it sounds good uh, and it's also very easy to share with people who are like so what do you do but they also don't like really watch internet stuff and they don't know internet culture like someone's grandma could watch this and be like oh yeah it's music and it's like covers but other genres I get it uh, so here it is Rewind, rewind. As I love that part. I, it's just so smooth. I like this. Is, once again, I just like improvise random stuff. Uh, so I'd probably never be able to play it again. But it sounds good. Half of this is just luck. Like, I play the songs on loop, uh, so I take, like, I don't know, 24 takes uh, over and over again of certain parts and different genres, and then I just edit in the best take. Um, so all of the, it's like, half of them are just, like, mess-ups, and this was probably the one time I actually didn't press the wrong keys, and it sounded decent. Uh, so, yeah, luck. <laughs>
Oh, I like this one as well. Wow, beautiful. I always had like the sad emotional endings. So it's like, oh, it's funny, haha, -ha, funny. And then it's like sad, oh, looking back, reminiscing about all the fun we had. And people get emotional and they're like, oh, I like this. I'm emotional now. Subscribe. Uh, I'm basically just a, an emotional manipulator. Um, but this actually, I think it still holds up pretty well, this video. It sounds good. It's funny and also it sounds good so that was a good one got me like 400,000 subscribers overnight oh yeah this one was trending I think this video trended higher than any other video I've ever made this video trended I think number six uh, in the US which is like the hardest one to trend in uh, and like it trended all over the world I, are trends still a thing do you still see that stuff on YouTube I don't know I fell off but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye. There we go. And also, because you've done such a good job of reacting to some of these uh, videos that you willingly did last night, Seth, um, I, we're going to give you a compliment from chat. Okay, this is from YouTube. It's uh, Al Famous. I think that's how I'm going to say his name. He says, thank you so much, Seth. I love you. I hope you enjoy yourself. You've shaped and influenced a lot of my humor and what I find funny. I really appreciate all the time you have dedicated to YouTube, heart. And that's from Alphamus. And, and since... Yes, you should apologize. <laughs> and as we get emotional, um, of course, that's where we want the audience because uh, a lot more likely to visit Bold dot store. And, uh, you know, um, if you need to cry, these hoodies also very absorbent uh, yep, to tears. Ver the yeah, material, very absorbent to tears. Seth knows all about it. There's probably a lot of tears in that hoodie right now. Uh. <laughs> each each one is made with mm -hmm. some of Seth's tears. Um, of course, that's not a promise. Yeah, it's a guy. He cries into every one of them. It's a thing called depression. Uh, now, speaking of you know giving your opportunity to make some money, there's a, someone in chat here, Koichi Charles Barkley Hirose, who says, "Guys, I will give you as much money if you want if you give me an R and B version of Africa." You think you can whip that up? No. no. <laughs> It's cold in the basement over yeah. there. Mm -hmm. He's got cold not, fingers. Yeah. It's taken a lot for him we'll to get, even tape. We'll get back. Uh -huh. So that was the first one you mentioned that was trending. How big was trending? Ooh. Oh, wow. From that one video? And did you credit Toto Africa? Did you send him a nice little thank you gift? It was in the title of the video. That's fair. Um, are you dying? No, oh, he's wait. fine. The band Toto is really weird. They have like 500 members and no one knows who the singers are. Really? Hmm. Mm. A little bit of trivia for you at home there if you're having a pub quiz. They are different people that live in... Oh, okay. Ah, super cool. I bet it was a banger. It was a banger. It's an absolutely great song and it's like really nice hearing the different versions of it. And, you know... I'm I'm feeling nice. I'll pay you a compliment. The hoodie you wore in that video, very nice hoodie. Very nice hoodie. I don't remember what you wore. That's uh, fair. That is also that's okay. fair. Um, we got a question here from Tech Dice over on Twitch. He says that's if, and then it's uh, were there videos you finished but didn't upload because you didn't like them in the end.
yes, I made stupid Q&A videos and talk videos. So you, it was like kind of that moment where you felt like, you know what, I should engage with the community. I could definitely, and then you watched it back and you were like, no, I make music videos. Yeah, okay. But you're here now, you know, obviously uh, communicating very well. Uh, are you going to be like McDonald's and say the McRib is going away forever, but then it comes back the very next year? The McBald is going away forever. There you have it from Seth himself. Disastrous. And then uh, Lieber asks, what are your top three favorite game soundtracks? It's a tough one. This is a very hard you one. You can see him mm -hmm. thinking. Yeah. Video game, Seth, you know? <laughs> uh, that, you, uh, come on now. you gotta, you got to have a couple in your... You can't even think of one. There There's is too too many. many. Okay, so you're overwhelmed with choice. That's fair. Um, Mick Bald. Yep, Mick Bald. Bald.store. There is a new Mario. It's Mario, Mario Wonder. Wonder like, Super Mario Wonder. Have you had the chance to yeah. listen to the music for that yet, Seth? No? I, I have not. I wouldn't have thought World of Warcraft music-wise. I never really paid attention to World of Warcraft music. You got like Karazhan, Stormwind. Oh. It's very like nostalgic, great themes. Yeah, they're very good tracks. Stormwind theme, goated. I have to agree. Donkey Kong had killer soundtrack. It did, yep. Donkey I think, Kong. Uh, that's, uh, that's one... Now everyone's just listening, <laughs> naming uh, video games with good music. The channel is not being deleted. Oh. I believe Seth has said this in his videos. And, you know, as the new owners of his channel, we will not be deleting it. We will as not we be would deleting like it. to no. um, remain receiving sweet, sweet ad revenue on every single video that Seth has ever put out. Yeah, we're just going to upload them flipped and mm -hmm. say it's a new one and you guys can still get your hit. Uh, it's because we were talking about World of Warcraft. Uh, Moss Pixie asks, Horde or Alliance in World of Warcraft, Seth? Hell alliance. yeah. No, uh, the Alliance is not boring, okay? I'm a fellow Alliance enjoyer. You play a fucking human, me too. I'm a, I am a human. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, oh, here's a nice comment. Anything. Just wanted to say, In Seth is one of the only few people that's made me laugh during a tough time. Thank you so much. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad our client could help you. Mm -hmm. Head over to boldostore.com to show your appreciation <laughs> wow yeah i'm I, Wait, we're all about I'm, cold I'm hard cash this. here I'm new. okay yeah yeah but touch touching comment there really touching mm -hmm. comment now just touch your wallet mm -hmm. and, and pull the card <laughs> out of it go to yeah. bald.store we accept all kind of uh, currency here we set your currency your parents credit card currency we accept everything at bold.store V-Bucks. <laughs> you can use V-Bucks. Mm -hmm. No. All right. So, okay. That was uh, your first video that ended up being trending. So that means you must have had a lot of pressure on your next video. Exactly. And we're yeah. what, about, about the 400K mark on YouTube now. Yeah. You're probably a little bit stressed on this next video coming Or are out. you a bit arrogant here? Are oh, you kind of like... Did he get a little cocky with it? I think it's time find to find out. out. Let's mm. see. Hello. Uh... A few weeks after posting my Toto Africa video, I moved into the first ever house I lived in. So I'd always, my entire live, life, lived in apartments up until this point. And of course, I had to make a very chaotic, overproduced uh, house tour, uh, where I also doxed myself severely. And the video is called uh, My New House, Big, Large, Cool, Lonely. Let's watch. Nice. I don't know how this thing works. That that fireplace. Hold on, stop. That fireplace uh, was actually super dangerous. So you see up here, it's like above the fireplace. It like goes sort of into the wall diagonally. Uh, that was made out of wood. Uh, which it's fireplace not supposed to be made out of wood wood burn so that had to be tore down and rebuilt 
Uh, memories. I miss those days. Some great music that I made. My probably. house. And this is where I doxed My myself. House. If it was part of a horror film. I must warn, there have been several mysterious murders in this house, and all previous owners are now dead. That means there's a discount, right? Yes, the house is for sale at a lower price, but I must warn you I'll take it. What's that sound? I better go investigate. Okay, so that that was actually pretty good. I remember that uh, it was good. Like it was actually, I think it scared me, uh, like for real about my own house, which wasn't great. Um, so let's read this fantastic cinematic <laughs> end text that I made. The house that stupid people kept buying and getting murdered in, in theaters, October nineteen eighty seven. Because bitch, this movie plot is old and overused. And then the tiny text below, just because I had to add tiny text, because every cinematic look has this, says, Hey guys, uh, I had to add some really fucking tiny text down here to make it get that cinematic look, you know. Uh, so I'm just going to type dogs over and over again. And then I just typed dogs. Also on the left we have B, uh, a huge fucking red B for absolutely no reason 2017. Um... Just adds to the look, because every movie and video game and whatever has to have some sort of letter rating. Um, let's keep watching. Okay, so first of all, this is my lawn. And over here is my neighbor's lawn. And I don't think they like me, because I haven't cut the grass once. So I actually ended up meeting the neighbor. Uh... And he was super nice. And they said that they recognized me. So they kind of knew. They saw me on TV or something when I was on a thing. And they uh, knew who I was. But they said it very ominously. He was like, we know who you are. Uh, but they turned out to be super nice. And then he came over and helped me a lot with like actually mowing the lawn and stuff. So super lovely people. Uh, and they're amazing. So this is the entrance to my house. I almost said apartment. Down here is the basement. Over here is the bathroom. It's pretty nice. But the main thing is, the shower is actually tall enough for me to stand in. I am standing in the shower. And next to the bathroom is the kitchen. And over here is my laptop where I keep all the notes for this video. And the kitchen is pretty nice, but it has a few problems. My dishwasher currently has a small problem that if you touch it, you get electrocuted. So that's a funny joke, but it was <laughs> like an actual death trap. Uh, so the electricity in my house wasn't grounded. And uh, it's supposed to be grounded because when it's grounded, it's like the electric electricity goes out uh, into the ground or whatever uh, instead of into you when you touch stuff that's got electricity in it. So it's supposed to go away and spread out um, and not go into person. So when you touched the dishwasher, sometimes you just get funny little tingles and sometimes pain. Uh, also, the dish soap that says yes, uh, I edited it to say no. Look. My dishwasher currently has a small problem that if you touch it, you get electrocuted. Billy's Pizza. And then over here are all of my belongings. All of them. And then over here we have some other stuff. The fireplace that I will use once and burn down the house. Too real. Very ominous. I miss these days of having life in front of me. And also death in front of me. More, more standout, I'd say, death. Most importantly, the computer, who I love dearly. Let's go upstairs. Okay. So here's my bedroom. We have a bed and one single. How is this even sadder than my apartment bedroom? 
And I used to think this was so nice as well. I was like, this is so spacious and the bed is so big. It's a big bed. For one person, it's like a queen size bed. I'm just really big, so it doesn't look big with me in it. Also, the curtains were really bad. You, <laughs> The curtains are drawn. <laughs> like, it's just like fully bright. Like, they didn't do shit. Single cable, window, floor, curtains. So here's my walk-in closet. It's missing the closet, but it has the walk-in. This is where several- That's one of the lines I hear quoted back to me. So uh, I'm proud of that one. Where all demons live. Terrific. And here's a nice tiny closet. And over here we have the balcony that I've actually never once been on. And then we- what's that? Cool, my house is falling apart. And this is where the other demons live. I have- All these side attics are full of items now, by the way. They're so empty here. The whole house is empty. How did I get so many items? Oh. Many demons in this house. Basement. Very skinny So here's jeans. the bathroom that I've never used and never will. That's a spider bathroom. And here's the laundry room that I've never used and never will. It was full of spiders. Rug. And here's the gym that I've never used and never will. So this is where I usually hang out, you know, in front of the computer for... Oh, I remember that Rick Astley. It's like a Rick Astley single in the background, like an actual record. Uh, where did I get that from? Oh, I see the Michael Jackson bad record as well. My house was so messy and it like remained this messy for months because I remember other videos have the same mess in the background. Two, three hours per day. 12 hours per day. So I've had plenty of time to see what you guys send me. So first some backstory. This is a video I posted over a year ago, which is basically me doing a transition from a piano song into a rap this song so called meta. Still DRE. I'm watching myself watch myself. Very voyeuristic. Guess who's back? And I came up with that like 10 years ago, but anyways, it got super popular for some reason. So one of you guys sent me this great video. Oh, I remember this. This is just me getting mad at people for like doing the Someone using my audio. Uh Yeah, I remember this. And then uh, last year, actually, uh, the NFL did this, uh, the exact, like this exact thing they did in like a, a sports gymnasium hall, whatever, like this. And someone plays like the Beethoven to still DRE transition, like exactly that. Um, and that was the NFL's official trailer for their season like last year or whatever um but that's cool any lawyers uh message me i'll admit that oh yeah you can hear here as well you can hear that he starts playing it in the normal key on his keyboard and then he plays the song without uh any adjustments so you can hear that it's two slightly different keys Like the DRE song is like half a key above what he played. So, because the still DRE song, annoyingly, is in between two keys. So you, you can't play in that key on a piano. Like it's in between. It's a key that doesn't exist. Um, so I had to like, uh, I think I tuned down the song in my videos or tuned up my keyboard. I think I tuned down the song to match it. But other people do not. Shame on you. Uh, more of me being mad. This is a girl that played the thing and uh, you know, Snoop Dogg uh, reposted it. Still, I'm still salty about. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm mad about it still. 
but the comments apparently were talking about me. So shout outs to you. And then someone did the Putin still the everything. Uh Putin not a cool guy. And then people were mad that I said it's a Yamaha synth. And they're like calling a Yamaha keyboard a synth. Uh, and then I go to the Wikipedia page and do this. And then it says it's a synth. No. Thank what else. else happened? Nothing. Uh, so that was my really long... I don't know what all of these videos are. But that was my really long uh, house tour. And some of it's actually pretty funny still. Uh, and I get nostalgic now because it's actually a long time ago. It's like six years ago. Uh, and I lived in that house for five years. Which I never thought I'd do. So, unfortunately, no ghosts. Uh, only me having like... You know, when it gets really late at night... Uh, I don't know if other people have this or if I'm really weird. I'd get like super scared and be like hearing noises in my house because we don't have noises in apartments. It doesn't, you can't hear stuff like that, like stuff from outside, like, I don't know, the wind or like branches hitting your house or I don't know. Uh, in houses, you can hear that. And it scared me a lot, and I thought people were actually breaking into my house, because I got, like, really paranoid when I got tired. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope people break into your house. <laughs> Words to live by. Yeah. Um, there you go. Um, a wonderful house. Oh, no, he's escaped! Oh, no. Where's the tape? <laughs> oh, Seth. Well, it was, was a, a good video. It was a good video, so you've earned a little time without the tape, mm. I'd say. Yeah. Get it back. Yeah, see, oh, and we oh, got you some water. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, that was the 11th mm -hmm. video, and mm -hmm. Seth did stay up all night making videos. So you enjoy the water. And yeah, the, what a wonderful house that we now own. Uh, mm -hmm. Congratulations yeah, to us, John. Yeah, I can't great wait. History. What a great place. Yeah. Hope it hasn't burned down with the wood fireplace. Hope it That's hasn't. a bit yeah. wild. Unfortunately, no demons in the closets or the attics there, mm -hmm. just the ones inside Seth's head. Yep. Um, just the screams, constant <laughs> screams. Absolutely. I love that you, uh, you know, you've probably had about 400k on YouTube. Your next video is like, let me just flex on everyone so hard with a nice house. <laughs> you know, but well, also... No, no, but these these are Swedish summer houses. Yeah. So actually, like, it's a very... You know how... I, okay, I'm going to blow your mind. Here, okay, okay. Because, right? like, yeah. Seth's... He's enjoying being able to breathe uh, through his nose properly right now. So we'll just let him kind mm -hmm. of uh, pick up his oxygen. But... Um, uh, people buy Swedish summer houses and okay. one of my friends bought a four bedroom summer house. Right. Okay. And he, he works, you know, um, with uh, game development. It's about mm -hmm. three and a half hours away from uh, Stockholm. Guess how much it cost in US dollars. Oh, uh, a little bit of Stockholm, four bedroom summer house, huge. I'm going to guess like 800K. Four, $40,000. What? Absolute fixer upper. But those are the kind of houses. And so when Seth's talking about his, like, yeah, I'm going to get mm -hmm. electrocuted by this. Yeah. That's the kind of condition. Right. Got and you. And they are actually amazing on price. So congratulations on that video and getting your summer house that you did six years in. Um, and you know what, Seth? I'm, I feel very uncomfortable that you are not taped. You know, I'm not going to, I'll be honest, you know, earlier when you did have tape on your mouth, you know, it was hard to stand up. So I think we need to go to a next video and then we're yeah. going to tape you he's, back up. He's still staying silent though. So, you know, he's doing, he's being a good boy, but let's uh, send it into the next video. Oh, you don't have a mic. That also makes sense. All right. And then when we come back, we're going to have him as you want him chat by demand taped and obedient. Mm. See you in a Hello. Now we're going to watch maybe my favorite video that I've ever made. And it's the follow-up to my music genre video game, uh, which is the video where I basically made video game music into a little video game story. But this time it's basically just bigger and better. And it's called Music Genre Video Game 2. Let's watch it. Thank you. 
Also, you can see the background changing because it's like it goes from one mess of all my items and drum set to like having a grand piano sitting in there because I think I filmed this over like multiple weeks or something. Uh, it goes from one mess to another mess. Um, also, everyone thought my sweater said anus. Uh, it clearly doesn't. It says Aarhus, which is a little town in Sweden. A really beautiful town, actually. I love Aarhus. Hard. This goes so hard. Nice. And so many people used that fucking smile picture. <laughs> this is this is a fucking like Snapchat filter or something, and they're like. They were just taking this screenshot and people thought that's my mouth. This is not my teeth. I don't smile like that. See? Can I get stupid at? Okay, this just goes really hard. That's... <laughs> uh, also, this is like... Wait, where is it? This is like my mom's jacket from the 80s. And, like, tell me that doesn't look really cool. And also, it must be noted, uh, it's like... Video, Seth Everman. Music, Seth Everman. Crying, Seth Everman. Production coordinator, second unit director, and additional photography, my cat. Pretty funny. And that take was probably take one million of me trying to hit that last note. Uh, good quality video. Good music. Uh, I'm proud of that one. I'm gonna say it. I'm really proud of that one. And I actually, I wanted to make a music genre video game three. And it just never happened. And that's, uh, you know, that's life. I had it written down and I still do. I have like every section, you know, and this one, it's like the water level, air level, whatever. I have other ones, new, funny, creative ones that probably will never, ever be made into a video, which is kind of sad. Uh, and I know I remember one of them, the theme is like gnomes. And it would just be like a clarinet song, like do 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 like some fucking RuneScape music. <sighs> it's never gonna be made. But thanks for watching my music genre video game videos throughout the years. Uh, they're the videos I like the most personally, and uh, I'm glad a lot of people 
showed support and left really 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 nice comments about them and even told me like in real life and stuff how much they liked them because that always meant a lot and it still means a lot and this is way too emotional this is supposed to be entertaining and funny uh i don't know bald jokes goodbye and here we are back in the room but more importantly back in control wait fucking hell johnny i said tape his mouth well, I'm, uh, well, he got out of the last one, so I had to make sure we really, really, really got it on there this time. So he is taped up good and proper. He's not going to be getting out anytime soon. No more, no more Seth talking. All right. Well, not that he has a microphone well, anyway. Good, we're not going to give job, him that. business partner. Exactly. Um, yeah. So those of you who don't know, this is uh, the Seth Everman um, kind of uh, goodbye stream. It's uh, retirement, and as his agents uh, mm -hmm. for the past. Ooh, I don't know, probably 36 hours or so. Yeah. Uh, we've worked really hard to make sure you get the most of Seth Everman as you want him on camera, obedient, smiling. Because a lot of people said, yeah, that wasn't his real teeth. Give us a smile, Seth. Yeah, smile for us, Seth. Come on, there we There's go. There's his real There's teeth. There's his real smile. He's beautiful. Yeah. Look at that boy. What a looker. What a looker. <laughs> and then, of course, we're here with the live stream, and we're going to take some of your questions from chat. Yep. Seth will answer. Um um you know willingly um as he likes to communicate now mm -hmm. only via text on a white tv mm -hmm. and then we're uh go through a little bit more of seth reacts so <laughs> that's that's don't he's very bad at spelling um that's one of the things like he's really clumsy with his uh fingers you probably notice that in some of his videos when he's playing music it's the same on the keyboard in fact even worse so ignore that that's a bit of a typo um anything from chat here jonathan uh we've had a few people saying that the police are on their way uh i, I think they'll never find us we've been rerouting and scrambling all the ip addresses that we can imagine but we've also had a few people in the chat saying is there any other videos that you had maybe planned out that didn't quite come to light of day like any that you could maybe tell us about you know with your with your with your mouth obviously oh well hmm, hmm, about that uh you were literally going to make a video with PewDiePie. Oh my God, yesterday. Oh no. And that's never going to come to fruition. He forgot. He had dad business. Well, that's another reason he's still banned from Sweden, right? Like that would have been a step towards him not being banned from Sweden. But alas, no, no pewds. No pewds. Ah, but I guess he's also in Japan, right? So that yeah, would exactly. like four in the morning for him. Yeah. Maybe, uh, or something. Felix, I woke up at 438. <laughs> oh, four in the morning for you. Yeah. Ah, pewds. Oh, no. But, you know, in retirement, you're going to get to travel. Do you have any plans of even going to Japan, Steph? And have you ever been? Are you going to go there and meet him personally? You have never, never been. been to Japan? Ah. Is it something you might do now that you're <laughs> now that you're going to be retired? Have you got any like? There's a couple of people asking what you're going to do. What's your immediate plans? Depends on when any piece of merch gets sold. Yeah. Well, there you go. If I you want to say that someone in chat did notice that we have been pushing the merch store pretty mm -hmm. aggressively to uh -huh. the point they said were you guys trained by Lena's Tech Tips? Mm -hmm. We want to say no, but also Lena's is unofficially our life coach. Yep. He we attend at many seminars. Uh, seminars se yes. <laughs> attended many seminars, and he taught us the way of how to push all of this stuff. Do so. I say Linus in a Swedish way? Oh, is Linus. that how, is that the proper way to say it? Because to me, it's like Linus. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. So that, there you go. If you want Seth to go to Japan, Bald Dot Store, you know, help fund his world travels. Yeah. Because after this, <clears throat> no more videos. No more videos. So, I simply but, want to see the outside world. Hmm. There you go. That's one your one can dream. One that's can your plans. dream, Seth. That's the thing, you know, like we want as your agents to give you hope. But not too much. But potentially we could go to Japan. We'll check on the hoodie sales and the merch a little bit later. But uh, anyway, but really, if you do, you know, uh, pick anything up, just 
because you want to say thank you to Seth. That's, of course, very, very nice. But just you being here is awesome as well. Uh, it's, it's, it's a uh, kind of, a, I think it's his second only live stream, but it's going to be now his last, and there's a little heart for you. So I got if you've little, got questions, yeah, yes, got a little in. question right here. Would you be happy to see other musicians and or YouTubers continue things you've made, like the video game music things, as an homage? Um, they can do anything they like and I'll support it. Hell yeah. And also, um, Seth actually is wonderful at just giving good advice. So if anybody has any kind of uh, problems, maybe you know, mm -hmm. uh, partner problems, family problems, work problems, um, <laughs> send them in <laughs> and then we get Seth. I, I, paint not so tasty, actually, unless, you know, it's luckily it's a little bit less lead these days. Um, but if you do have any questions, we get through a couple and then uh, we'll see what Seth got up to next in his uh, YouTube career. And so, John, have you got anything over there? Yeah. Um, have you planned the final word that you will ever say on the internet? Trying to write a speech, but, but it's very hard. That, I mean, that, that, is, that is a pretty hard thing to do, to be fair. Ah, yeah, a little bit later we might unleash him. Will Seth be available for projects outside of YouTube, perhaps music? You don't know. He's not He's not far that far ahead right. yet. And, you know, you're going to have to go for a mountain of paperwork with me and James here if you're going to want to get him on any projects. Yeah, but we're going to, you know, we're going to use all assets of your brain here, Seth, as uh, your agents. To, and we got someone, Moonbite, he asks, uh, how do I find a job in software design without experience? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Seth. You'll do what we tell you. Go to school. Okay. Well, there um, you go, Moonbite. Got a very pressing yeah, one educated. here. Uh, any shampoo advice? It's good for the hair. Yeah, it's good for the hair. Um, do you have any goals or aspirations now that you are finishing YouTube? If YouTube even was one of your goals and aspirations. No, <laughs> very fair. Straight to the point. Uh, Chivalry, uh, Chivalric Seraph. Sorry if I butchered your name. Um, important question here, Seth. Um, how do I cure my mummy issues? Get daddy issues. Fair. Upgrade. This is just wonderful stuff. Who knew? Are you being held at gunpoint? No. We actually <laughs> just have a lot of mouse traps yeah. around his feet. Mm -hmm. So he's not really able to move much. But that is, uh, that is how you hold him. Because bending over for a, a gent that tall goes strain on the back. So he's unable to disarm him. What is the meaning of life? To live still will you release video game music part three notes no they want the notes oh Ooh. the script to the video perhaps you did said you, you you said you had it though right maybe okay uh a question here from uh rapper side says can you raise your other eyebrow <laughs> it's literally just trained on one or is it the tape there's a, a CSGO uh, player Forrest uh, from Sweden that does the same and I think he can do uh, both eyebrows uh, someone asked why is too good here I am not too good and you do not know who I am yeah that's too bad actually too bad yeah the, and, uh, well, our identities are being protected uh, what kind of kidnappers would we be if we told you who we were yeah, that's right, Jonathan. Exactly. Yes, uh, Mr. Minecraft, actually. <laughs> oh, John, Johnny yeah. Minecraft. Johnny Minecraft, yeah. Um, someone asked, who inspired you? Like, were there inspirations as you were, I mean, maybe musically, maybe uh, on YouTube? Smosh. Do you know who that is? I know Smosh. It's, yeah, they're legends of YouTube. They're legends. 
uh, they were the biggest YouTubers for like ten years. Yep, they were. They were very big. Um, do, 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 do. I've got one for you, Seth. What is your favorite gig that you've ever went to? Like, you know, like maybe your, maybe like a special gig. You're like, oh, I'm really lucky I got to see this artist, or maybe this was the best performance I've ever seen in my life. Jeff Beck. Um, mm. Nice. Uh, a question here, uh, a musical one. Ayana the Dork asks, what's the strangest instrument instrument you want to learn? The nickel harper. Do you know what that is? Uh, I have no idea. Well, I'm sure many people... Yep. think it's Swedish and has an English name too. Oh, okay. We're getting all bilingual in here. This is getting a little bit too fancy. So we, last time we checked out, that was uh, the music, uh, sorry, video game music part two. We'll think about the notes in the near future. Jeff Beck is awesome and was awesome. And don't uh, ignore that. Let's go to another video. He gets really, he gets really riled up, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. he's, he gets really rowdy. He's typing way too much. We're going to have to, we're going to have to have a word with him. Uh, well, you guys watch this next video. More tech. Hello. We're now going to go back to October 2017. Uh, and this is the main reason why I got a grand piano. Just to make this one video. This is like the actual idea. I was like, yeah, this is going to do pretty well. So it's going to be worth getting a grand piano. And the video is called Just Got a Grand Piano and You Know What That Means. Also... I got the grand piano from Denmark. We had to drive to Denmark, we being my parents, because I don't have a driver's license. Um, I have a car, but not a license. Anyways, it's too many stories now. So we drive to Denmark. I tried the piano. It's really cool. It sounds great. Um, and it's really big. It's like an extra big grand piano. A lot of people were commenting like, actually, that's a baby grand piano. No. It's actually a big, extra big grand piano. It's like two point something meters long. Um, from the 1800s. Pretty fancy. C. Beckstein. And uh, the Danish people uh, had to deliver it because it was from Denmark. So it's like a D Danish a moving crew of three people who had to carry it. He refused to speak English with me. So he would speak Danish and because Swedish and Danish is on paper similar languages. In hearing with your ears, Danish sounds like throwing up. Um, full offense. And so he probably understood Swedish, but he assumed that because he understood Swedish that I would understand Danish. I did not. I still do not. Uh, and it was extremely awkward when they were like carrying inside the piano and like uh, they had to like take the legs off and like uh, they were mad at me for like oh it won't fit through the door and then I'm like oh we have a back door it's gonna fit through there that's like the plan and they were like mad but they didn't see say like it's not gonna fit through the door they said like and I just had to like guess what they were saying half the time and uh, the best part was when they left. So let's watch this video. so many like, <laughs> like reddit people because oh, i think this video was like one of the videos that got on the reddit homepage or something i had a few videos that people reposted to reddit and they got like top of the homepage, you know because that's when something just on any subreddit gets upvoted a lot it can like 
go to the home page which is like where everyone sees it so there were like super piano enthusiasts and like classical music people who are like you're playing the beethoven song way too hard and way too uh, evil and wrong and stupid and uh yes like <laughs> it's too match it's too match the still dre song like it can't just it can't be a transition if they don't match each other like i played really hard because that's how the still dre piano is played so it, like the transition becomes smooth that way um also it's also in a, the completely wrong key and stuff of beethoven it's not even like how moonlight sonata is played i just like played something that sounds vaguely like moonlight sonata because people recognize like the do 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 and it goes into still dre um i also <laughs> the lights i put under there uh kind of kind of hard i don't think i've seen anyone else do that like the led and i had them actually be uh they were like sound reactive so i had like a microphone attached to them and stuff so they would like change light with the sound on beat and stuff um i think i just taped them under under there and they just immediately fell off so that lasted like one day uh, but it was fun. I still have the grand piano because no one can move it and it costs more to move it than to actually like sell it. So uh, I'll probably have it forever. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. And there we have it getting very grand with a grand piano there. Um, and you know, it's, it's still interesting hearing this still DRE song like over and over again and seeing how like virally successful it went on to become and you know a lot of people doing their own version but like even you pick it going back to the previous video here like you picking apart like they're playing this in the wrong key one guy just like had it play over the speakers and stuff like yeah that must have been pretty frustrating yeah people stealing your content and using it for their own personal gain right james you know i did just the, the despicable that people despicable would, would yeah. ab abuse someone just, that something's created mm. that way and benefit from their yeah. hard work yeah i mean just yeah oh, oh mm. let's, shake uh, that, let's shake that floor yeah off. horrible um but of course uh, some people are asking they're like are the hoodies still in stock you know, because obviously there's been a, just a massive rush for these hoodies. Is the mm -hmm. website down? A lot of questions about that, mainly about that, actually. Um, yes, of course, bold dot store. Um, they're still there. And uh, don't worry, you know, kids can make these hoodies so quick. I mean, they've got real small hands. Um, they can just whip them up. So we're, we keep the hoodies in stock for you just for uh -huh. today only. And, and you're going to uh, miss Seth's course. face. He's leaving. Yeah. You're going to miss Seth's face. He's retiring after the, after today. After today. Uh, so, yeah. you know, if you're going to want to see him one last time, his face is on the packaging. So that is, that is a good opportunity to see the iconic raised eyebrow. Very, very true. Mm -hmm. Um, so also worth, um, uh, mentioning still some great questions. You guys have been awesome in chat and really thanks mm -hmm. for turning up for the, uh, uh Seth Everman farewell stream um we've got some questions and then um we're gonna go through it and then of course we're gonna go through a little bit of uh seth's kind of uh journey on youtube and uh up to today where he's he's probably feel like he's made a, a just awesome decisions in his uh final moments of his career here uh live in an unknown uh, location mm -hmm. so questions is um what do you get most recognized for when you're out and about belly eilish yeah that was a pretty big one you are the bald guy after all. Mm -hmm. I think everyone's probably seen that video. It was a, that was an absolutely huge one. I'm sure we'll be getting to that eventually. Yep. Uh, there are a lot, there's someone in chat that's very hot for you to type in some Swedish or teach someone some Swedish phrases. Yes. And we will read it. Hedge, hey, hedge, hey. any sway. No, no. <laughs> Did you hey. say hedge, hedge? Yeah, well, that's the joke. Oh. I have, yeah, because it's hey, but, you know, I'm English. Well, I'm not English. I'm Scottish. But, you know, hey, hedge, hedge. Hedge, hedge. Hedge, hedge. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. If you give us some, we can read Schottbler. Uh, Schottbler. I think that's uh, meatballs. Mm. Ikea. Ikea. Oh, Ikea. No, Swedish I meatballs. Ikea. Ah. Oh, how do you say it? Nod, who did it correctly? Ik? Ikea. Ia. Ikea. Ikea. Well, I don't know that. Yes, we are actually reading this. So if you write a message, we, we can read it. Uh, farewell Seth your videos really cheered me up during some sad times thank you and hope that you have a great future ahead 
uh, someone asked, do you know Morse code? We hope he doesn't. <laughs> uh, oh, oh no! That is uh, that might be an SOS. That may be an SOS. Very yeah. good, Abba song. Great. Um, we need more questions. We need to get that off screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get that way. Get uh, you look like you're being kidnapped in the video. No, 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 no. He's not being kidnapped and forced to make content and react to all of his own videos for our personal gain. No, 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 no. He is doing perfectly fine. Uh, um, someone asked here, Danger Curls, can I be pen pals with you, Seth? I think physical mail. I guess people, do, where do people reach out? Is it on YouTube comments when they kind of talk to you? And do you talk back? Do you, I mean, obviously you interact. You don't, okay. Well, we're going to change that. We need to go over the contract. Oh, you... Have you ever had a pen pal? And physical mail pen pal i'm not just talking the physical mail part but with the pen pal mm. well, there you go there's a interesting question i think here. the answer is no unfortunately yeah. there's an interesting question here for someone in chat they're saying seth before we leave we need to see a photo of you with your natural hair before you went bald will you be sharing that no unfortunately not chat Slavos uh, asks, when will we see you in the live action One Punch Man? You don't like anime. When they release me. Okay. I feel like my Twitch questions are getting meme <laughs> as yeah, the show goes yeah. on. It's, it's the same in YouTube. It's the same in YouTube. Um, if you could describe your career in one word, what would it be? Thank you for everything you've done and the amount of enterta entertainment you've produced. One word. Your entire career. And it can't be bald. I'm I'm putting a veto on bald. You can write bald if you want, but I feel like that's not very fair. <laughs> All right, we got uh, Nesk here who asks biggest celebrity that has contacted you. Ooh, yes, let us into your private life. Ooh, oh wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, it's the Prince of Nigeria, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, knew it. He's into his concubines. Um, if Seth leaves social media which bald YouTuber are we going to make bald jokes at now Vsauce there you go okay we're going to have a follow up one on the celeb because this one you might be able to out the biggest celeb that's turned you down in like maybe a collab or no one oh Look at this guy. No one wow, says no to Seth Everman. Big hitters. Um, did you enjoy your time on YouTube? Uh, you enjoyed some of his time on YouTube. And then we got one from here, Pitch Black on Twitch. Will there be any way to contact you after retirement? No. Well, with that being said... Let's check out what Seth did next in his career. Hello. We're now going to go back in time to December 2017. And I had my second ever Q&A. Um, and I made this Q&A in part because I got my first sponsor ever, I think. So let's like, I can't imagine me, me making like a 40 second long music funny little music thing and then having like a one minute promotion afterwards of me just talking about some brand wouldn't really work so a q and a's and stuff like that house tours are much better because like you can actually uh fit in a sponsorship in there but this video uh i don't remember uh that much i think i said some funny stuff and the video is only like five minutes long uh, and so I must have cut it down into something creative and funny. Or did I? Let's find out. That's my old logo. Are you content with your current amount of toes? Are those your real eyebrows? Yes. Do you shape your eyebrows or are they just like that? 
I don't do anything with them. As a Swedish person, do you automatically have to love IKEA? Yes, you do. I love IKEA. I shop there every single day. I buy breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything. I love it. How do you manage to hit those super high notes on your keyboard so perfectly at the end of each of your videos? I try all the time and I just end up breaking my piano. I do 600 takes until it works. Drinking. I, I don't remember showing that off. That's so funny that I actually had clips of me messing piano. that up. Because I, I actually, I did actually do so many takes every single time for these videos. Drinking so a bathtub funny. full of fruit punch by submerging the end of a trombone and slurping. Are you staying hydrated? Do you I'm... I'm trying to figure out where I have my microphone. Like, because I'm clearly, I'm talking into a microphone. Uh, and I never had like a lavalier or anything like that that could be like on my clothes. Where is it's like, do I have a microphone like right above or to the side that's just out of shot? Or is this like the microphone on my camera? There's no way because it sounds decent. Do you get enough sleep? Absolutely not. There is one thing we all love. Cash money. That's why I'm super happy to say my I first found my ever first sponsor. sponsors. Audio Blocks is one of the largest. I'm gonna skip this. We don't have to watch my sponsored video thing. Um, but I was so surprised that I would actually have a sponsor. Like, they pay a hundred times more than the ad revenue I'd make from like copyrighted videos. But yeah. Pictures of fooling. What's your favorite musician slash band? Skrillex. I got to meet Skrillex earlier this year. True story. Can you remake the SpongeBob SquarePants opening theme into a classical piece? Yes. Mermaid that's part worm. <laughs> I clear I took every opportunity I possibly could to use the grand piano in videos for no reason. Worm made. How long does it take to script slash plan a video? Four minutes. Is it just me or is Bowser thicker than oatmeal? No, it's not just you. In your opinion, who is the most influential musician of this century? Max Martin. If you don't know who that is, here are some songs he made. If you could describe yourself in four that. words, what would they be? Big, large, lonely, music. How Swedish are you in scale 1 to 10? I'd say I'm about a 7. There are people more Swedish than me. I don't remember these pictures at all. Or this montage. It's a horrible. I love it. What are your five favorite Nintendo 64 games? Super Mario 64, the two Zelda games, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium. You can have oh. any video game whose production- I don't know if I agree with that anymore. Um, Super Mario 64, definitely first. I don't think I put the Zelda games 2 and 3 anymore. Games. Uh, they're like- Pokemon Snap. I'm gonna be, like, have an opinion here that might stir some feelings. Uh, I don't think the, the Nintendo 64 Zelda games hold up that well. Like, they, they look uh, very, like, you know, you see the polygons and stuff a bit too much. So, like, the universes, like, the, the worlds in those Zelda games are, they, they seem 
kind of hollow and plastic and fake, and I no longer like it that much. But the Pokemon games, like Pokemon Snap, uh, I just love it because it's so wholesome and it's like nostalgic to me. So personally, I'd probably bump Pokemon Snap, problematic opinion, I know, above the Zelda games. But this is personal. Rating video games is uh, a subjective opinion, okay? You can't you can't comment and in chat and be like, uh, that's wrong. Uh, stop. Stop it. It is not wrong. It is correct. Because everyone is correct to their own subjective feelings. Snap Pokemon Stadium. You can have any video game whose production was cancelled be made. What do you choose? I'm not gonna choose a specific game, I'm gonna choose an entire console. The Nintendo PlayStation. It could have been a thing. Is it I hard swear they auctioned off... Did they auction off the Nintendo PlayStation like... Last year or something? I swear I remember that being auctioned off. And it was like surprisingly not that expensive. Uh, extremely expensive for like a normal human being, including me. But like... Something so iconic like the nintendo playstation i think it, it did not go for a million dollars it was like less way less than a million dollars i don't remember i might be making this entire thing up but i'm pretty sure i'm right hard finding clothes that fit when you're such a tall man yes i suffer every single day of my life if tim is short for timothy why isn't jim short for jimothy why isn't ham short for hamantha why isn't leg short for legory I don't remember this. Oh, that's the cop sound again. <laughs> I love that cop sound. <laughs> it's like the cop sound I added from like some random laugh track or something from like the 1950s. Uh... <laughs> And I like I remember I was editing it like way back and just sat and laughed at that cough because I had like increased the volume so much that it was just like a deafening <laughs> cough. Uh, that's not even funny anymore. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for watching. There we go. Thanks for watching. Chat, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, uh, I guess at some points when you're doing these videos, they take a while. Do you get, get is that why the laugh track's funny to you? You were just like delirious and everything's funny. <laughs> okay. I think I have a problem with your take on the Legend of Zelda games. Oh God, um, here I, we go. I don't want to get into it, but Majora's Mask you don't is want one to upset of the best Johnny games Minecraft. of all time. Sorry, I spoke over you there. That's okay. It's one of the best games of all time. It's great. Incredible game. Incredible Zelda game. Great soundtrack. Phenomenal. Oh, I don't know up. what you guys are on about. I've never played Holds Zelda. Up. Oh, and really? Oh, that's a shame. I'm just trying to move the hate onto me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't mind what attention I get. Never uh, played Zelda. Never heard of it, really. What are you going to do about it? Take away my food? I just don't get food yeah, anyway. True. Yeah, so true. true. Yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, there's not really much more we can do to you. If the, we've, we've got you. We've got you on the ropes. Or the tape, rather. Yeah. On tape. We have you on tape. <laughs> so also questions still coming in and uh it's really nice to see how uh, everyone's reacting to these videos some of you you know are like oh this takes me back and this is one of my faves when they come up and then uh we've got a question here that is will you be lurking in the shadows of the internet or will you stay completely dark it's a hundred percent lurk does that okay. mean kind of you won't even like her instagram or oh, drop a comment no, no one likes. will know okay mysterious mm. but what if you have that you know you're scrolling for instagram you actually like double tap like or whatever i will get scared and unlike very mm. fair we've well, all done of it. scared actually we've got a, a, a great question here from asian perk who says i am watching uh with my sister's dog uh, and the dog is very scared of just everything what video of yours do you think he'd most like These are the kind of tough hitting questions mm. that we enjoy. Dogs can't understand screens. 
That's true. What is your favorite Some evolution? Some as well. Your favorite evolution, I've been asked in chat. The evo- it, you know, EV Evolve Pokemon 151, they, it's an EV. You don't have a favorite evolution. Because mine's is Vaporeon in terms of human and Pokemon relations. That, that no, we won't, we won't. We won't talk about that copy pasta. Uh, <laughs> All right, we got one here from Dezu who asks, uh, "What's the weirdest place you've been recognized in?" Oh, that's a good one. There has been many weird ones. I got recognized. Congratulations. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, an old rock rock biker guy. Okay. He took a selfie with his Nokia phone in Sweden, I'm guessing. Okay, I almost probably can guess the, the bar or the place. Um... Yes, you can. Yeah, there's. The, yeah, I am a little bit of a drunk. This is true, um, but there's this uh, bar here in uh, Stockholm called Anchor. Mm-hmm. Uh, we haven't taken you there yet. Join Minecraft. I've not been there. Join Minecraft is not business, business down there for us. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think we can. Uh, yeah, get something going down there, and then um, yeah. But I believe it is like uh, the Swedish kind of Hell's okay. Angels and stuff were allowed there because they uh, allowed anyone to wear their jackets. Would you join the Swedish Hell's Angels, Seth? No, you're not interested. Never want to be a baker. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Very fair. Uh, Karen's lasagna, hope I said that right, or Ikea meatballs. The lasagna. Lasagna stays winning. So I guess that's like a special Swedish thing. Swedish. Um, did you like the new season of X-Files? Still had some of its charm. There you go. All right. I'm still going to, I'm going to give you hard hitting questions because this show is a lot for, you know, our paying audience Mm -hmm. and if not paying soon to be paying uh, bold dot store. So I'll take all the questions. We'll do everything you, we can just to win you over, but we have a question here and it's uh, from gel. Um, It says you talk a lot about your depression. What steps are you actively taking to improve your condition apart from removing yourself from the internet? I was going to say <laughs> removing myself from the internet. And don't worry, uh, Seth is now in 24-7 care, as we like to call it. Yes, yeah, constant agency. care. Constant mm-hmm. care. Mm-hmm. Um, He'll be very well home. looked after. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's a nice padded room. Absolutely. Yep. And you still get a lot of love coming in. Uh, Trigger says, love you, Seth. Going to miss you. Hope you shall remain happy and healthy in your future. Um, someone asks, where to contact you for a job offer? You're not interested. Shrug. Someone has written this a couple of times, and I don't know if if it's like something I don't understand, but I'm just going to read it out anyway. But uh, Fernerously, as I can't say his name properly, says, spell iCup, Seth. What's this? What's this about? iCup. Oh, it's just the spelling of a word, you know. All right. Do you want to spell it out? I. Oh, wait. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. That wouldn't have worked if Seth was doing it anyway. Exactly. You know, like we would have it. to read it out. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Chat. You almost got they us. They got us. Uh, why has he got tape over his mouth? It's a new fashion thing he's trying out. Yeah. Yeah. It's part of his new contract that he signed with uh, uh, a very uh, prestigious and litigious mm. agency. Uh, if we meet you in the real world after today, can we still get pictures with you? Yeah. Very humble man. A very humble, nice man. Um, Have you been to the Polar Circle? <laughs> oh, darkness and cold in Stockholm and my heart. Okay. Beautiful, Seth. Well uh, written. Someone asks, in terms of, sorry, Lord Rotter asks, in terms of music, which country makes better music? Okay, here we go. It's Norway or Finland. Excellent answer. Well done. 
Finland. You are you a little Finland. bit Finnish? Yeah. Team Norway here, but we can we move on. Um, let's see. If you were to be stranded on a desert island with any YouTuber, which one would you prefer to be, or would you rather be on your own? Mr. Beast. <laughs> Looks tasty. <laughs> Mr. Beast looks tasty. I was going to say, it's probably because he owns the island. Yeah, he probably owns the island, but, yeah. you know, yeah. you got to get food on there somehow. All right. So, yeah, uh, guys, great questions. And, of course, keep them coming in. Um, we are almost, I think, halfway through the show, but we don't know really when it's going to end. But all we know is, is that Seth was up all night making reaction videos for you. And uh, we know he willingly wanted, loved it, and enjoyed. You can see just joy in his eyes. And so let's go see some more Seth Everman joy. Hello. We are now going to go back to Christmas 2007 and New Year's. Uh, when the year turned 2018. Did I say 2007? Did I actually just say 2007? Uh, I don't know, and I don't care. 2017 uh, is what I meant, and maybe I did say that. This is the worst start to a video ever. Uh, and then... That winter! And I was at my parents' apartment, and I stayed with them uh, that entire winter, and I felt like for some reason I had to, like, make a video. So I made this, and it's called When you try all the sounds and beats on your synth while only playing Oasis Wonderwall. Let's go. I like this one. Yeah. Oh, I forgot this. emotional ending such an emotional manipulator all around um i feel like that's a another okay video it reminds me of like the one classical pianist who listens to hip-hop once again like the second video it's okay but it's already it's like the same concept that i already did with uh the africa the toto africa video but the toto africa one was much better and like a m way more iconic song for the memes than this one. This is like a guitar song, you know, Oasis Wonderwall. It's like if you ask any guitar player to play a song, they're like, okay, I'm going to play Oasis Wonderwall. Um, 
So it was kind of hard to make it sound good. I remember I was like suffering a lot uh, trying to make it sound good when I was playing all the different genres. Uh, and I vaguely succeeded sometimes and also failed miserably other times, uh, which is all recorded in the video we just saw. I also, I was probably, I don't, did I record that in my parents' bathroom? They were always home. So I'm sure I'm like, I had to ask them. <laughs> I was like, uh, by the way, I'm going to be in the bathroom uh, playing my this huge synth. Um, it was probably also in the middle of the night. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for no more future content ever. And he really meant it. No more future content ever. Although, a little ahead of his time back then, because now we are on the Seth Everman mem 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 uh, Memorial Tour. Sorry, a little stutter there. <laughs> <Memorial>. <laughs> We're on the Memorial <laughs> Tour, the, the final stream. This is barely content. This is... This, this is, is peak. Yeah. Mate, since you signed us mm -hmm. as your new agents, mm -hmm. it's just... It's gone wild. I would say some yeah. of these reaction videos are some of the best content you may have ever made, in fact. Um, so, yeah, as always, keep your questions coming in. If you've got any questions for Seth that you would like answered before he disappears off of the internet forever, um, then now is your chance to do so. We're on the YouTube and the Twitch chat. We can see all of your lovely messages of support. Seth can peruse them with his eyes, too. Um, so, I did see one question. Uh, what would be your dream music collab? I feel like it, you might just type Skrillex here, but, you know, maybe maybe there's a surprise here. Billy Eilish. That could be pretty cool. I've heard of her. Yeah. I'm just chipping in where I can on yeah. the, the music scene mm -hmm. as a 40-year-old a bloke that hasn't much going, <laughs> going, going, going for him. Um, all right. Yeah. Still a lot of love. And uh, thanks, everybody, for uh, turning out in droves. And uh, yeah. Heart, heart, heart. Yes, and then uh, Moss Pixie asks, Speaking of X-Files, did you ever get traumatized forever by the Rubber Toilet Man episode? Do you remember yes. that one? I didn't watch that one, no. Did he come out no. from the toilet? I was a bit too scared of X-Files. I was a bit of a baby. But, you I'm know, maybe I should go back not. and watch it. Yeah. We're the same age? Yeah, but I was a, I was a pussy. A, a little baby boy. A little scaredy cat. Um... I've never done very good at horror. And you were still brave enough. Oh, well, you watched it in 2014, okay? You were like, you've grown up by then. But still brave enough to take an instrument into your parents' uh, mm. uh, bathroom. Um, were they somewhat suspicious <laughs> of the amount of time you needed? Maybe I want the rabbit on it. Yeah, well, that's true. There was I was scared of that thing uh, from a movie where you would like speak into a mirror and you'd say the same word. Oh, uh, Be Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, yeah. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's coming now. He's yeah. coming. That was scary. But I was very young. Um, opinion on tuba says big b -b 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 with multiple Bs. Just an opinion on the tuba. Um, do you care for Eurovision at all? Especially considering it's going to be in Sweden next year. Oh, it was Bloody Mary or Candy Man. It's fun Sorry. sometimes. Eurovision oh. is fun sometimes. Sweden wins too much. Mm -hmm. Then, well... They do. They do be winning a lot. They just mean making pop songs. I mean, pop songs, pop songs are amazing. They're great. Um, do you think Billie Eilish knows about Bald Guy? That has no one ever reached out from their team or anything just to be like, hey, cool video. Uh, oh, dot, dot, dot. Mm. Mm. Someone asks for uh, some recommendations here. He goes, uh, Dayjack says, I love bands from other countries uh, like Greebs uh, with a Z. So if I spell that correctly, it's uh, G-R-E-B-Z. Uh, but don't have any Swedish one. Can you recommend a Swedish band? And in a similar vein, someone has just said, Favorite, genre? favorite Swedish musician slash band that most people likely don't know that you'd like them to know? Saw your work, Sarek. Those are two. There you go, Dayjax. He said any, so you nailed it, Seth. <laughs> uh, someone has asked, will you be in the new Lex Luthor movie? You will be his head. 
That's a, that's going to be a very big role, as we saw in some of your in some of your YouTube videos. There, you did a little bit of acting, so I think you got the chops for it. You know, we'll certainly be reaching out with our agents and everything to put you in as much as we can. Every bald person you see in a movie will be played by Seth. They probably already are. Yeah, and you just mm -hmm. you just didn't know. Uh, Joe Pesci official Twitch. I'm very sure this is the uh, real Joe Pesci. He asks, uh, Hi, Seth. Just wanted to say thank you for all the amazing content that you've made for us throughout the years. Much love from Ireland. What is your favorite Lord of the Rings movie? Fellowship of the Ring is a very good one. It's also my favorite. Very based. Um... Uh, someone also asked, Salvos, did you watch the end of Attack on Titans? No. Um, it's it's finally out now, isn't it? The whole uh, yeah, the whole the yeah. whole shebang is out. You watched the first season, you got bored. You were sorry. That's okay. You're not a big anime guy. Um, well, you close your OnlyFans too. <laughs> Will be the only way to reach me, mm -hmm. and to get to that place you go to bald.store uh which is the link to his very special website with very exclusive content that you can buy yep okay here's a question from uh duvani music he says hey hey in a swedish way he says how will seth convince someone in the future that he was a viral youtuber when everything is gone perfect uh, and on that high note mm, well i have one little uh, question one more. one more cheeky little question hey seth just here wondering would you ever take part in a bald celebrity boxing event to see which bald person is the best at boxing i think your baldness would lead you to a win i prefer having my brain working very fair very fair barely barely well speaking of barely working brains uh, as we were about to do we were about to cut in to see what your barely bald brain came up with in the next video love it so smooth let's go hello we're now gonna watch the first ever collab i ever made and i this is a video that's in my heart dearly because uh i had lots of like fun uh, it was a growing experience for me, you know, because it was my first collab ever. It's with 10 Second Songs, um, who is an amazing singer and guitarist, and we play All Star by Smash Mouth. And on his channel, we did a collab where we play Take On Me by AHA. And it's, you know, both of them are in different genres. It's like we both did sort of the same thing already. We were doing like a song, but in a bunch of different genres. So, I remember this, I recorded so much of it and like sent to him the night before I traveled to like the Canary Islands for a vacation. So I was like up all night in the middle of winter, uh, playing music really loud and being like sleep deprived. And then I just recorded the last take of the video, uh, like half an hour before the taxi came to pick me up at 4 a.m. or something uh, and this is the result So many people were mad that I'm like saying that this band is annoying. Uh, if you know the band, you know the band. I think that song, Light My Fire, it's The Doors. Uh, I think that song is annoying. And I think it's a stupid intro like the do 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 all that shit. Uh, so I made fun of that. Everyone got mad. And I stand by it. I 
I remember I had a stupid roast idea. And 10 second songs was like, that's great. Let's do it. <laughs> Just like had to buy roses. <laughs> I don't remember this. Ten second songs went on to become a very successful man and got married in September 2032. After which he moved to Slovakia for business purposes. Okay. <laughs> Seth Everman, Seth, Seth Everman, Everman, bought four dogs and lived until 2028 when he got electrocuted by his dishwasher. Rest in peace, 1993 to 2028. Okay. Oh, this is. I haven't I don't think I've watched this video since it came out. This was like actually such a good video. Uh go subscribe to 10 second songs. Like genuinely also such a nice guy. Let's watch the video we made for his channel. It's called Aha uh -huh, Take on Me in 20 Styles featuring Seth Everman. Higher production quality than mine. He's such a good singer, by the way, like an amazing singer. You can tell. Yeah, that, why was that solid? We like nailed that. Crocs. Oh. oh, it's so solid. It's so solid. The footwork. Oh, 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 oh. 
Yeah, this is me on the couch, moments before my taxi picks me up to go to Canary Islands. Uh, I was doing anything at this point. Swedish band, Ace of Bass. I found such a good sax sound. <laughs> oh, I remember this. This dude, Vitas or Vitas or whatever, uh, who does that song. He reposted this video to his Facebook page or something. He has like lots of followers there. And I, I'm pretty sure he called me Seth Everson. Uh, <laughs> I, can someone Google that? Seth Everson, Vitus. Uh, great guy, great guy. Uh, subscribe to Seth Everson. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, feel free to check out the other videos on my page. Thanks for Subscribe watching. To my I want to thank all of my patrons right here. Check out uh, 10 Second Songs. Like and subscribe. Uh, check out Vitas. Like and subscribe to him also on Facebook. Uh, those were good. Those actually brought back a surprising amount of memories because I've like repressed so much stuff. Um, that I had completely forgotten about this. But that was cool. Those were pretty good videos. What did you think? Tell us in the comment section of the... Uh... So what did you think there then? You know, tell us in the comment section. Did you enjoy that? I certainly did. That was really cool. Like that, you, you said it in the video. What a voice that... Um, Anthony. Yeah, Anthony yeah, has, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of our Seth... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Everson, Everson, Seth yeah. Everson, very, very cool guy. Yeah. Son of Ever. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think that's how it works. Right? I think that's yeah, how it works, right? I think it's the same as, yeah, it's got to be, right? All right, we've got some questions. Uh, but also, we could talk a little bit about uh, kind of collabing there, because that was that one of your first bigger collabs? First ever. Collab. Oh, wow, first ever collab. Who reached out to who? <laughs> were you were you nervous? Oh, you reached out. You must have been in a good mood that day. Okay. Yeah. You were feeling is. very social. Yeah. Did you then regret it when you realized you had to do so much work? But then at the end of it, you were like, actually, it was really good. I think that that was a very great video. Both of the videos were. Makes a lot of sense. Smiley. Oh, you delayed it for a few months. Uh, but, it, but it made it to YouTube. How did you feel when you come off from doing a collab? Do you have a good feeling or like, because you did one where you edited and then Anthony did one that he edited. Like, did it, it felt great. Did, is it more fun to, to be the kind of guest rather than the host of a collab? <laughs> okay <laughs> it's true but you trusted uh anthony i mean both videos were awesome you, yeah as you mentioned like, you mentioned uh, a voice you mentioned in the video there as well that you recorded that right before you went to the canary islands like did you often just do stuff like that were you, were you always very like i'm coming and going places like i have to like almost like guerrilla warfare style of recording uh 
I have mental illness. I wait until the final second. I, I, me too, buddy. Me too. <laughs> um, it has caused extreme problems in my life. Yep, yep. Procrastination. Be doing that. It, it's, it's terrible. Have you got any advice for people who also may do the same as we do, such as procrastinating, leaving everyone to the last second? No. Anything you've learned on your journeys? No. And also, if you guys in chat maybe have the answer to this one, send it in. I think uh, Seth and uh, a lot of content creators are eager to learn. Yeah, yeah. I'm asking. I'm asking for asking us all. For a friend. <laughs> um. Mm -mm. Yep, uh, some quick questions, quick buy around. Alex Toon says, thoughts on Scott Pilgrim anime? Haven't watched it. Only seen memes. Uh, Slavov says, have you watched Chainsaw Man or Juju? Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay, thank you for saving me. No problem at all. Youth there. If, <laughs> if so, Both. how has it mentally scarred you? You see more mentally scarring things. That's very fair. Okay. It's also, I find it quite ironic that the man that procrastinates makes videos for people to procrastinate. That, that is you, also true. Have you thought about this, Seth? It's just a circle of life. Uh, someone has asked, what 7-Eleven are you going to work in in Sweden? I can't say that word. Zvia wagen slash Odeng the blah blah blah. <laughs> Sorry to all the Swedes out there, Seth especially. Um, do, do, do. Have you ever watched uh, Evangelion? I think it's called uh, Evangelion. Evangelion. Mm -hmm. Sorry, one of your captors is quite dyslexic. Yeah, uh, very it's fair. Johnny Minecraft. Yeah, Johnny Minecraft knows. Yeah. knows what I, he's I messed about. it up on purpose to kind mm -hmm. of build up his confidence. I have watched. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey! No talk back in the cellar, okay? I make fun. I'm very sensitive. Dyslexic people have feelings too. It is good, okay. Um, what is your favorite meme from the past year? Pyrocynical was in the chat earlier. I I saw people saying, uh. Yep, I, I think there was a video happening at the time. You don't remember any good memes at all from the this year at all? So you think it's been a bad year for memes? Memes died in, like, 2019. Very fair. After you made a mm -hmm. smash mouth cover. What is your favourite RuneScape skill? Fletching. Herb. Fair, fair, fair. Herb law. Um, and just to uh, remind everybody at home who's uh, tuned in and watching, uh, Seth Everman's final goodbye stream. He's very... No, it's just his final stream. Yeah, and, final and stream. And we're collectively working on this together. And, of course, really appreciate you uh, all tuning in and being here. And we actually, uh, Seth did a bunch of videos last night uh, till 6 a.m., uh, which was, of course, you know, uh, above board, regulated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we you took know, very yeah, care we of them. We told the, the Swedish authorities mm -hmm. about this, and they were like, that's good working hours. And uh, they were very happy with, you know, the contracts and everything. And we're actually, I think, we uh, with that collab with Anthony, we're up to video number 17. And so... We're, we're gonna, cruising through them. Yeah, we're cruising through. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to the next video. And mm -hmm. I believe we're going to go somewhere up to about 30-ish. And then, depending on how we feel... And if Seth has written enough of his speech yet, yes. which I'm sure he's working on yeah. very well. If we're happy with the uh -huh. show... We yeah. may unmask him. Oh, uh, untape uh, him. Empty sheet of paper. There's, em there's more time to procrastinate. And mm -hmm. while we uh, procrastinate, you guys can also with this next video. Hello. It's now five years ago and a bit, five and a half years ago. It's April 2018. And I posted a mirror selfie video, a short little video. Uh, and it confused a lot of people and they didn't really get how I did the things I did. But right now, I'm gonna tell you how I did everything 
in this video. That. Uh, and most people, most people genuinely thought that this was like visual effects. Like I had edited this. There are no uh, edited visual effects, no like uh, editing software stuff happening here. This is physical, real life effects. Uh, and the only effect actually applied in real life, uh, or I guess post-production is that it's reversed. So I started off, here's here's the spoiler how I did this. Uh, I started off by hanging my phone from the ceiling with like a white, really uh, thin thread over a lamp in the ceiling. And then I'm holding it behind my back uh, with my left arm, the string that's holding up my phone. And first I had to, I had to like make the phone really steady so it's not like spinning, which was the hardest part. And uh, uh, everything's filmed with the phone itself. So what I had to do, the take, I start off like this. I grab the phone briefly and then I let it go. And at the same time, I drop uh, the string from my left arm behind my back. The string goes up, the phone falls down and... Uh, Reverse all that, and you get this. Uh, so. Check me out. Grab it quickly, and then I dropped it, and like, I just did this. And I did this. This first. Reverse. Grab. Drop. Boom. Uh, and it made for a surprisingly good effect. The other stuff is just like dropping the phone and uh, reversing it, you know? That's like simple, everyone gets that. But this part, a bit more complicated. Uh, not to like be like that, but I'm a genius. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs> well, there you heard it. He is a genius. How how do you even begin to come up with something like that? Seth? I, I also love the fact that it's it's um, was it you studied physics, and that's <laughs> this is Ooh. what you got out of it. This is um, your teacher will be very impressed. But it's uh, yeah, physics equal drop phone exactly. This is that's how it works. Um, I don't know. So uh, people in chat love that one. That was uh, a lot of people saying that was S tier as a video that was very good that's my first time seeing that one and honestly incredible and then the weird thing is i have seen that video and then i just didn't know it was you because <laughs> i was just i was shocked by the magic you know and so to see it now and be like oh yeah i remember this i know that's awesome all right so uh yeah physics equal drop phone this guy is uh, a genius a lot of people love that one and he's been entertaining you for a very long time. So we appreciate you coming out uh, to support uh, Seth here in his uh, final Someone moments. is asking, what is the second song? Yeah, that, that's what I imagined they meant. And not the ominous, whoa, whatever that was. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Still D-R-E. Um, Someone's asking a question a couple of times. So I'm going to read it out, even though I definitely can't say this uh, word. Uh, it's from uh, King Kara. What happened to the hundreds of chonkachus? Chonkachus, like chonkachus a chonky Pikachu. I'm on assuming. the wall. Yeah, what happened to the chonkachus? We will get to that video, but uh, I still have them. Like 1,300 of that Pokemon card. Oh, wow. So you just had one Pokemon card everywhere. Biggest fat Pikachu collection in the world. Is that confirmed? You, you confirmed Have you genuinely reached out do. to the Guinness Book of World Records on that? Confirmed. Wow. We are learning so much here together. <clears throat> By me. You don't know. Yeah. Um, 
Do you still have that Bowser statue from YouTube, Schmock? Are you just into large things, Seth? Because you're large and it makes you feel normal sized. Is this what you're doing? No. Hmm. <laughs> Bows are cool. Okay. Mm hmm. Blastoise, cool. I'm getting like big shell energy. Do you just love shells? Listen, they are cool. Very fair. Very fair. Uh, people also now want to know because you've collected some stuff. Are you a collector of, you know, anything really, you know, that they might yeah. not know? Stamps, vinyls, I see Seth being instruments. A stamp really? I used to collect stamps as well as a kid. I was bullied too. I've Seth. never really understood the, the stamp thing. Like, you know, I know it's a thing people do, but I just never. I was never bullied though, so I don't know. That's the a British, British thing. thing. Yeah, There's no bullies in, in Sweden. Sweden. Seth was the bully. That would be the plot twist. We had no bullies. I mean, to be fair, this is my first time in Sweden and everyone I've met has been absolutely delightful. So I guess that's a, a advert for Sweden. Wonderful nation. You went to Nerdy Classic and was, oh, then if you released one bully in there, they'd have an absolute field day. Probably. <laughs> everyone was the victim. <laughs> <laughs> were your teachers nice well maybe one of your teachers took the bully role nerds yeah um i'm glad you had this wonderful childhood i was also taller than all of your teachers wow i mean you are a very tall man um what is your who are your favorite five youtubers someone's asking in the comments that's got, I bet that's going to be a difficult one. Right now, you're watching Japanese stuff. Sea Dog VA. Yeah. Abroad my, in Japan. Abroad in Japan. My friend yeah. is like, uh, we're trying to plan to go to Japan and my friend is absolutely uh, enamored by this. So if he comes over for an after drink, we'll watch Abroad in Japan. Mm. And he'll just be like, look, look at that apartment. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Look how amazing it is. I almost feel like when he goes there, he might be disappointed. That was, that was five, five YouTubers, YouTubers right? That yeah, that's about YouTubers. that's about five yeah. of them, yeah. I got a feeling, Seth, that you are wanting to go to Japan in your mm -hmm. retirement, yeah? Yeah. You want to go to Japan. Is there any other countries that you're really... Studio oh, Ghibli. you want to visit Studio Ghibli? Nintendo, yeah. Foods. The food, foods do be good in Japan. Beautiful, clean stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Japanese toilets. I Japanese toilets, the best, that. the best, the pinnacle of toilets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we, Weird kinks, yeah. love hotels. I've heard there's I, like a, like a Jurassic Park themed love hotel where like a raptor like pops in like through the wall. And I'm just imagining that happening at a point of climax. <laughs> um, weird kinks. That was an interesting one. Um, is there, what other countries would you might want to visit if you were, you couldn't fly directly home from Japan. You had to go somewhere else as well. New Zealand. Is that a Lord of the Rings bit of a fan? Yeah. Hell yeah. Incredible soundtrack as well. You a big fan? Hard not to be. Howard Shore is so good. Yeah, I think that's how you, you spell it. Yeah. Well, you're getting a, a lot of love from lots of different countries. You've been asked to Brazil about 20 times here, Seth. Um, what do you think about the band Rush? And do you think Neil Peart is the greatest drummer of all time? He's one of the greatest. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just sparks joy, doesn't it? Oh, Frodo. I feel it in my heart. Don't go alone. <laughs> Beautiful. There we go. He's back on the piano. You know what, Seth? That was wonderful. You know, you've earned yourself a little break. We go for another video. He's got his fingers warmed up. And I think this is video number 18. And again, thanks to everybody for joining us. And let's see where Seth went next after using his physics and his magic. Hello. Now we're going to watch a video called Seth Everman reacts to people reacting to Seth Everman. 
Uh, remember that big reacts channel like teens react and old people react and kids react or whatever they're called and then they like tried to copyright claim the react format of videos and they got cancelled for it well they watched one of my videos and then I reacted to that and this is that video hey Vsauce Michael here researchers did the measurements and found <laughs> what is this I don't remember this. That looks good too. The text looks good. Michael. Nintendo Michael. <laughs> what is this? And the first okay, clip is from YouTuber it. Squeezy, who we all know because he's the because he's the third biggest YouTuber in France. Mirror selfie. I'm watching with subtitles. Miro I still get people like related to s Squeezy and stuff. Uh, just what being happy that I mentioned him because he's like a French YouTuber. If the subtitles are correct, he asked me to marry him. I accept. This clip is from a streamer called II Jericho II. Good video. And the next one is College Kids React. And they oh. reacted to the entire Stranger Things dropping phone video challenge, upside down challenge video. Let's watch it. Oh, I love this guy. I think this is the one I saw on Twitter. Oh. Thank nice you for the thumbnail playing. face. Thanks, bro. Wow. Song chains, all right. I dig that, and he was actually doing the keyboard. Oh, that's so cool! Check me out. I love when people put like their own individual spins on trends, because like he is a music dude, and this is totally in tone with a video he would make. That's super creative. It's just like, who thought to do this? They stopped the video at the best part. I love when people put like their own individual spins on trends, because like he is a music dude. I'm gonna <laughs> react to this again, okay? Oh! Wow, thank you. Great reaction. I'm sorry, but you suck. Why are so many people retweeting this? And why did this teacher agree to this? I'm why sure this was Sive. in this video? What fan is it for jävla skit? Ta bort this last video is from Jack Sive. Was that you, Sive? Did you put me in that video? That's funny, actually, because Sive uh, was is PewDiePie's editor. Uh, and uh, he then edited a few videos for me after that as well. So he became my kind of main editor for a little while. But most of my videos I've edited myself, like 95% of my videos. All of the music related videos I've done myself. Lots, lots of lots of hours of suffering. The guy. No, this should be good. This is from Seth Everman. I see. Oh, this is how I first got into contact with Jack Septiguy. Like we were like not mutuals anywhere. And then after this, I like tweeted something about him being really nice and then he followed me on Twitter and like we kind of became friends on Twitter uh, and I love Jack Septica. he's such a nice uh, I see you, authentic Jack. guy I see you a lot of you have probably seen this guy before he's the one that does all like the piano covers and he did the one that's like the Eminem song this one's called mirror selfie it's it's Dr. Dre close enough he's got a Kojima Productions phone case that phone case cost like $200, uh, solid metal, uh, Hideo Kojima, a ripoff, but cool, cool to have, still a fan. There it is again! <laughs> <laughs> 
shit, Andre. Oh, for sure. What? Yeah. Check me out. It's still. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? How, how did he do that? This is the thing that he always says that delay, 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 delay. I get dropping the phone. Dropping the phone is the easy part. Oh, uh, wait, I get it. I get it. I see how it's done now. I see it. Well, that transition's obvious. Movie magic. Once you figure it out, it's all ruined. You can now sponsor me here on YouTube and be slightly cooler you can? than everyone I don't else remember with this. a nice badge next to your name. First, you get this badge, my face. After this one month, thing, you get still? my face, but closer, with murderous intent. After six months, you get... After a year, you get my face, but cooler, with sunglasses. And after two years, you get... Those logos are cool, or those like little faces. I paid someone to do this, I don't remember any of this. Did anyone ever buy this? I'm so sorry. Me and all the support and nice comments I keep constantly getting, it blows my mind, so thank you so much. <laughs> I love that. Fine, <laughs> last this is like so cursed getting, to the outro. It blows my mind, so thank you so much. <laughs> I remember editing that and like laughing so, so hard because it was just like so cursed. And just like, like and subscribe to for a free chance to win a, and it's just like an upside down cross. Fantastic. Thank you for watching, and uh, leave a comment in the chat. Leave a comment in the chat if you are watching this with your eyes. Uh, that was interesting seeing all those reactions, like especially the people that were very, very reactive, like Jericho, like straight up getting out of his chair, Jack Septikai freaking out as well. Uh, Got to give props to you for the Kojima phone case. I wanted that bad boy as well. Really nice phone case. Expensive phone case, but very nice phone case. Um oh, Kojimo fanboys. Uh, you said a Kojimo fan, Seth. And also I love you I love you chat just for spamming comment, by the way. <laughs> comment, <laughs> comment. Yeah. Yep. Just someone's also gone comment with my eyes. So well done to mm -hmm. that uh gentleman over there. Um Kojima good. So uh was this another uh, this is from a curious uh um business partner of yours now uh, was that like another step up in a career jump when people started reacting to you was that like a boon and was it kind of what you expected yeah being on their react channel yeah the react channels were huge and they still are i guess yeah i guess they're still going i mean i i'm a bit guilty of myself to occasionally watching a react thing as well it's yeah. nice to see people's reactions to the jack skeptic one was awesome mm -hmm. like yeah, the way yeah. he reacted was mm -hmm. just so much fun i love the bald jack septicai um image as well very very good i like that you also just straight up didn't know about sponsoring slash i guess youtube members i guess that's kind of what it was you just like kind of forgot about it <laughs> it's like pretty funny especially because you had such nice little channel emote things there they were really cool all right since you mentioned japan and um and the ghibli movie do they still exist do they oh, exist wait, people of youtube are they are they still going who are we talking about which uh the the little emotes that seth showed in his video oh like for sponsoring his channel youtube members is that a thing he forgot he forgot it yeah, and also, yeah, Studio Ghibli, someone wanted to know from YouTube, sorry, your name has uh, passed, but what's your favorite Studio Ghibli movie? Yeah, Spirited Away. Spirited Away. Yeah. Are you excited for the new one? Hmm. Not super excited. Maybe good, who knows? Do you, not do get... you get excited about anything? Yeah, it's about, Seth. yeah just about to ask, do, do things generally excite you? I mean, maybe food, water, uh, fresh air. So are you, you playing... get excited about RuneScape. Okay. Are you playing the new RuneScape League? I hear that's a thing. Oh, you're deep into that, are you? Wow. I guess that, that answers the question. You know, what are you going to do after this? What are you going to do after this? It's probably going to be RuneScape. I love that someone's just come into the YouTube channel and goes, we want nudes, not this. Like they were expecting that to be <laughs> Seth's final stream. Well... All of his nudes are available on bald.store. They ship with every purchase. So yep. 
Make sure you get yourself on there. Uh, void, fake, real, do not sue, void. Legally, we have to say that he does not uh, ship his nudes. Someone asked if you played Valorant. No. Because you never even... Have you even tried Counter-Strike? Because you must. Swedish, okay, yeah. So you are you prefer CS over... We haven't tried Valorant, so I guess that's easy. You went to Inferno Online. Every day. So if people don't know, Inferno Online was the biggest internet... Ca- what is? It was the biggest internet cafe in uh, Stockholm, and I think for a time, almost the, the world, because it was so big. And then um, many, many teenagers go there. Guinness World Record, yeah. And also, they do overnight stays. So you, oh. you can go in and you kind can book... Kind of like book, a land. Yeah, you can book like, oh, we want to be here. And then they have, you know, because, yeah. And that's where uh, most Swedes find their love for Billy's Pizzas. Billy's which, Pizzas. Yeah, okay. we saw one in okay. Seth's video. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah, it's two minutes away from the school that he lived in. Okay, all right. Yeah, we had one like that in Glasgow, but it's not as big, that type of thing in the UK. I can see that being a lot bigger over here, like LAN events and stuff. I mean, you guys have DreamHack and stuff, you know, where all your friends are and you're not because you forgot it. Just have to remind you. Have to remind you that all of your friends are not here right now. They can't help you. Cannot help. You are stuck in the content machine. Content machine until you will we make got content all the for videos. us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All we hit are hoodie selling merch quota. Is there more on your merch site than hoodies? I, I, we really just should have done. Some, we should have done some due diligence. Okay, there's t-shirts as well. What's what's the most popular? Is it the hoodie or the t-shirt? It's got to be the hoodie. bald guy one. Yeah, it's got to be the hoodie. Yeah. And it's not Ravs, no. It's uh, Johnny Minecraft. Yeah, Johnny Minecraft. He's a big badass mm-hmm, gangster. Mm-hmm, yeah. You, you, you know those kids yeah. that break into your Minecraft servers and smash up your house. I it's will, Johnny Minecraft. I will steal all your diamonds. He will. Yeah. Um, do you, Seth? Do you really understand that you have made so many people happy? It's hard to grasp when all I do is sit inside all day and then go outside and meet people who actually know who I am. Yeah, it can be it can be quite a hard thing to grasp until you're actually out there in the real world, for sure. It's a fantastic feeling that people enjoy what I do sometimes. But like on the flip side, just because that was way too happy, do you feel worthy sometimes of it? Oh, that's a good one. Do you struggle one. with fandom? I, some, a lot of people have like imposter syndrome and stuff. Yeah. Is that something you've ever struggled with? You have both. Sometimes you can accept. Sometimes it's tough. Yeah. Big ego. Ooh, but also imposter among us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Among us. Among us. Us. Mm. Um. Uh, someone asks, uh, if you ever go to Scotland, go to Forbidden Planet. It's a nerd store. They have everything. They also yeah. have a Forbidden Planet, I think, in London. Yeah, I think there are, there are quite a yeah. few of them all over the world. But there is one here in mm. Stockholm that is... You've been to London... Oh, you've been to the London one? Okay. Did you buy anything? Expensive. <laughs> okay. Was this uh, when you were a, a young lad or in your 20s? Young lad. Okay. They have one here called, I think it's, uh, is it Dragon's Lair? No, yeah, Dragon's Lair. You go to that one in Stockholm? Okay. Someone has asked, um, when you got to curate Ooh. the Swedish Twitter account, was that because the person who, you know, runs that or curates that was a fan of yours? Or was it just like a, you were like a, I guess at this point, a gaining high profile Swedish content creator or something? Uh, it's because you were a known online person. How did that? How did that make you feel? That must have been weird, right? Your your own country asking you to do that for them. Super sort of fun. You just shit posted. Were That's were there like any rules that you had to follow, or could you just say anything you wanted? <laughs> People can still Google those tweets. Some of them are really funny. Sorry. So when you had access to run Sweden's Twitter account, were they over your shoulder, or did you just log in from home? 
all by yourself. That wow. That is brave. That is brave. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, someone also wants to know um, from YouTube. Sorry, if, uh, your name's kind of disappeared, but I was watching earlier. Um, what headphones do you use when you make music and what headphones do you just generally recommend? He's got to figure out. I believe those are Bayer Dynamic DT 990s. Uh, 770s. 770s, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um, I, I have no idea what kind of price range they are, but I know good stuff. No costs. Bad mixing. They can be they can be a bit expensive, but you that's know. not bad. <laughs> yes, that's a wonderful price. Yeah, mm. Very worth it. Very worth it. Um, favorite Kojima product or franchise or anything? Favorite thing that Kojima has done? I'm asking that personally because I'm a massive Kojima fan. Do, do you still have uh, yeah, phone talked, case? Do you still have the phone case? Solid. Oh, yeah. Do you still have the phone case somewhere? Oh, I get you. Sag. Yeah. If you could meet any musician what? from history, so I'm guessing the past is included here, who would you like to meet? I guess maybe excluding the fact that you've already met Skrillex. Yeah. Kurt Cobain, good choice. Someone also mentions in chat, they said you can press, I think it was control A and it highlights all text. I'm not sure. Can we test it? Is it O A? Oh. Oh. Thank you, chat. Wait, 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 wait. Lame. I prefer clicking. Yeah. <laughs> they did mention so he doesn't have to use mm -hmm. his mouse. This is your ADHD, Seth. Um Okay, cool. So, yes, we're on, I think that was video 18 or I, 19. I think somewhere yeah. around there. I was in track 18, yeah. yes. Yeah, I mean, we're getting mm -hmm. really good bang for buck out of yeah. the final day here. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I, you know, we don't really, I'm sure Seth's happy. He's always happy. Mm -hmm. But we're happy, aren't we? Exactly. This is going wonderfully. And there's a little treat just before we jump into the video, the next video that Seth is about to queue up for us. Someone in chat wanted to do, let you know that you look very submissive and breathable today, Seth. Uh, anyway, could we roll the video? Hello, now we have another video that I made five years ago that I think sort of stands out from the rest because uh, it's a sort of a one-off video. I didn't turn it into a series. I didn't make anything around it. It's like a one-off thing and it performed pretty well. I posted it in July 2018 and it's called Oh, holy shit, that scared me so much. The video just started playing. Uh, you couldn't hear that. But here it is. It's called Wii Theme, but it's played on the Nintendo Labo Piano. Wait, I just remember, I ordered that. Uh, so the Nintendo Labo is like uh, a Nintendo cardboard piano thing that you like, uh, you build it yourself and you follow like a game uh, on the Switch and you build it and then it can like actually function as a piano by using the like IR or the camera or something on the, the controllers. But I ordered the Nintendo Labo like pre-ordered it from Japan because it was going to drop earlier in Japan than in Sweden because Sweden was like way behind for some reason. And I wanted to get one to like post when it dropped. It showed up like two weeks after it dropped in Sweden. So I was just really late. But I still made a good video.
I like... Okay, so there's a lot of things I like in this video. I put too much effort into, like, using cardboard to make the new Nintendo Labo 3DS XL with an entire, like, huge monitor on there. Um, and then I also... I remember... Wait, what is it? My entire cardboard room, uh, which was a thing. It's like the entire room uh, was an extreme fire hazard. Um... And I eventually ended up just taking this out and stuffing it in the garage. So uh, it's still there. And I can't park a car in there at all. And this dude... I think I made him look so good. It's like... Looks like me. Angie. Uh, bald. Relatively bald. Oh, I remember. Okay, so this... If you search like Seth Everman on one of those like... Uh, if you're on Discord or, like, whatever, and you can search up, like, GIFs. If you search Seth Everman, there's, like, GIFs of this for some reason. Uh, so I see this all the time, and it's really cursed, and I hate it. Uh, and then we have the iconic Law & Order Special Victims Unit. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. There we have it, another absolute genius masterstroke i would say yeah, that art yeah it's really cool like seeing it actually being used to do something cool with the nintendo labo because you know when i saw that come out i was like no one's ever gonna use this no one's ever gonna do anything create whatever and like it just looked really cool it was kind of bad it was kind of bad yeah well, you kind of built your own one with a it just needs a grand piano and a monitor yeah i did but love I, the I, XL I, version someone also did mention in the uh, in the youtube chat that apparently um the nintendo is it labo yeah yeah, labo, say? yeah. and uh, like more expensive than a kidney on the black market now so I, really <laughs> yeah i don't know if you've still got it yeah you got all that cardboard there and you gotta get rid of it uh maybe we'll yeah. we'll take, Free take some of that off your hand yeah. mm. yep um but, but also do you not like that was down at your summer house um prior to the summer house were you living with like parents and because you talked about you filmed from the, their bathroom once you had a small tiny apartment did giving you the summer house <laughs> did it creatively make you better or just crazier both did you even take many walks in the garden or around in the garden, no. Ooh, there was a street with lots of. I can't read that. There were like cats on it. Oh, okay. She so had a cat street. There's a YouTuber who just goes around picking up cats. That's his whole content. You were almost ahead of your time on that one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So when that video came out, whereabouts are you roughly on YouTube then? Like, how many subs had you hit the million threshold yet? Like, um, were you? excited by the prospect of that or you know did that seem like you know something that just seemed far away or anything you probably had just about a million was there a celebration yeah did you did you have anything no. special <laughs> planned no how was it comprehending that like a million people had subscribed at that point or whatever Yeah, comprehension does yeah. not compute. Yeah. Uh, someone also on Twitch just says, oh my God, I can't believe I missed the style of this. Well, don't worry. Um, you we're, you know, this. I think this is staying up, right, Seth, on uh, Twitch and YouTube. So you can uh, come. You back can always and, catch it from the start. Yeah, get back into memory lane. Mm -hmm. with, uh, a little, a little trip. Anytime you're missing Seth, you can come back and enjoy his videos and this, this stream, I assume. Um, uh, yep. <laughs> um, what will I do without the judgment eyebrow? Is a question. What what people are gonna miss that? Grow your own. There you go. Uh, do your friends and family watch your video? I know you said that your mum did, but did you have many other maybe like old school friends or people reaching out to you, being like, "Oh, I've seen your videos." Mm, okay. Oh, okay. A way of measuring of a video went yeah. viral was if it went around the world and got back to my friends. That I mean, that's a really good way of doing it, actually. Um, talk more about your cardboard room. 
Is that so? You still have all this crazy amount of cardboard in your your garage, just sitting there. It really depends how far recycling is. Yeah, it, Swedes are very big on recycling. Got you too far from the so, recycling place. You know, it just feels kind of a hoardery. You're just throwing it all in there. You know, you're scared of what might lie amongst the cardboard. Rats. Yeah, fair. Fair. Can't blame them. Can't blame them. Oh, this is a question from Lola from YouTube, which could go a couple of ways. Did anyone from um, IRL uh, ever want to appear in one of your videos? So this may be school friends or people you kind of knew along the way that maybe weren't necessarily in the trade. You don't think so? At least not seriously. Okay, drunk talk. Maybe as a joke. Hmm. have you written any original songs recently outside of the channel someone has just asked not recently no like you that you said earlier you composed quite a lot of like other like, classical bits and stuff like that my passions have all died i feel you well, i feel you on that note let's go into our 20th video and see <laughs> if there was a younger more passionate seth hmm, let's see him when he still had some soul in him this video was posted August 30th, 2018. That's still more than five years ago. How are these from so long ago? <laughs> what the hell? Um, and it's called Just Playing Some Pokemon Blue. Another one-off video. Let's watch it. Sped up. Not the original audio. Fake! She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub, I even got it tatted Still goes hard. This goes hard. Yeah, I just had the idea. So I was like playing around with these Pokemon sounds and like or the Pokemon songs and big pop songs. And some of them worked really well. And then I figured out the transition that I could like walk in the game. Because this is actual footage of like the real game uh, on the, the Game Boy. So I'm like in yeah, Lavender Town, which is this the theme in the beginning. Oh my god, I went to the PewDiePie video. Uh... Yeah. This is the Lavender th Town theme. And I walk in-game to, like, a trainer to perfectly time this. So I actually figured out, like, a route to walk in-game to a trainer I hadn't battled before to make this transition work. And then I also had, like, timed a video on my projector that would, like, project on the wall behind me uh, and we just watched the beginning to a PewDiePie video in the middle of this and I don't even care anymore uh, that was a video and it was a really good video actually uh, the problem was it got copyright claimed everywhere because I obviously I did use you know copyrighted audios uh, and no website liked that and they were about to remove it from my YouTube page I think it's like it got completely blocked and usually they're like, oh, we can do a, like a shared revenue for copyright claiming or whatever. This one, just like, no, we grab the full revenue. Uh, and I think it's still just like grabbed. They just like got all the revenue. So congrats, Drake and NSYNC on your revenue. Your $14. Uh, goodbye. That was really impressive. Like, uh, I, like, I don't, you talked a little bit about it during the video. Uh, still goes hard, it's so true. I'm really curious about, like, you know, you talked a little bit in the video, 
how did you go like okay this pokemon song this exact note i can transition this into a pop, this pop song were you just listening to a ton of pop songs or like you know drake or whatever at the time like um <clears throat> So what his ears do automatically for some reason i've noticed oh, this with him as okay. well okay so you've got a real ear for this they connect songs together mm. yeah, you gotta have a real knack for that maybe it's your musical training or something yeah it's really impressive like those those went really hard some wow. people connect with people some people connect with songs yeah music sounds like other music mm. i get that i get that Humans are complicated, James. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's very true. And then, again, um, lovely to have everyone here. Uh, this is the uh, Seth Everman final showing after this. He's done so. He's going to become a monk, I think. Yep. He's halfway there already. Mm -hmm. He just um, needs the orange robe. Just waiting for an orange robe. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, yeah, I am sorry if he says James. I am uh, not James. Uh, I am too bad uh, yeah. from behind the camera mm -hmm. and then, but again appreciate you all being here so between some of the videos that was number 20 and of course uh, Seth uh, just a little bit over 30 and that's almost exactly how many videos we've got to mm -hmm. go down on the Seth Everman uh, YouTube route and you get to do it live with Seth here as he uh, does react uh, to what he's uh, and, and almost remember Seth because there's a lot of times I've seen you when we've gone to your reaction you're just like I don't remember this mm -hmm. and that's weird because you didn't put out that many videos Johnny, Johnny Minecraft made me say that. Yeah, you you don't remember any yeah. of this, even watching them last night. Really, that that's absolutely mind blowing to me because you know you didn't release that many, but they are and they're all like great from what we've seen so far. Okay, so listen, I was scared of re reading the comments, ah, oh. so I didn't go back into the views, then into the videos. I got you. Yeah. That's so when a you posted, you just walked away. Like, cool guys don't look at their Explosions, YouTube uploads. Yeah. You post and run, run away. I think that's a very healthy way to do content. I, I, that, I'm sure that's some advice you would probably give to other people as well. Never read the comments. But also, as a content creator, you're sometimes your own biggest critic. Absolutely. Did you find yourself criticizing yourself a lot? Like, you know, even after you'd... Maybe you didn't watch them back, but watching these back, did you have any thoughts of criticism or stuff you would have did differently? Uh, every single video was garbage when I posted them, but they were bangers. But who yeah. could have known? Who could have known? Um, we would have signed you earlier. I mean, uh, yeah, signed. Not kidnapped. Do you... Um, hold on, sorry. I'm holding on. So I was just reading something. I'm not going to read that one. <laughs> um can you talk about your experience in Doja Cat's early career being in her go to town music video? Uh huh. No, I cannot. There you go. Hope you're happy. So, you didn't want to read other people's comments, but I kind of have a feeling in your youth, you were probably writing not comments on YouTube, but I'm sure you were on flashback or something. <laughs> I was good as a child and as a teen. So what happened? You just gamed. You were friendly and wholesome. I again ask you, what happened, Seth? What happened? YouTube fame. I you lost, lost your passions. passions. I lost my hair. I lost my will to do things. Yeah. And also, you lost the ability to control your own show. Another video, please. Exactly. Smile. Hello again. Now we're going to get into a romantic mood. This is a video called Love. And I posted this on Valentine's Day 2019. 2019 was a very good year for me uh, with videos that we'll see pretty soon that you might recognize but this video is a video that I sang in for the first time ever in any video I made maybe 
Uh, and I think I did a pretty good job. I was very scared and nervous about posting it actually, but whatever. Like, I think I did an okay job. The video is funny and it's creative and it's for Epic Gamers only. Is for the way you lose at games. O is for the only O you feel. V is very, very extraordinary. E. Good video. <laughs> the singing. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just tried to sound like the ori original song. Uh, so it's not like an amazing singing voice or anything, but like... Made it work. And... Some of you liked it. So thank you for your support when I dared to sing for the first time. No one that I saw was mean to me. Uh, because if anyone was mean to me, I would have immediately resigned as a YouTuber. Um, which I'm doing today anyways, so you can all be mean. It's okay. I'm resigning today. Goodbye. Hey, hey, we've, we, mm. we hold the, uh, we hold the crown on the mean here. Exactly. So you guys got to be nice. And actually you are. A lot of you are surprised. Actually, some of you didn't know that was, uh, Seth singing. Yeah. Was that that was... the first time then, mm -hmm. Seth? That's the first time we've heard you singing in any of these videos. And I'm sure the first time you maybe put it out there. How did you find singing? Were you extra nervous for doing that? Um, you couldn't just hear the video without vocals, so you were forced to do it. I feel you. I feel you. Uh, I got to say, that was like a real Citizen Kane moment for me when you hit us with the E. I wanted to stand up and clap. I was just, I was, I was so impressed. It was great, great, great meme. Very good meme. E. E. Someone e. Uh, asked if they can get Comic Sans, please. The Dexter. Yeah, were you writing Comic Sans? Uh, and also, people still like, yeah, you uh, crushed it on the singing. Oh, absolutely. But he, maybe Seth didn't know because he doesn't read the comments. Did you know you kind of got a... You, you did a pretty stellar job on that. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I remember. Well, the stream just got upgraded with Comic Sans. So, mm. uh, wonderful uh, recommendation there. Great font. I've actually seen it around town a few times on flyers. And mm. It was originally created as a font to help dyslexic people read uh, read better. So it's actually a very useful thing, Comic Sans. Yay. Um, favorite cartoon growing up, Seth? As a comment here we have on YouTube. Mr. Donald Duck. DuckTales. DuckTales, Duck Dynasties, Duck, Duck... No, wait. Duck something, Quack yeah. Quack, and DuckTales. Oh. Mm. What's the Duck something? Is it in the same vein? Duck Quack Pack. Quack Pack. Was okay. that when... Is that, oh, was is that, that the Sons of Donald Duck? Yeah, I remember the, the that show. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched that. Yeah, Quack Pack. DuckTales. Darkwing Duck. Someone's got on their wall in here. I didn't see that one. What's your... Um, no, he can't take off the tape. Sorry yeah. for asking. We'll get to that. If then he's a good boy for the rest of the stream, making content yeah. for us, then maybe we'll yeah. let him take off the tape at the end. Um, what is your favorite go-to song for singing at the moment? Just like in your head or yeah, in the shower or whatever. You don't have a go-to song. If you were forced maybe later this evening mm -hmm. into a karaoke room with a Scot a Scottish guy, an English guy who wanted you to sing for them. Um, what would you sing? <laughs> There's always a third option. Death. Very fair. Something death metal. I think he meant there. Mm. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, viewers. Uh, someone's asked, how was your day? Just a real nice, simple question from fuzz buns. Literally kidnapped, what do you think? Has has Stockholm Syndrome kicked in yet? Are you are you feeling 
Are you feeling, are you warming up to us? The original bank where Stockholm Syndrome, Syndrome happened. happened. Was uh, close by, actually. Is now an Acme. Oh, really? oh, okay. It's now an Acme store. That was that. Uh, there's a movie about him now. Um, hmm. I can't remember the name of the person that did that uh, bank robbery. But I think he's still alive. And there's a movie about him. I think it was on Netflix. But there you go. Your kidnappers are handsome. Yes, they are. It's yeah, time very to true. cleave. And very also, true. wonderful name. Mm -hmm. Favorite hairstyle from Poder Rogue? Bald. Yeah. Just like all over. <laughs> we'll move on. Um, uh, you have absolutely perfect pitch, someone says. Is this true? Do you have perfect pitch? No, he does not. Relative pitch is what matters. That sounds a bit smart for me over here. What one, sorry? If he has perfect pitch, he says no. You don't think you have yeah. perfect pitch? Who have no. we invested in? Mm. Yeah, that's not great for us. Yeah, and if anybody's wondering what's going on, as some people are asking, this is the Seth Everman final ever goodbye stream. Um, and of course, uh, he's... Uh, you know, performing for you willingly under a new agency here uh, with Johnny Minecraft and Too Bad. Too Bad, yep. And we're going through a little bit of a memory lane. Um, some people say we're milking it. Some people, mm -hmm. but who, who are they? Who's to say that? Exactly. Because we're, we're not, you know, this is for you, your entertainment. And of course, uh, a lot of people have got a lot of joy out of this stream. We've had so many mm -hmm. uh, people write in and just say how good the merch is over yeah. on Bold.store. Exactly. And Something it's... to remember the stream by. A yes. Token of appreciation to yeah. Seth. Um, yeah. And just so you all know, all those proceeds are going somewhere mm -hmm. good, somewhere nice. So don't worry. Um, wherever they, we decide they will go, we are, of course, in charge of Seth's uh, finances. Exactly. And he's... Uh, we are assuming control yeah. of Seth Everman. And uh, just really, uh, yeah, it's just uh, such an uplifting stream, isn't it? To yep, celebrate. Exactly. Celebrate together. Mm -hmm. um, someone is asking, uh, they need a full version of Ain't No Sunshine. But I'm guessing since you're wrapping up on the old YouTube side that you're probably not. Oh, Ooh, it's coming up. Oh, the video. Uh, yeah, the video, not, not the full, full version. version. Oh. But maybe we should uh, get see what's coming up with the videos. Mm -hmm. You guys <laughs> have been giving us some great questions. And of course, when we come back, we're going to get a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, Seth, you're, you're happy in uh, your room right now? Absolutely. Loving it. Loving it. And of course, um, there's a bit of a language barrier here. That means yes in Sweden. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, he's living the dream. Here we go. Yep, that means yes in Sweden. Mm -hmm. Don't You don't need Google Translate. Trust us. Let's see what's up next for Seth Everman. It is time. A video that you might have seen uh, about an up-and-coming artist at the time known as Billie Eilish. And uh, I made a little cover. I had made a video before where I recreated a song using like household objects. And it was a Drake song at the time. It was a Drake one dance video and it performed pretty well. So I decided, yeah, I can do the same with this video because it's also got like a very simplistic beat and stuff. And I can hear like, oh, this could be whatever, you know, a household object. And they're very like clear to pick apart. And so I decided to do that. And then the melody also sounded some similar to like a big meme song at the time. And uh, I figured out, yeah, I'll have a twist at the end and stuff. And this is what I made. The video is called How to Create Billie Eilish's Bad Guy.
probably remember a lot of that because I was forced to see it all over the internet all the time. And but also funnily, this I have like the 007 Nintendo 64 GoldenEye game in there, and uh, it was kind of like predicting that Billie Eilish would make the James Bond theme song because she did like two years later or one year later or something. So that's pretty cool. And I also managed to like make the bass sound sound pretty similar to the original and stuff. So all of these sounds, like that is the couch and that is like the sounds that I'm showing. And it got copyright claimed automatically for being the original song, even though I made it myself. I made every sound in this video myself. This is illegal to copyright claim by the record labels because it's parody. Parody is legally okay to do. It's okay to monetize. We have the Supreme Court cases as precedent. Uh, but they've copyright claimed it and they did immediately. So like, whatever. And, uh, uh, thanks for watching and, uh, commenting in the chat, uh, with your words. Thanks for it. Oh, there we have it. And I honestly, we, we do have to apologize to everyone at home. Not everyone of Seth's videos is good. Um, but how did yeah. you, uh, how did you end up surviving that one? Yeah, that must you must have lost a lot of subscribers on that one there, you know. Uh, like, you know, how did that? How was that for you? Yeah, well, no, but uh, in all fairness, that one is yes, you could say that one. But the the video that you uh, mixed the uh, the two songs together, you said you saw it everywhere. I, I I saw it. I saw it all over the place. I binged it constantly. I I showed it to people, mm -hmm. and I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. And then I was also, uh, you know, loved. Um, is, it, is it Robbie that was the, the guy who played the villain? In, yeah, we um, are Lazy number Town? one. Very yeah, good. we are number one. That was also a banger. Mm -hmm. Absolute two absolute bangers. And yet again, your musical ear just combining those two together. Great, great video. I love the use of the fan as well for the, the audio. That's fantastic. Must but this one went really big. Mm -hmm. so you're kind of you put this video out do you what's your expectations on it like did you know this was gonna be a hit no idea <laughs> no <laughs> what that's crazy that would have been like my proudest moment doing anything like that i'd be like mom mm -hmm. look i've made a noise with a couch i was so worried before uploading it uh, have you ever, like, you know, made a whole ass video and just be like, I'm not putting this out? Have you ever had that thought in your head? Okay. But how long did it take from posting that video until knowing that something was happening with it? You know, did it, did it, cause like, I know you work like nights. Was it in the morning? You woke up and you were like, I'm gonna check. After being sad and scared all night with the video shit. Yeah, because there's, I guess there's quite a lot on you when you've got 1.5. Oh, no, you said you gained 1.5, but you had how many subscribers roughly that you were like, you know, I'm taking up there. Okay. Wow. Damn. Like, not, maybe not overnight, but pretty much overnight. Like, just it took off that hard in like two weeks. Wow, that's such a fast time. But, you know, you felt, you said you felt very sad and shit about this before uploading it in some of your other videos. When you woke up and saw how well it had been done or received, did that change your outlook on the videos and stuff? Yeah. You felt really good that day? I imagine you did. You probably woke up feeling great. Um, yeah, you'd only judge based on views. I feel that. I feel that. And if anybody has any questions, uh, we're in YouTube and uh, mm -hmm. Twitch uh, on the live stream. So if you've got any questions about that video in particular, uh, before we kind of uh, move forward, or just to Seth in general, you know, we just you know we just want to ask a question about life. Maybe you've got a problem with your homework. Seth exactly. Can fix it. Exactly. Someone said they shaved their head in your honor uh, today. So there you go. Another one in the Bald Brotherhood. 
Um, Did Billy ever react to the video from Mint Berry Crunch? Who knows? Who knows? Only Billy knows. Have you thought about making uh, similar videos with other songs? Like after this one kind of blew up, was that like, ooh. Um, here's a bit more of a serious one. Now that you're leaving I like I'm a, a surprise, sorry, yeah, on that one. It's, like, okay. it's all available on YouTube, but yes. Yeah. Um, now that you're leaving YouTube, do you have any last thoughts of it on an app slash website? Maybe even some hate. Yes. Do you care to share those thoughts with us? No. Very fair. <laughs> I like this one from Daniel Loves Art um, because you, you talk a lot about getting DMCA'd. Uh, considering you haven't uploaded that much, how have you supported yourself? Sponsors. Really, the Q and A's. So you had to do what you hate the most, which is talk about yourself to get paid. Sponsors will pay a hundred times what ad revenue makes. For anyone here looking to get into YouTube, uh, someone asked, "Will you delete the videos?" We will not delete the videos. Uh, Seth doesn't even have access to his YouTube channel anymore. It's Johnny Minecraft. Yeah, Johnny Minecraft. Yeah, and it's going to be Minecraft twenty four seven. And no more music content. I'm going to have, turn music soundtrack yeah. to zero percent. Even though the Minecraft soundtrack's a banger, uh, no music here anymore. Just Johnny Minecraft. And yeah. too bad casting yeah. some League of Legends games. Yeah. If we can't squeeze as much money we want out of Seth, we might end up just sticking a GoPro on Ronald mm. and just sending him around the world. Yep. You get if you get we get through the show and exactly. we're happy with the outcome. Mm -hmm. Hashtag you'll get Ronald back. Hashtag free Ronald. Yeah, yeah. we might yep. <laughs> we might send you a claw first mm. as a message. Oh yeah, um, Ronald safe. Someone now. said all of the merch is sold out. I I just looked myself. I believe that's not to be true. It's still available at Bald Dot Store. Go there, get some merch. Um, show Ronald. Now uh, that Ronald is not here right now, and we will not disclose where they are. Um, I mean, that's the thing about um, uh, kid uh, agencies is you you don't, you don't put everything in one kind of you know uh, you don't put all your money in one place. You mm -hmm. know, you got to spread out your exactly. assets. Exactly, exactly. You know, it's uh, diversifying mm -hmm. here. Um, not stolen, not stolen. I don't know. God, that keyboard of yours is really mm -hmm. uh, getting confused. Um, all right, so yeah, so see, we've got a couple more questions. I think that was video 21. Mm -hmm. So we are, you know, as Seth is 30, we're going to get closer to the 30th video. And then if we are content with how the stream went, um, Seth Everman's uh, final goodbye to YouTube after many years of entertaining us all, and then uh, we might even let you, uh, we yeah, might, might let we you might have very, a chat with him. We might but very kindly pass one of our microphones over to him, but we'll see how it goes. He, he's doing a good job at reacting to these videos so far. So, you know, what's one more? What's one more? What's one more? What's up, gamers? Uh, I made a video uh, many years ago called Old Town Road, but played on my synth. Uh, and in the video... I play the song Old Town Road, but I do it on my synth. Old Town Road uh, is by Lil Nas X, who uh, on Twitter followed followed all the meme accounts that I'm friends with, uh, but not me. Here's the video. Rest in peace, Mario. <laughs> This goes hard. This is good. Can 
Can someone <laughs> explain to me what the world genre is in music? Because it's a genre. Uh, what is world? What kind of music? Can you play a song, like a music, that sounds like world? The world is pretty big. That's a jump scare for many people. Emotional ending. Yeah. Okay, so this, this part, uh, this the melodies are switched so the rock star by nickelback he's singing the lyrics but with the old town road melody and billy ray cyrus is doing the opposite he's singing the old town road lyrics but with the nickelback rock star melody I literally did so much work for that. I don't think a single person has ever noticed. No, I mean, no one's commented on it ever, I think. Uh, that was a lot of effort for no reason, but I had fun. I had fun, and it turned out to be a pretty good video. I think that, oh yeah, this is my like best performing video the first 24 hours or whatever. Uh, because that's like all that YouTube cares about at this point. It's like they have, when you post a video, it says how well it's performing compared to your last 10 videos. Uh, like after five hours, it's like, this is how well your other videos did after five hours. Uh, that didn't exist back then. But I think I'm pretty sure this video had like 4 million views within 24 hours. So thank you for that to everyone who watched it. And uh this song obviously got huge. So, I mean, it's the same as the Billie Eilish one. It's like the songs blew up so much that my videos just got like a tiny part of those views because the songs blew up. But I like the video. I think it's a cool video. And I can look back on it and be like, yeah, I did a good job. And that's, isn't that all that matters? Uh, how long is this live stream going to be? Can I ever be free? Please. Free me, please. Help. Sorry about that. There's some uh, extra audio in that uh, mm -hmm, video mm -hmm. that wasn't meant to be in. We we're talked to the editors. But of course, yeah, yeah another um, wonderful video uh, and uh, also great reaction. And YouTube, you guys are real nice. You were like, I noticed Seth. I noticed you did that. And then Twitch, there was a guy called Jack Wolf. He just said, oh, yeah, I thought it sounded weird um, <laughs> with the final mix up. But you actually never saw anyone comment on what you did with trying to mash up uh, a little bit of Nickelback and uh, Billy Ray. OK. It was nice seeing his, his face creep in, like you said, a jump scare, seeing Nickelback appear. Then Billy Ray Cyrus just... It must have been a like a lot of work to try and match him to that sort of like beating stuff. Like Man, yeah. he's got the ears. Yeah, he's got golden ears. Mm -hmm. um, I, I saw. A fortune I saw a question. Sorry, the name has gone past. Someone asked in your videos because you're playing with the piano on your lap a lot. How many times did you drop your keyboard? Like how many times did you drop the synth? Whatever you want to call it, uh, hundreds. Ah, uh, if only there was some sort of super cut of you just. Dropping simps over and over and over. That poor thing's been through the wars. If you could... Hmm. If you could put it to music, how you imagine your, your scent feels after all of these these videos. <laughs> That's the sound of it hitting the floor, of course. Have you named your synth? Oh, no. Would you name it now? I'm not a freak. I'm not a freak. That's fair. That's good. 
Um, da, 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 da. Oh, you well, are. Okay. I, I'm getting questions, but I, I get confused. Sometimes they start off seriously and then it turns out like this. It's like, hey, Seth, if you're not making videos anymore, will you change your name to Seth Neverman? Yes, that will happen. I will, get, I will shout out your name, Stoat Tampica. Someone has asked you, a burrito asked you, could you please name their new cat? Oh, what kind of cat though? That's important. Mm. Um, let's just say it's a tabby. Just like a, your average tabby. Um, well, now I've got to try and look out for their name again. Steve's That's a great, great name for Fantastic. It. Has Seth ever stubbed his toe on his synth? Hard hearing questions here. He has. And his big toe at that. Oh my God. She's a Siamese cat. The worst in that was the worst injury you ever had. Not that. But I walked on a broken bottle. Ooh. So we're looking for the name of a Siamese cat. Still Steve. Steve. Yeah. Fair. But maybe in like a posh kind of you know accent or a, you know like a Steve. yeah. Steve. Steve. Get. Steve. I say posh accent, but we are British. Steve for life. Yeah. Nice to meet Steve, the Siamese cat. Um, Seth, you've inspired me to play again. I'm now mastering the piano and the bass. Have a good life, rock star. Oh. Heart. Uh, from Ganondor Hunter. Ganondorf Hunter. If you were the CEO of YouTube, what would you do differently? Promote less, just in general. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shut down the website. Okay. Promote less mainstream media shows. More individual YouTubers. I, I feel that. Um, if your YouTube didn't catch many years ago, what do you think you would have done instead? Kept studying and getting an education. In computer science. Nice. Well, I'm glad you didn't waste your life and you became a YouTuber, Seth. You inspire all of us. Is there anything <laughs> in the world that would bring you back to making videos? No. Dunzo, you heard it here. Um, did you have uh, good connections with YouTube? They never once reached out to you. Wow. Shame on you, YouTube. I don't know why I'm taking his back on that, but, you know, I'm just... It just made me angry for a moment. Someone asked uh, Maisel Shiko if you miss your mustache because he thinks you looked pretty awesome. No. What would your music sound like if you weren't bald? Bad. Hmm. Um, will you study computer science again now that you are leaving YouTube? Maybe for fun. Mm. Mm. Big aspirations. Yeah, I mean, it's lots of love coming in. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. There's uh, some people here who said, like, Seth used to watch your videos. They made me happy when they were in a bad mood or a bad place. Um, so the same person then just says, Seth's head is actually a speaker. Not sure where that came from. Um, but you guys, uh, yeah, really been awesome. Got and a really then... sweet one here that's um, someone just saying, uh, what's something that's always helped you keep going? A bit of motivation for the unmotivated. Paying rent. <laughs> Paying rent's always a good one. <laughs> that is a good motivator. That's a good motivator, yep. And we're going to have to pay for Me, our yachts. Soon. suffering is okay since... It can give others, people, happiness and entertainment. Boom. You Boom. just Heavy. earned yourself another video. Mm -hmm. that's, some, that's dropping some big knowledge. You've earned a little treat. You know what? You can have a little drink yeah. with this video, Yeah, please. we might even walk you around the park. Yeah, maybe we'll let you stretch your legs. Yeah. All right. Let's run another video. Hello. We are now going to enjoy, because you better enjoy, 
this video that I posted in 2019, November 30th, 2019, and it's called I Play Ain't No Sunshine, but the intro is a bit different. And it's one, I feel like it's kind of one of those like one-off videos where I did something that I personally thought was really cool and like creative to do, but uh, this is also, this is like one of the videos I can look back on and be like, yeah, I'm proud of this as opposed to like many of my other videos. But this I like, I think this is my mom's favorite video, and this is one of the videos I get lots of comments about being like, can you make a full version of this? Uh, which I won't, because that's so much, do you know how much work goes into making a full version of like an entire song? Many work. So here's the video. I play Ain't No Sunshine, but the intro is a bit different. Everyone knew where this was going, so like, they're ready for this. Or are they? I remember just listening to this on repeat. It felt really good to produce. It sounded like so good in my ears when I listened to this. Solid, solid video. Like I literally, I ha I want to listen to this again, cause, like I, I recorded all this. You know, there's no like samples of songs or whatever. It's like I play all the instruments and do all the singing, and I remember feeling so hyped when I was like producing it, cause it sounded, you know, it's everyone who produces music knows this feeling when it's like you you're producing something that sounds so good, you're like feeling a sort of like ecstasy. Uh, just from looping it over and over again. I felt that with this song uh, for some reason. And I don't know if other people think it's good too, but I thought it was really good. Uh, and I just had a great feeling while listening to it. It was like, you know, a modern take on uh, the Rocky soundtrack. Also, this list is very good. Current trends, mood, epic gamer moment, piss, whip and nene, Thanos, vibes. And that was way too much work. Like, I didn't use stock footage for some reason. So, like, <laughs> I had, a like, a clock. And, like, a clock with a calendar thing that I was, like, flipping through to make this. And, like, a clock that I was, like, spinning the hands on to make it go fast. Uh, and then just edited it all together. This is a parody of critically acclaimed 1976 film Rocky. Yeah, 
There's something about that video that I really, really like. I like... It feels, you know, it feels great to be able to, like, express something creatively that you can look back on and actually feel proud about. And, like, at the time, I was like, yeah, this sounds so good. I'm so happy with this because that rarely happens. Most of my videos, I'm like, I hate this. Everyone's gonna unsubscribe. This is so bad. Uh, but this video, I was like, yeah, whatever. I'm happy with this. Um... So thank you to everyone who left nice comments on that video. Uh, especially since it's only the second video ever, I think, that I sang in. So, perfect time for a voice crack. Uh, my beautiful, beautiful voice. Thank you for supporting my beautiful voice! Wow. Uh, unsubscribe. Wow! What an incredible voice, what an incredible video. The transition into the rocky thing turned yourself into a bit of a fitness influencer getting on that treadmill uh mixing all of those songs together fantastic and then the hard switch to ain't no sunshine was just like so soulful beautiful like going from vibes to that incredible i think we need to see some fire in the chat or something just some appreciation for that because that that is incredible and honestly i i now think it it's illegal that you've not made a full video of that yeah. Uh, honestly, like that, that, that is so damn good. It was too it much was work. Too much Even work, though you I feel also, you. <laughs> you say that, but oh yeah, but you, you also did film the, your own clocks and then you did all your editing on it as well. But yeah, um, but it's really cool. It's uh, such a, you know, it's, uh, I know that we've got you locked up in there, but there's just a little in my heart. That just yeah, that, goes, that oh, was tugging on the like, heartstrings. Yeah, I was getting to know him a little bit more and he was mm -hmm. happy. He was happy. Uh, there's even something a little like trip hoppy with the like record scratching in there as well. I really loved that. Like honestly, that was phenomenal. Really, really good. Yeah. Um, and it was really nice to hear like you, you know, you appreciating that video as well because like you were saying on all your other ones, you know, you you always felt like oh this is gonna do terrible. Everyone's gonna unsub. Everyone's gonna hate it. Whatever. But you know, I I'm glad that you realized this one. It was an actual banger. Um. You were okay with this one going bad. So you were even happy if it didn't perform well. You were just like, I'm happy with what I did. It must have been nice as well. Your mum saying, you know, that's her favourite video you've done and what and whatnot. Yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out to Seth's mum. Shout out to mums. Mm -hmm. Lots of fire in the chat as well. Lots of fire. Absolutely just yeah, it's a lot of people's favourites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I can see why people want the full version. Yeah. It's yeah. almost like he was getting better and then decided to leave mm -hmm. YouTube. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, what a damn shame. Uh, what a damn, damn uh, shame. I hope this stream works out for us, Johnny. We exactly. Might to, we might mm -hmm. have to start kidnapping other YouTubers. I know. I know. And they're Some... hard to track down these days, mm -hmm. I tell you. Thank God Seth just kept showing images of his house. It made him yeah. very easy to He's find. easy to spot. That's the... Exactly. Yeah, that was really his mm -hmm. uh, security flaw. Yep, just followed all the rats to the, truck, to the cardboard. Yeah, hard to get in a van. Mm -hmm. He had to get a mm -hmm. truck. Tall guy. Tall Real guy. tall guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not much fight in him. He was like, oh, it's my time. Mm -hmm. He was he was ready to be taken. <laughs> um, no, but uh, awesome. And that was, I think that was video 24. So there's uh, a little bit left here. And yeah. uh, as Seth, you mentioned that was 2019. Yeah. So was that pandemic? Am, am I wrong? Am I mental? Because I can't remember really when. Pre-pandemic pre video. Okay. Oh, and so we're coming up to pandemic era. Uh, we're getting there. Yeah. yeah, early 2020. Um, yeah, so a, and then of course, if you guys have got questions in chat about mm -hmm. that video or um, and anything, you really just want to ask Seth that he's here. He's yep. uh, as you can clearly see, he's alive mm -hmm. and well. Um, you can uh, throw in a couple of questions, and we'll lean over. Yeah, to check out what's going mm -hmm. on on YouTube and Twitch. And uh, so far, you guys have been great. It's been wonderful questions. Yeah, and just incredible, incredible stuff. Um, as we now say that we're now struggling for the first time <laughs> to find uh, yeah. a question well you know there was a lot of a lot of love in the chat so we're we're currently having a little scroll through mm -hmm. trying to to the kidnappers yeah. how does seth smell smells like money mm -hmm. yep and cold hard cash just yeah coins mm -mm -mm. Mm. copper if i could bottle that i would mm -hmm. and if we can 
Trust us. It will be available. It would be available on bald.store, which it isn't available on bald.store, but what is, is lots of t-shirts and hoodies that you can wear. And we're in the winter. It's getting cold now. You're going to want them. They'll keep you cozy. See, Seth is doing great because he's wearing one right now and it's very cold in here. No items in bottles, so we won't be having any Seth Everman bath water available in the store. No? None. No gamer Seth bath juice. That's that's very very understandable. Missed opportunity. Yeah. Uh, what's your favourite Prince song, someone's asking? You a fan of Prince? Not a fan. Very fair. Mm. Do you want to go into details? Oh. No. Okay. He's okay at times. So, what uh, did you pick as your third language in school? Spanish. Are you... Can you speak Spanish? Yeah, go. Give us a couple of... Uh, <laughs> no. Aww. See, that's... Spa- oh, okay. I see. I see. Uh, a lot of people are... Uh, uh, weirdly, several people are asking if you have any update on your bowel movements. I don't know why, that but... That was actually, yeah. During yeah. that last thing, everyone mm-hmm. wanted to know if you're pooing regularly. Yeah. Are you, are you doing good poops? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, we, we, we're checking the corner of the room. Yeah, right, so he's, got, he's, got bu- he's got a bucket. He's got a bucket. I'm sure, yeah. it's, uh, I'm sure he's doing it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Have you heard of the Risk of Rain 1 and 2 soundtracks? People like to know what you think about gaming music. I have you not. have not. They, I could rec- I would recommend them to you. you. I think you'd probably like them. They're very good game soundtracks. Just don't remember. Yeah, fair. Fair. Someone does ask, how were you able to keep your private life so private? Normal. Just normal. Just normal. You don't post a lot online. Because nothing happens. I feel you. Um, Someone also mentioned a question because we talked about the pandemic. Were you more or less creative during the pandemic? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of staying indoors and social distancing. Yeah. So, like, I guess a lot of time to do content, really. Um, can Can I buy bald store stuff if I have hair? questionable mm. but mm. you know if you've got a bold friend yep you know that's your referral link mm-hmm. but legally yes you can um i saw someone ask a question if you could pick a theme song for yourself what would be your theme song maybe you're like in a sitcom or maybe it plays when you enter a room That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Seth is going to become a clown after this. He's decided he's going to join the circus. I'm just happy it wasn't the Beatles. Help. Exactly. Yep. Yep. That's, <laughs> that would have been a good one as well. Um, We're off to the circus. It's going to be the Seth Everman show. What yes. is your favorite dessert or ice cream? The people want to know. Chocolate anything. There we go. There we go. Um, well... Speaking of the pandemic, I guess we are edging ever closer to that yes. era. Um, I know that you uploaded very sporadically every couple of months, and then I don't know if we've got a little bit more of pre-pandemic videos to go, but we are about to hop in and see what's going on in old I just COVID, want more Seth. COVID Seth's brain. More Seth. Hello. Uh, one of the videos that probably is the highest quality, because I didn't make it, is an animation that I had uh what's it called when you order something uh I had it ordered commissioned I commissioned an animation because I found an amazing animator who did lots of like animations for like the game grumps and stuff but the animations just looked so cool uh that I was like yeah I need this this animated so I decided uh, my music genre video game videos, which are, you know, the videos where I I play video game music that doesn't exist, that I come up with that sounds like video game music, and I turn it into a little story, somewhat. And this is that video animated. And it's called Music Genre Video Game 
animated by Sherby's. So go follow Sherby's on every social media. Follow Sherby's. So fucking good. Like the animation quality, that's like unbelievably good. Like, am I am I not am I not right in saying that? That's like so so above anything I could possibly expect. Uh, I think the animation, it took like a year, more than a year to make. Amazing work. Uh, a video that like stands out from all my other videos by actually being like super, super high quality. Uh, but I'm so happy we got that done. And that's something that's on my channel because it was always like one of the dreams to have something high quality like that made for one of my videos and we made it happen so thank you sherbies and thank you to everyone who watched that video and who supported it and liked it and all that stuff uh the camera froze the camera froze okay well uh goodbye yeah goodbye there he was seth everman immortalized in time yes a screenshot and then also yeah high quality <laughs> talking to high quality <laughs> Just like this stream and that video. So it took one, it, as we, we know that's yes, Seth. Um, so it took one year and did you reach out? And and what was the 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 um, uh, name of the uh, animator? Sorry, you mentioned it in the video. Yeah, Sherby's. And they are they still doing awesome things? I believe so. It was a very, very cool animation and so different from your other content. And kind of nice to see like your your music animated like you know like it really helped you picture what's going on in the game when you're you're doing it and stuff so that was a really good premise for a video and then also you get the video before you upload it so what was your first reactions when you were like oh, okay they're sending me something over did they just send everything at once or did they show you little by little as they were creating saw some drafts and stuff but it was amazing from the start. Did you have, did you get to put in any feedback? Did you get to be just, you gave uh, Sherby's creative control, never had to. So one of the easiest, the best collabs. And you talked about, you were super excited to have something that high quality on your channel. Was this because you primarily were creating content by yourself and that wasn't your niche, you know, you were, and, but to have someone come in and fill that void? I film all my videos with a webcam. Yeah, yeah, we could definitely say. And awesome work by Sherby. So um, if anyone's able to kind of, uh, you know, I'm sure people will be able to find uh, yeah, what Sherby's is up to make now. Make sure you and, go follow them yeah. and subscribe to them. They made an incredible animation. I'm sure their other work is just as great. 
Um, Someone does ask, how did you get that phone to levitate in a video? Well, you're going to have to go back because that's what we did earlier. We covered that already. Yeah. Seth and spelled all the secrets. He's out of the Magician's Guild. Uh, he's no longer allowed to perform magic shows. So his career in the circus is going to get a lot harder now. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. That I, that strikes me as probably one of the most expensive videos that probably ever cost you to make. Yeah, I imagine that was quite a difficult thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow! Is that Bald Dot Store where is you can that buy Bald Dot Store? Uh -huh. I, rec I uh -huh. recognize quality when I see yeah. it. That was mm -hmm. Bald Dot Store. Um. Uh, unsure what's happening right now the t tv is acting up a little bit but uh we just roll we roll with it we don't just roll with uh -huh. it we roll videos mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. boom we definitely didn't plan no that. technical problems yep. here yeah hello as you might know it's the weekend uh because sunday is part of that this video is also about the weekend and it's called how to create the weekend's lighting lights. Let's watch the video. I, I feel like now that I watch it back, it's such a short video, but I remember that this took forever because I did, I did draw, you know, frame by frame, like every frame I drew, like a new picture. Uh, so I had to draw like outlining myself and stuff a million billion times. Uh, but it turned out really cool, I think. I think I did an okay job. Like, I'm not a an artist in that sense who, like, draws. But I just, like, literally lined, like, outlined my body and the synth and, like, made one background and stuff. Uh, and I apparently did not animate the chair. I just, I like, skipped that part. Um, but also, I think this video also gained a lot of views from the success of the song, Blinding Lights, obviously. But the video is still okay, you know? Toilet seat as a drum? Uh, revolutionary. So thank you to all the people who watched that video. Uh, it's like the man version of my Billie Eilish video, in a way. It's like kind of similar, making sounds from household objects with a little twist. Goes into uh, aha take on me at the end, the melody and stuff. Thanks for watching, and thanks for being there in my lowest, darkest times, which were all of them. And we're back. What can't this man do? He can sing well, he plays music well, he's got a real ear for songs and where they match together, and now he can draw. Yeah. yeah, we've I mean, learned that Seth Everman can draw real good. I guess escape mm -hmm. is probably yeah. the only thing he can't do. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's very talented. Very at, talented, multi-talented. Multi-talented. Yeah. A lot of people are asking about how you record the um, stranger uh, instruments, the toilet seat and stuff. Like, is it uh, like what kind of mic is in there? Yes, you use a microphone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I mean. I don't know how sound works, Seth. Uh, different ones. Okay. Is it always like, uh, do you like mic up the room? Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Mm. He's a renaissance man. Okay. So you record and then there's a lot of uh, editing and EQs and stuff. Okay. And in that video, you did some animation. Were you inspired? Was that why? You drew frame by frame. 
Since it's the same frame, I guess it's not animation. You're right, but it did move around. So how long did that roughly take you having to draw all of that stuff? Because that, like you said, it was quite a short video, but obviously you had to put in a lot of work on doing that type of stuff. Like how, how long did that probably take? Turned it into 12 frames per second to make it less work. Okay, okay. So start to finish, the idea, you made the music, you shot the video. How long did this whole video take to make roughly? Yeah, but obviously that may have been that may have been a whole lot of work. Yeah. Right. And of course a few we're days. Live on YouTube and Twitch. So if you can get some of your questions in that I think that was video twenty six. Mm -hmm. And was that part of the pandemic? Oh yeah, was that was that a pandemic video? That was during the pandemic. Mm. Okay. Well, still feeling very artistic, you know, doing doing the drawing and stuff, like making cool videos and stuff. So it's good to see that it didn't, like you said, didn't change very much for you. Um, I love this question. So this is from uh, Wack, uh, Wack G Looney says, Seth, I always thought you did YouTube for fun. And, and you uh, had producing music job on the side. Did you have a side or a main job? Oh, you, you did it for fun. No, no, no. Didn't you didn't have a producing music job. You did YouTube for fun in the beginning. But then it was a job. And no longer for fun. <laughs> oh. Did you, uh, when you first started on YouTube, what was your, did you have a side hustle? You were in uni. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, someone in the chat asked, what is your favorite non-instrument instrument? Couch. Couch is a pretty good one. Big fan of door as well myself, but couch, solid, solid one. Someone asked if it's scary living in Sweden. Well, the winters are long and dark. It is pretty cold here. My first time in Sweden, I think it's the first time it snowed in a while. It, it, it's a bit grim here. It's the least scary place in the world. It's, I'm not scared. It's just, you know, it's a bit, a bit nippy. A bit nippy here. Just dark and cold. Someone says they're sorry to hear YouTube became a job. What were your first kind of jobs? I say kind of jobs, but I guess what were your first jobs? Janitor, Janitor and dishwasher. And dishwasher. Hmm. Dishwasher has been a reoccurring theme. It was in the house that almost electrocuted you. You were a dishwasher, but you've never used a dishwasher as an instrument. No. I there don't, we go. I don't know what Not this yet. means. I don't know what this means, but someone, a few people have asked, when will you show off your Ohio Gyat? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe I should do. It's a meme on TikTok uh, from like six months ago. Oh, there we go. I did. I was not aware of that one. Uh, does it? What? What does that mean? You don't want to know. Okay. Yep. Bussy. <laughs> Um, any shaving tips for fellow balds? Use safety razor. Yeah, that's in, that's about right. Um, thoughts on skibbity toilet? Fantastic. Love it. Big fan. Hmm. What's your favorite Chainsaw Man ending? Does that make sense? What Chainsaw Man ending is your favorite ones? Do people know? You don't remember. Don't remember. Don't remember. He doesn't remember. Nor does he care. Um, uh, hope your captors will free you soon. Well, if he's well behaved. I possess a question to you. What fellow YouTubers uh, would you have liked to have collaborated with? Um, may it have been Mr. Rumi or Mr. John Movies? Uh, maybe Rumi you reached out to him like six years ago in 
we were basically friends, but it just never happened. Oh, there you go. What do you look for in kind of YouTube friends? Oh, famous friends. Bald. <laughs> Baldness. I thought I asked some sort of wonderful <laughs> question. Okay, yeah. All right. That makes uh, perfect sense. Okay, so yeah, we got a lot. I think we've learned a lot about Seth mm -hmm. that round. And I think there's more to learn in this next video. So for this next video uh, that was made in, let me see. This video was made three years ago, August 24th, 2020. Uh, it's got 30 million views. And in preparation of this video, I had to like go, <laughs> I went to this weird huge barn that's like a thrift store you know flea markets type deal and i basically bought out every weird old instrument they had like broken old weird swedish instruments uh just for this one video uh, and this is the end result the video is called what's the name of this song And all of that took years and years of planning. And I actually, I was like, I I saved up those songs because it's songs that I've heard, you know, over years and years and just been like, yeah, this sounds like this song and this sounds like this song. And then I'm like, oh, wait a second. This also sounds like that. So I had like a playlist on Spotify where I just drop in songs every, you know, half year when I realized, oh, here's another song that has a thing that sounds like doo 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 doo. And in the end, uh, I decided to do something with all those sounds, all those songs, and this is the video I made. And I literally, I think I had that Spotify playlist building up with the same song over like five years before I made the video. Uh, so yeah, five years of random work and planning and creativity uh, that went into a 47 second long video. And it's not even one of my shortest videos. <sighs> uh, like, like and subscribe and comment and unsubscribe and dislike. And uh, leave a emoji. Wait, leave a Twitch. Uh, Poggers, Pog you, uh, uh, Omega lol, in the chat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Very mixed messaging there. Like, comment, subscribe, unsubscribe, dislike. You know, a lot of a lot of direction for you, and so many emojis to choose from there. Quite the quite the vast thing. It makes me wonder, Seth, what is actually your favorite emoji, either on on Twitch or on YouTube or just even on your phone? What's your, what's your favorite emoji? Frank Z. Rip Frank, Frank Z. Frank is a good one. Yeah, dog. Good. Dog. It was the dog. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I mean, honestly, Seth, a bit ahead of your time. You're like YouTube shorts before there was YouTube shorts. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, because like, you know, you say it's years in planning yep. or at least in kind of figuring out what the video was by hearing these, you know, different songs and then with the instruments and then a very short video. But I guess you were just like, no, this is how long the video is that just because you felt this is how long the video needs to be. This is what's entertaining. It just took you years. And do you still have all of those instruments, like, just laying around somewhere? 
They're in your house. Nice. More importantly, a couple of people have asked, do you still have those sunglasses? Do ah. ah. Iconic. Do they work with the headphones? We're happy. We're getting prime Seth Everman here, and we're making a killing Johnny Minecraft. Uh, we are absolutely killing it. Things are going really well at Bald Dot Store, but you got to keep them coming in if you want that duct tape to come off Seth, because otherwise, I think we're just going to keep him reacting to things. And if he runs out of his own videos, then yeah, I don't know. Like His life will be reacting to mm -hmm. other people's videos. What mm -hmm. a horrible thing. I, mean, you don't I want don't him... even know why YouTube would allow that. You don't want him to have to do that. Yeah, mm -mm. <laughs> and then the TV, <laughs> is, then the TV yeah. is deciding to play up again. Right. And don't worry, a lot of you have worried about like because we've been here now for some hours um, about you know if Seth's eaten or drank anything, and you know just let you know, no, he hasn't, and uh, and uh, he's fine. So, oh, yeah. here's a little merch question for you. Actually, how do your merch hoodies fit? I want to get one, but don't know if they'll fit right. I wear a medium. Do, are they a size up, size down? True this true to fit type situation for any would-be buyers it says on each product there you go it'll give you some good sizing details um this was quite a raid thank you bald man there's been so many wonderful comments in here um opinions on the rock a fellow bald man bald Good yep. opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 Justice Silverwing, also name, asks, what editing software did you use? <laughs> okay. Wind Retro, generally, Windows, Windows Movie, Maker. Movie Maker. Nice. It's nice, though. It's simple. You can just cut and mm. move. doesn't do much. Now it's uh, DaVinci Resolve. I think I can read that just about. There you go, Johnny. Um, blink twice if you're in danger. Uh, see, he's going to blink again. He's going to be all right. He's fine. There, there just, will be a third blink. Just change the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, that that's that totally was just fine. the one blink. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I only saw one back. blink there. Yeah, and we're back. Yep. Everything is all good there. Um, thank you for being such a cool influence on the internet. You will be, uh, you will be missed. Um, da Vinci. People, people just you know pogging off at the Vinky. Um, doo -doo -doo. Richard says goodbye, bro. I had so much fun. Enjoy watching your videos all these years. Double heart. Uh, what is the big ass wristwatch that you always wear in videos? And Victor, something. It's not fancy. Hmm. It's a nice looking watch, though. Very it looks nice looking fancy. watch. Yeah. Has anyone tried to steal it? You're telling, are you telling us it's not worth anything? Like, we shouldn't steal it? Or is it actually not fancy? Two people oh. tried robbing it off your wrist. What was your reaction? You walked away. <laughs> <laughs> hard, to, hard to stop such a tall man. Um, someone's asked, uh, who is your smash main? We're talking about the video game here. Yeah. So. Fair, fair, Star Fox. Um, what kind of channel would you start if you had to start a new one today? Hamster obstacle courses. I think that'd be a pretty damn good one. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just sad you made I'd watch music it. now. Yeah, yeah, you could have done that. I mean, that would have been pretty entertaining. Um, I feel like you've been up all night m meaning to make a video and you've just sat there in your studio watching hamster obstacle courses well with that said <laughs> we um learning so much here about seth on his uh, final stream his goodbye to youtube and his goodbye to creating content and we appreciate everybody for tuning in mm -hmm. answering questions checking out the store and just being here in general and uh, of course uh, me and johnny minecraft have just you know really enjoyed uh, seth you've been such a wonderful captive 
Mm-hmm. He really has. Yeah. And I'm honestly. warming up. I am warming up. Yeah. Then. My my heart, ever since Ain't No Sunshine, my heart has been, I know. it melted like yeah. butter. You know, I might, we might have to let him Well, let we'll him see. We'll soon. see. We'll see. I mean, yeah. we just heard he was a famous mm-hmm. YouTuber and he was made a lot of money. Exactly. Apparently his watch is mm-hmm. cheap. A little bit yeah. disappointed. I know. Ugh. But hopefully you're not disappointed with mm-hmm. this next video. I think we're on number 28. So just a few more to go. Two years ago, I got the chance to work with an actual rock band, uh, which was very cool. Uh, so my friend Michael, uh, Michael Clifford, plays in a band called Five Seconds of Summer. And their song Young Blood" had its three-year anniversary or something like that. And they wanted to make something cool. So we made a cover together of Five Seconds of Summer's Young blood. Uh, and here it is. Quality video. I have people who offered large amounts of money. Sorry, I had people offering large amounts of money for the raw footage of Luke eating eating this object that's shaped like another object. Uh, and I will release it for a very large sum of one million dollars. PayPal me today. Thank you. Dun, ba, dun, ba, dun. Yeah, the PayPal. We'll mm-hmm. uh, we'll get that to you later. Yeah, yeah. That right at fish. the end. Yeah, mm-hmm. we didn't realize we had that actually in the. Yeah, uh, that was an asset we weren't aware that we were in possession aware of. of that asset. Uh, now we're very happy. It's going to be another Lambo each. It's well, got to be nice retirement fund uh-huh. we got going here, Johnny. Gotta gotta see. Love the use of a sub as a microphone. That was that was very good. You know, one of my favorite microphones. Honestly, it has to be said. Um, was that a reach out to you moment with uh, the band? Both. Mutual reach out. Oh, okay. You guys were both fans of each other. That's very cool. And obviously, yeah. if people are asking for footage of uh, the lead uh, eating a sandwich, they must have been pretty big. Like, did they, like, what were they, who did they tour? I haven't heard, did they tour with anybody? Did they? One Direction. Oh, wow. That, I mean, that's a really big band to tour with. That's incredible. Harry Styles is pretty cool these days. If I remember, he was One Direction. I believe he was, but I may be wrong. <laughs> I didn't really listen to uh, One Direction. But they were also on Huge World Tours alone uh, as a band as well. They are huge. Were you a fan of them? Of course. Mm. Um, some people are asking if you're going to restock your merch store after you leave the internet forever. No, no plans to. It's done. You got to get it now. Everything goes. Yep. Bald dot store. Mm. Everything's going offline. You got to get in there now. All right. Well, you've heard mm-hmm. it here as well, and because uh, yeah, and Seth will be true to his uh, text. He's a he's a man of his text. Uh, can you play any wind instruments? You have a trumpet. But can you play it? Oh. <laughs> but I can't play. Fair. Um, who would win, Darkwing Duck or Count Duckula? No more duck questions. Yep, uh, our client will not be answering any more duck questions at this time. Do not send duck pics. We don't want to see them. 
Um, no more questions about duck, please. Moving swiftly on. How fast can you type? What's your words per minute, Seth? Mm. <laughs> Two. Uh, that's a very good one. Um, Which game on Steam have you sunk the most hours into? And I guess it's not RuneScape because that's tech, that's not on Steam, is it? And you've done 10k hours on that one. I think Modern Warfare 3 might have been on Steam. So probably Modern Warfare 3. I believe that we're probably coming up to this video, but there was the bald guy comment that you left on Billy Eilish's music video. Are you still the most liked comment on all of YouTube? You don't know. Someone said there was a bigger comment. You don't know and you don't even care. <laughs> yep. Well, I tell you Fair. what. What a flex. As your agent, Seth, mm -hmm. we're going to go investigate this. Yeah, we're going to have to have a check out around. video number 29. Hello. As you all probably know, I'm a very, very big Nintendo fan and a Pokemon fan. Uh, so I decided to make sort of a project since I, I collect Pokemon stuff and I collect Nintendo stuff. I said, like, why not make a video out of it? Why not do something really stupid, which I did. And uh, once again, I... <laughs> It's so stupid. I spent like several years and several money to make a video that's two minutes and 13 seconds long. And uh, the idea is also stupid overall. It's not even a smart thing to do. Uh, and the video is called I Played the Pokemon Theme Song, but put way too much effort into the video from two years ago. Let's watch it. Ronald! Swedish summer. Those are the real actual letters and packages I got. Ronald! Kinda goes hard. Why did I do this? I don't remember that cover being so good. That actually sounded good. I just remember like the concept was funny because it's like who buys a thousand something fat Pikachu cards and puts them on their wall. But that that was a pretty solid cover. Uh, I haven't even watched this video in like years as well. So I just assumed the cover was really like <laughs> garbage, but like the video was good. Um, they were both good. What do you think? But yeah, this is one of the videos in the sort of end of an era living in that house and stuff. 
so I think I only have pretty much one more video left to show you guys before it's all over. We've gone through the important videos of my channel that I truly uh, can look back on and be like, yeah, I had a life as a YouTuber. I had a, a fun career, a creative work, you know? And thank you so much for being here and watching all of this together with me. Goodbye. Wow. I mean, I have never been more enamored by a wall of fat Pikachus. Shout out to the king himself, fat Pikachu. Yeah, and everyone who uh, mm. has sent them over. I love the way, though, that our talent here figures out his content's really good. <laughs> On his yeah. retirement stream, yeah, he's like, I didn't know this bang, but it, it, it sounds like just what it was good editing. But actually, was, yeah, incredible. Yeah. I mean, it's such an iconic soundtrack, and the cover was so good. I like you pairing, like holding up the Game Boy and like having that pairing with the song as well. Like, ah, uh, and also congratulations to us, Johnny mm -hmm. Minecraft. Yeah. We now own the mm -hmm. world supplies of fat Pikachu's. Yeah, we have so many Thanks fat for Pikachu's that now. Out there, Seth. Yeah, thank you for yeah. just constantly showing us all the assets. Yeah, we have that cornered over to the us. market. Mm. So uh, we'll see expect what we do to see those. them on eBay after the stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the smell of money. <laughs> um, yeah, more questions coming in, and as mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, coming down to our last videos. So, oh, a few oh, more, get some a questions. few get some more questions coming in. And we do uh, apologize about the glare there on the TV. It's not actually the lights; it's just Seth's forehead. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just part of being bald the lights hit yeah. his head and it's shining it's, onto the it's, tv it's hard to light the room like what can we do about it you know what can we yeah. do but luckily we got we got a we got a, a accomplice here in our mm -hmm. uh, kidnapping of seth everman who's uh, a, a, a good hand with the camera I uh, yeah say. very yeah. good hand with the camera yeah. mm -hmm. it's actually Dwayne the rock johnson it that is. is holding the camera just a few so i saw a few people ask um Where's Ronald? Good question. No one knows, but he's safe for now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, are you going to be doing more traveling now? And if so, what countries do you plan on visiting? Yeah, kind of done that. We, done we know that. We, we spoke about you um, wanting to visit Japan, uh, but is there any New Zealand yet? Uh, is there any other ones that are jumping out at you? There's a lot of invites to Brazil. Mm. So uh, we'll see what uh, Seth's going to do with uh, some of his uh, free time. But I think, uh, it, what's the most, like when you think of traveling, what excites you the most? Is it the food? Is it the culture? Is it because it has some meaning to you? Like, you know, Lord of the Rings with New Zealand, Studio Ghibli with Japan. All of the above. Well, this is why we travel. Um. And a uh, question in about are we, uh, are we, because obviously we're in charge now, are deleting the channel? No. No, nope, we shall not. And you'll be able to revisit the uh, the farewell stream as well. Mm -hmm. It's all there for you. All that Sefi goodness. Um, do you have any plans to, or interest in scoring film, TV, movies, or video games going forward? Who knows, smiley face. Yeah, fair. If the if it if the mood strikes you, um, if a uh, question from Kishmat just says, if we run into you in person, you know, will it still be okay to say hi? There we go. Got a silly one here. Would you rather make out with Grimace or Mayor McCheese? Shut up. That's not very nice. Some, some nice person asked you that question. You don't want to kiss Mary McCheese? That's okay. I'm sure they'll, they can find it in your heart to forgive you. Um, what else have we got? What, yes. oh. uh, what type of Pokemon would Ronald be? Small. Type small. Hmm. Hmm. Someone also wants to know a lot about Ronald. Is he indoor or outdoor cat? Indoor. Um, if you were a D and D class slash character, what type of class slash character would you be? If someone wants to know. 
Human normal man. Yep. That's that's what I play in every game as well. Um have you actually played uh, have you played D&D like live? You have never, but you want to. There is actually D&D in Stockholm. There's a live Ooh. one down a, a a pub. Oh. Yeah. Once a month on a mm-hmm. Sunday. Mm-hmm. So they're called one shots if you're familiar with that. Yeah, one shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I went to my first one and I had a I had a good time. It's a blast. I'm a big D and D fan. Um, if I see you in person, will you shave my head for me? How much will you pay? Hey, I like oh, this. Our new business. Okay, partner. okay, new He's, uh, business. Yeah. How much will you pay, Johnny mm-hmm. Minecraft and Two Bad? Exactly, exactly. Oh. We could open up the Seth Everman Bald Barber Store where we just cater to making men bald. Have you played Baldur's Gate 3 from Mooney? Also an incredible on, on, soundtrack. On the D&D? No. Yeah. But I know it's great. Cannot recommend the soundtrack enough as well. Very, very good. Um, Would you accept fat Pikachu cards as currency? Do you, do you listen to Radiohead? Not so much, but obviously sometimes. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for sending in your questions. We are getting close to the final of the videos. But just before we go, Seth, you've earned this. You've been very good at answering questions. And so we're going to give you a little shout out here from JJ Met. He says, love you so much, Seth. You've always, I, we've always known you. You were an amazing musician and you've been a light in an often dark world. Ta-da. Thank you very much. Video. Number 30. Hello. I lied in my last uh, little look back at my old videos when I said there's only one video left. Because there's two videos left. And this is the first of the two. Uh, It's called Nirvana's Smells Like Teen Spirit but played on my synth. And it's a video (laughs) that I also put like some stupid effort into making for no reason. And I like, I ruined perfectly good instruments. You'll see what I mean. Ronald! The fact that my feet are censored, fantastic. remember that like when I destroyed an instrument there's one one shot where one piece went like right by the head of my cameraman uh, I think it's this do you see that like on the right side you can see like a, a white piece of here this just comes flying right at his head it was like super fast and dangerous and this was very dangerous overall to break instruments like, it hurts my hands to, to smash them into the ground and stuff, but... You gotta do what you gotta do for art. And isn't that a good saying for this entire stream and this entire life? You gotta do what you gotta do for art. I don't think this can be classified as art, but uh, whatever. Goodbye.
<laughs> I love the I love the cold exit. Just just straight to the point. Like bye. Okay, see you. Um, I don't think it's flute destruction metal a genre. I'm dubious. I think that may it is been, now. It may have been the most badass destruction of a flute I've ever seen. To be fair, how good did it feel to smash up some stuff? I was going to ask the inverse. Did it? Did it hurt? Did it like not just physically hurt, but soulfully hurt to destroy some instruments? Did that? You know. Yeah. I can feel that. I can feel that. So I guess at this point, because you had a cameraman, you've got to a point where you've got a little bit of help. So is there anybody like that was working with you quite regularly then? It was just your friend. You were like, you're going to film me in a car park, smashing up a keyboard. He's like, I oh, okay. That little shard of wood chip just flying at your head that's terrifying so i could have i could have ended really badly oh well, shout out to the cameraman is this the cameraman that's lived mm. hey. so maybe your most dangerous video that one then well maybe not for you but for your cameraman certainly um and again uh, lots of love coming in really appreciate everybody for tuning in and we are getting closer to the end i feel like seth has had a lot of questions so obviously we've covered uh, much of seth here and um mm. i hope you've uh, all really enjoyed it but... someone is interested off of that last video to know how much that set you back destroying all of those instruments like 200 bucks that's pretty metal that's pretty metal worth totally worth it uh do you have any bald siblings no no siblings uh treb big asks is there a chance you'll show up in other people's videos after Ooh. you're done making this one don't think so hmm he's going dark people yep off radar have you done something illegal, Seth? You can talk to us. We're uh, we're businessmen. <laughs> Probably. I feel like uh, it's it's taken a toll, isn't it? It has. It's just I've kind of warmed up to him. I'll be honest, Johnny. Ooh, I'm I'm really like him. I he's, he seems. He seems like a real down-to-earth guy. He's clearly artistically talented. I'll tell you what. I'll uh -huh. tell you what. Mm -hmm. Let's run his final video. Mm -hmm. And we'll have a chat, okay? Okay. All right. A business meeting. Mm -hmm. Business meeting. Play a All video. Right. Business meeting. Yeah. Hello. Uh, the final video we're going to watch together is a video I think sort of defines the ending to that era of music, funny, whatever creative videos that I made back back whenever like two years ago and before that and this is the video the only video I ever made with my dad and that was a long time coming because I had planned to make a video with my dad for a very long time because he plays the guitar he plays the banjo uh, I've always wanted to make a video with him uh, but it's just like a lot of work a lot of planning but we made it happen and I knew at the time like yeah it's now or never because I'm moving from the house and, you know, I don't want to do this anymore and stuff like that. And we made this video. It was a lot of work. And thank you so much to my dad for making it. Uh, he's super cool uh, and I love him a lot. And he also did painting in the video. He's an amazing painter. He only got like limited time to paint it. So that's my fault. But he did a great job. So let's watch this video together. My final video.
Ronald. That definitely did not annoy the neighbors. <laughs> like I live, we live in an apartment. <laughs> Playing the drum sets that I got uh, Christmas morning uh, with upstairs and downstairs and sideways neighbors. Um, but it was a different time, the 1940s. Uh, so yeah, I think we've gone over most of the important videos that I can happily look back on across my YouTube career. And they wouldn't exist without you guys. So thank you for the years and years of constant support. It means uh, the world. It's, uh, you know, it's paramount to my career. It would not exist without you guys. So. I would have uploaded those first Tumblr videos and then like moved on and done something else if it wasn't for you guys watching the videos and supporting me. So you have been uh, the key to making these videos in the first place. So thank you so much for all that. And it's been really fun to just look back at all my old videos because uh, it's been so many years, you know, it's like you change as a person over time and life changes and I don't even live you know in the same places as those first videos and I went to school you know it's a different world from what my life is today and it's probably for you as well you know 2016 2015 compared to today uh, it's very different but thank you so much to everyone who's been there from the beginning and to everyone who's just watching for the first time today and everyone who's watching in the future. Uh, thank you so much. Goodbye. Ah, Johnny. Oh. I can't do it. Yeah, it, it, it tugged on my heartstrings, seeing him playing with his dad. It was, you know, yeah. just too wholesome. I'm not, like, I don't think I was cut out for this. Like, I thought all YouTubers were assholes. I thought this was going to be an easy kidnapping, yeah. an easy buck. Uh -huh. Look at him. I know. He's got family. Even the old home video of him annoying his neighbours, even that was really sweet. You know? Talented from a young age as well. I couldn't play a drum kit free, could you? No. No. What do you want to do? It's going to hurt, but I think... Are we out of merch? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know what's still going on Bald Dot store. Oh, I don't know. But it's going offline soon. I don't care anymore. So, I don't really care anymore. No. You know, if you want it, grab it quick, but I think we're going to have to let our asset mm. go. Let I think go. he's probably yeah. earned it. We need to start kidnapping people we don't like, you know? Yeah, he like... Like, you know, Twitch streamers, is, children. Mm, yeah. Yeah, let's this get is, back into... Let's, let's go more classical. How have we been reverse Stockholm Syndrome? Let's don't start know. Let, let him go, go, Johnny. Okay, all right. Let him go. Let's set him free. Oh, I've got to take these headphones off. you got to do what you got to do. Oh, thank you very much. Yep. Seth. You've changed us, Seth. You've earned it. You've earned your freedom. <laughs> Ouch. <clears throat> Hello, viewers. Uh, this is the last you will see of me online. Um, it's been many years uh, since I started this 
and many of you have been here the entire time. And there have been good moments and there's definitely been lots of bad moments as well for me. Uh, and it's not always very easy to be a content creator, even though it seems kind of easy and stupid because sometimes it's really easy, but sometimes it's really hard. And uh, I didn't get to do all the videos I wanted to make. I didn't get to collab with all the people I wanted to collab with. I didn't reach all the goals that I set for myself. Uh, and I've come to the conclusion that that's okay. I'm, uh, I'm okay with what we did and this channel and what I have reached today. And I can't really keep going like this anymore. I just, I, there's too much stuff that's on my mind about YouTube, about social media, uh, at all hours of the day. And I need to escape. So this is it. This is my final goodbye. And I want to thank all of you for watching. And I want to thank my parents for always being supportive uh, from the beginning up until today and into the future. So goodbye.